Sutra. Good knowing advisors, there are those who teach people to sit looking at the mind and contemplating stillness without moving or arising. They claim that it has merit. Confused men, not understanding easily, become attached and go insane. There are many such. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 208. People. Therefore, you should know that teaching of this kind is a great error. Commentary. The deluded person does not understand the principle. They think I will just sit here and not get up. This is the way to attend. Skill in chapter N. They get attached to what they are doing and they go insane. For example, many people have come here saying that they are enlightened. That is insanity. There are many such people. Teachers from their number say, if you certify my enlightenment, I will certify yours. That is a big mistake. In China, in the Ti and Dynasty, there were false Buddhist patriarchs who practiced intellectuals and they had clever answers but no foundation in actual cultivation. It is not surprising that we find such people in America today. But it's Imposters who falsely claim to be enlightened pave the way for those of true enlightenment. No one knew about enlightenment. So the imposters said, we are enlightened. Everyone then said, so this is enlightenment, and they Examine them closely to see what enlightenment is like. Suddenly a truly enlightened person comes and no one believes in him. They think that the truly enlightened one is the same as the imposters. You who now cultivate to become enlightened will be forced to deal with the widespread influence of such pretenders. That leads me to advise you that when you become enlightened, you should not say that you are. That is the best method. This is the way of the world, true, true, false, 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 true. If you are true, they say you are false. If you are false, they say you are true. Therefore you should not speak of true and false. Tell people to go and see for themselves. Chapter 4 Concentration and Wisdom 209 Unenlightened people will say that they are enlightened. If you who have already become enlightened claim to be enlightened, then you are just like those who are not. Why? People who actually are enlightened do not introduce themselves. Say, don't you know me? I am enlightened. I am the same as so and so, and he is enlightened. He is enlightened and I am just like him. 
Enlightenment and now Enlightenment are the same, not different. Do not hang out a false name. Enlightened. You are a human being. Unenlightened, you are still a human being. The enlightened and the unenlightened both can realize Buddhahood. It is a question of time. Do not advertise yourself. If no one knows you, that is the very best. Then your straight mind is the Bodhi Mandala Sutra. The master instructed the assembly, good knowing. Advisors, the right teaching is basically without a vision. Into sudden and gradual. People as natures themselves are sharp or the when the confused person who gradually cultivates and the enlightened person who suddenly connects each recognize the original mind and see the original nature, they are no different. Therefore, the terms sudden and gradual are shown to be false names. Good knowing advisors, this dharma, door of mine, from the past onwards, has been established from the first with no thought as its doctrine, no mark as its substance, and no dwelling as its basis. No mark means to be apart from marks while in the midst of marks. No. Thought means to be without thought while in the midst of thought. No. Dwelling is the basic nature of human beings. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. In the world of good and evil, attractiveness and ugliness, friendliness and hostility, when faced with language which is offensive, critical or argumentative, you should treat it all as empty and have no thought of revenge. In every thought, do not think of former states. If past, present, and future thoughts succeed one another, without interruption, it is bondage. Not to dwell in dharmas from thought to thought is to be free from bondage. That is to take no dwelling as the basis. Good knowing advisors, to be separate from all outward marks is called no mark. The ability to be separate from marks is the purity of the Dharma as substance. It is to take no mark as the substance. Good knowing advisors, the non Defilement of the mind in all states is called no thought. In your thoughts, you should always be separate from states. Do not give rise to thought about the commentary. Basically, real Buddhism has no sudden or gradual dharma. Stupid people cultivate it bit by bit, whereas enlightened people immediately cut off false thinking, bad habits, and involvement with external objects and so understand the mind and see their own nature. 
from the time of Shakyamuni Buddha right up until the present, the Southern Teaching Dharma, door which the Sixth Patriarch transmitted established no thought, no mark, and no dwelling as its doctrine, its substance, and its basis. Thoughts of the past, present, and future are continuous like waves on water. To be attached to such thoughts is to tie yourself up, to lock yourself up so that you cannot be free. You should not be attached to any dharmas. Chapter 4 Concentration and Wisdom 211 In your own clear, pure thoughts, keep constantly sacred from states and do not think about the external environment. Sutra If you merely do not think of the hundred things, and so completely rid yourself of thought, then as the last thought ceases, you die and undergo rebirth in another place. That is a great mistake, of which students of the way should take heed. Commentary While you should not produce thoughts with regard to external states, that does not mean that you should completely rid yourself of thought. Attached to marks Whatever you do is wrong. But in non-activity, you fall into emptiness. What should I do, you ask? It is just at this point that the greatest difficulty arises, but if you handle it, just that is no thought. If you want to have no thought, then die. That is to have no thought. But if you die here, you will be reborn somewhere else. That is really wrong. If you want to cultivate the way, you should pay special attention and take heed. Sutra to misinterpret the Dharma and make a mistake. Yourself might be acceptable, but to exhort others to do the same is unacceptable. In your own confusion you do. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 212 Nazi and moreover you slander the Buddha as sutras. Therefore no thought is established as the doctrine. Good knowing advisors, why is no thought established as the doctrine? Because there are confused people who speak of seeing their own nature and yet they produce thought with regard to states. Their thoughts cause deviant views to arise and from that all defilement and false thinking are created. Originally, not one single dharma can be obtained in the self nature. If there is something to attain or false talk of misfortune and blessing, that is just defilement and deviant views. Therefore, this Dharma, door establishes no thought as its doctrine. Commentary You may be stupid yourself and not understand your mind and nature. 
What is more you may slander the Buddha as sutras and say that they are incorrect. For that reason, no food is set up as the doctrine. Some people say that they have seen the nature. They say they are enlightened, but they have all kinds of thoughts about externals, deviant views, and defilements. But your own clear, pure origin, the wondrous, bright, enlightenment nature has not one single dharma within it. It is the clear, pure source, the wondrous, bright, true nature. Originally, there is not one single thing. Some people speak of misfortune and blessing, saying, Tomorrow you are going to die, unless, of course, you vibrate. Married today by giving me a million dollars. Hearing such talk, the victim immediately buys some merit and, naturally, he does not die. He claims that the prediction was certainly efficacious. Chapter 4 Concentration and Wisdom 213 but does not mention the fact that he was cheated out of a million dollars. Or someone says, you have great blessings, but you are off by just a little bit. If you create a million dollars worth of merit, next term you can be president. The presidency is certainly cheap. If I buy it for a million, I'll still have several billion left, says the victim, and he buys the presidency. That is false talk of misfortune and blessings. It is defilement and deviant views. I will speak to you more about no thought, no mark, and no dwelling. Without a mark, where do you dwell? Without thought, what mark do you have? I S N T that right? No thought, no mark, and no dwelling, no thought is no production, no mark, is no extinction, and no dwelling is the fundamental absence of production and extinction of right and wrong. No thought, no mark, and no dwelling are the same as no right and no wrong, no good and no evil, no male and no female. Without deviant thought, how could there be male and female? This is truly marvelous. If you master this dharma there is no mark. Without the mark of self, who has sexual desire? Sexual desire is just a thought. Without thought there is no sexual desire, and no mark of a self and no attachment. Is this anything but true? Freedom and true liberation. No thought, no mark, and no dwelling, no movement, no stillness, no right, no wrong, no male, no female, no good, no evil, this is extremely miraculous. You need only use no thought, no mark, and no dwelling. Without a body, where do you dwell? 
right? This is wonderful. You should investigate it in detail. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 两百一十四 Sutra. Good knowing advisors know means know what. Third means third of what. No means no to. Marks no third of defilement. Third means. Third of the original nature of true suchness. True. Suchness is the substance of thought, and thought is the function of true suchness. The true suchness self nature gives rise to thought. It is not the eye, ear, nose, or tongue which can think. The True suchness possesses a nature and therefore gives rise to thought. Without true suchness, the eye, ear, forms, and sounds immediately go bad. Good knowing advisors, the true suchness self nature gives rise to thought and the sex faculties. Although they see. Here, feel and know are not defiled by the ten thousand states. Your true nature is eternally independent. Therefore, the Vimalakirti Sutra says, if one is well able to discriminate all Dharma marks, then in the primary meaning. One does not move. Commentary. The patriarch addressed the assembly, saying, "Good, knowing advisors, all of you with wisdom. When I say no, what is not? When I say third, what is the third of? No, means no two marks." Further, not even one mark. No thought means no thoughts of defilement, no defiled, improper, deviant thoughts of sexual desire. Thought means the thought of the true suchness inherent in each of us. This is the Tathagata store nature, the Buddha. Nature, Chapter Two, Concentration and Wisdom, 两百一十五 You ask, then, if there is no thought, is there no truth? Suchness, no means no two marks. Thought means thought of the truly such original nature. Thought arising from the truly such self nature is true. Thought, the eye, ear, nose, and tongue cannot think. True. Suchness is the kind spoken of in Chapter Ten. When your nature is present, the king is present. When your nature goes, there is no king. Although thought does arise and seeing, hearing, feeling, and knowing do occur at the gates of the six organs, there is no attachment when you use your true suchness nature because there are no deviant thoughts. The true nature is eternally independent. Because of the function of true suchness, you are well able to discriminate all dharma marks. Even so, you are not attached to any state, and so in the final analysis, you do not move. 两百一十七 C H A P T E R V. 
Siti I N C H A N Sutra. The master instructed the assembly, the door of city. In chapter, and consists fundamentally of attaching oneself. Neither to the mind nor to purity, it is not now movement. One might speak of becoming attached to the mind, eh? Yet the mind is fundamentally false. You should know that the mind is like an illusion, and therefore there is nothing to which you can become attached. Commentary Chapter and is not necessarily just sitting in meditation. One may practice chapter and while walking, standing, sitting, and lying down. In his Song of Enlightenment, the great master Yuchaya wrote in chapter and while walking and while sitting. Speaking, silent, moving, still. His body is at peace. If you know how, you can practice chapter and at all times, not just while sitting in meditation. But do not become attached to the mind or to purity. Becoming attached to the mind, you have to minds, and becoming attached to purity, you have two purities. Do not think, I will sit here and not move. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra. 218. Becoming attached to the mind, you have two false minds neither of which is the true mind. The mind is an illusion. Why? Attach yourself to it. Sutra One might say that to practice chapter and is to attach oneself to purity, yet the nature of people is basically pure. It is because of false thinking that the truth suchness is obscured. Simply have no false thinking, eh? The nature will be pure of itself. If an attachment to purity arises in your mind, a eh? deluded idea of purity will result. What is delusory does? not exist, and the attachment is false. Purity has no form. Or mark and yet there are those who set up the mark of purity as an achievement. Those with this view obstruct their own original nature and become bound by purity. Commentary Everyone, as self, nature is basically pure of itself, but when you cling to purity, you add a hat on top of a hat and create two purities, a true purity and a false purity. And so you stray from the original pure substance. Though purity has no form or mark, you postulate and mark to it and in so doing that a hat on top of a hat. When you consider that to be skill, you obstruct your original mind and nature. Cultivation is for the purpose of breaking attachments. You should not be attached. Sutra Good knowing advisors, one who cultivates now. Movement does not notice whether other people are right. 
chapter v sitting in chapter n. 两百一十九 Or wrong, good or bad, or whether they have other faults. That is the non-movement of the self nature. Good knowing advisers, although the body of the confused person may not move, as soon as he opens his mouth, he speaks of what is right and wrong about others, of their good points and shortcomings, and so he turns his. Back on the way, attachment to the mind and attachment to purity are obstructions to the way. Commentary: You cultivate non-movement. Non-movement of what? You should he just sit there and not move? You should cultivate non. Movement in the midst of movement, in the midst of your daily activities, do not move. Do not insist on criticizing others and pointing out their faults. If you do nothing but censure and browbeat others, it is not now movement. Sutra. The master instructed the assembly, good knowing advisers, what is meant by sitting in chapter n. In this unobstructed and unimpeded dharma, for the mind as thoughts do not arise with respect to any good or evil external state. That is what sitting is. To see the unmoving self nature inwardly is chapter n. Good knowing advisers, what is meant by chapter n? Concentration. Being separate from external marks is chapter n. Not being confused inwardly is concentration. If you become attached to external marks, your mind will be confused inwardly. If you are separate from external marks inwardly, your mind will be unconfused. The original nature is naturally pure. In a natural state of the sixth patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 两百二十 Concentration. Confusion arises merely because states are seen and attended to. If the mind remains unconfused, when any state is encountered. That is true. Concentration. Commentary. Sitting in one place is not necessarily sitting. You are said to be sitting when your mind is no longer disturbed by external conditions, be they good or bad. When you view the unmoving. Self nature inwardly, you are practicing chapter n. When you are not attached to external marks, you have attained chapter n. When inwardly you have no illusions or scattered thoughts, you have attained concentration. Detach yourself from external marks. And your efficacious, bright, enlightened nature will be pure of itself. In that way, you will attain concentration. Sutra. Good knowing advisers, being separate from all 
external box is chapter and then being inwardly unconfused is concentration external chapter and then inward concentration or chapter and concentration the female appearity sutra says just then suddenly return and regain the original mind the bodhisattva shila sutra says our basic nature is pure of itself good knowing advisors in every thought see your own clear and pure original nature cultivate practice realize the buddha way 221 ch chapter 6 repentance and reform sutra seeing the scholars and common people of kuangjo and shop one and the four directions assembled on the mountain to hear the dharma the great master took his seat and spoke to the assembly saying come each of you good knowing advisors this work must begin within yourself nature at all times in every thought purify your own mind cultivate your own conduct see your own dharma body and the buddha of your own mind take yourself across discipline yourself only then will your coming here have not been in vain you have come from afar to attend this gathering because we have karmic affinities in common now all of you know and i will first transmit to you the five fold dharma body refuge of the self nature and then the marvelous repentance and reform commentary Shop one is the present day chapter GA students and common people from north, east, south and west went to then Hua Temple on Palin Mountain to hear the great master explain the Dharma. The master said the work of sitting in chapter and meditation. The mind, ground dharma, door, must arise from within yourself. Nature. Every thought must be correct, not deviant. Proper. The sixth patriarch, as dharma jewel platform sutra. 222. Thoughts purify the mind. Improper thoughts defile it. You personally must cultivate this dharma, or no one else can do it for you. Your own dharma body is simply yourself, nature, and the Buddha is within your own mind. If you take yourself across. By receiving and keeping moral precepts, you will not have wasted your life. We meet here because conditions from former lives have ripened. Now, put your right knee on the ground and I will transmit to you the five-fold dharma, body refuge and the Marvelous repentance and reform. Sutra. The assembly now and the master said, the first is the morality refuge, which is simply your own mind. When free from error, 
evil, jealousy, greed, hatred and hostility. The second is the concentration, refuge, which is just your own mind which does not become confused when seeing the marks of all good and evil conditions. The third is the wisdom, refuge, which is simply your own mind when it is unobstructed and when it constantly uses wisdom to contemplate and illuminate the self. Nature, when it does no evil, does good without becoming attached, and is respectful of superiors, considerate of inferiors, and sympathetic towards orphans and windows. Commentary. Pay attention. The morality refuge is simply to have no thoughts of right and wrong, good and evil. In order to keep the precepts you absolutely must not be jealous, neither should you be aggressive, like a bandit. Chapter 2 Repentance and Reform 223. If the mind remains unperturbed in all states, good and bad, that is the concentration, refuge. Do not obstruct yourself with feelings of inferiority, but use wisdom to destroy ignorance so that you may view the self. Nature. Refrain from evil and practice good, but do not become attached to the idea of merit as the Emperor Wu of Yan did. If you do good, forget about it. Dong, he run up to the heaven of the thirty-three and shout, I gave Wu by Mei Yuan. I gave Yi Qian Mei Yuan. My merit is higher than the heavens. This is to be stupid like. Emperor Wu, it is not wisdom. Respect your father, mother, teacher, and elders and never. Speak of their faults. Do not be like the boy who testified against. His own father. The police asked the father if he had stolen a sheep. No, said the father. What do you mean, no, cried his son. I saw you kill the sheep, eat it, and sell its wool. How can you deny that you stole it? This is wrong. If you know that your father is guilty, when the police come you should run, refuse to testify. This is called respecting your superiors. Be considerate to those beneath you. Don't to be mean to little children and unsympathetic to windows. Mencius said, a child without a father is an orphan and an old woman without a husband is a widow. Orphans and widows deserve pity and support. Sutra The fourth is the liberation, refuge, which is simply your own mind independent of conditions, not thinking of good or evil, and free and unobstructed. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 224 The Fifth is the Refuge of Knowledge and Views, which 
is simply your own mind when it is independent of good and evil conditions and when it does not dwell in emptiness or cling to stillness. You should then study this. In detail, listen a great deal, recognize your original mind, and penetrate the true principle of all the Buddhas. You should welcome and be in harmony with living creatures, and without the idea of self or other, arrive directly at body, the unchanging true nature. Commentary. Is this clear? The absence of self-seeking is liberation. If you are self-seeking, you can t put everything down and so continually scheme and plot. To be liberated, do not grasp at good or evil. If you say, I will sit here and not study anything, I am empty, your state is useless like the emptiness inside a robber. But, it is not the emptiness of the void. These people sit all day, thinking of nothing and doing nothing. At mealtime they eat, and at that time they sleep and do not even dream. This is a pitiful waste of time. What should you do then? You should study the sutras in detail and listen to sutra lectures. Those who dwell in emptiness and cling to stillness plan to study Buddhism. They do not listen to lectures or study the Dharma, but if you ask them about it, they say they know it. Oh, you should welcome living creatures and be in harmony with them. In the Chinese, to be in harmony with is expressed by the phrase to unite the light. What does that mean? Oh, lamps give off light, but have you ever known lamp light to fight? With lamp light, has a lamp light ever said, you are brighter? Chapter Hill Repentance and Reform 225 Then I am That is no good I am going to put out your light, upon which it hits the other lamp light. Or the other lamp says, your light is too small. Either make it bigger or move out. None of that goes on between lights. Do you understand? It applies to everyone in the world. You practice your way and I will practice mine without hindering one another. You cannot decide that someone as reputation is too dazzling and try to ruin him so that your own man will shine. It is permissible for others to be jealous of me, but I am not. Jealous of anyone. The better you are, the better I like it. The more success you have, the happier I am. Not to be jealous is to unite the light. You might say, I am uniting the light with him, but he is not. Uniting the light with me. If you were truly uniting the light with him, you would know that he was 
T U I D the light with you. Do you understand? If you unite the light with him, how can you know that he is not uniting the light with you? He want T unite the light. That is no problem. Just continue to unite the light with him. Welcome living creatures. If you like great vehicle. Buddhism, I will explain the great vehicle. If you like the small vehicle, I will explain the four noble truths of suffering. Origination, stopping, and the way. If you like the Bodhisattva way, I will explain the six Patamitas, giving, morality, patience, figure, concentration, and wisdom, and the ten thousand. Conduct which lead to realization of the Bodhisattva way. If you like the dharmas of the Pratyakabuddhas, I will explain the 12 conditioned causes, ignorance conditions, activity, activity conditions, consciousness, consciousness conditions, name and form, name and form conditions, the six senses, the six Senses condition contact, contact conditions feeling, feeling. Conditions love, love conditions grasping, grasping conditions. The sex patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 226. Becoming, becoming conditions first. Birth conditions on age and death. This is called uniting the light and welcoming living creatures responding to the needs of the individual. One of my disciples looked in the dictionary and found that in Chinese to welcome living creatures means to help other people. However, it is not just to help them, it is to induce them to leave. Suffering and obtain bliss. Lacking the idea of self or other, arrive directly at body. The unchanging true nature. Having helped one person, you Cannot say, I have taken a picture across. How great is my merit? If one thinks like that, he has the august mode of merit. Once you have done something, it should be forgotten. If you lead people to Buddhahood, you should not be attached to the Merit gained from it. Therefore the Diamond Sutra says, I must take all beings across to Nirvana and yet not a single living being has been taken to Nirvana. You recite the Diamond Sutra from morning to night, but do not understand its meaning in the least. Look at me, you say. There is still me, and me comes before everything else. What Diamond Sutra do you recite anyway? The Diamond Sutra speaks of having no mark of self, no mark of people, of others, of living beings or a life because all dharmas are empty appearances. Is there anything more wonderful? If you truly understand, 
you arrive directly at body, the unchanging truth. Nature. This is called the refuge of proper knowledge and views. You have been liberated from knowledge, views, and attachments. No self, no other. Contemplating Dependence Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 227 No emptiness, no form. Feel the one conduct. Without the mark of self, just that is the Bodhisattva. A fallen Kiteshvara. If you do not fully enter into emptiness or existence, you can see the Buddha. Sutra. Good knowing advisors, the incense of these refuges perfumes each of you with it. Do not seek outside. I will. Now transmit to you the markless repentance and reform. To destroy the offensive actions done within the three periods of time and to purify the three karmas. Commentary. Repentance is to repent of past mistakes and reform is to Refrain from error in the future. If you receive it with a sincere mind, this repentance and reform can wipe away the offenses of the past and prevent them from being committed in the future. Purify your mind, and the transmission will purify the karma of your body, mouth and mind. Sutra Good knowing advisors, repeat after me, may this disciple be in past, present and future thought in every thought on stand by stupidity and confusion. May it be wiped away at once and never arise again. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 228 Commentary Defiled by stupidity, turned by stupidity, you soon become quite stupid. It is most important in every thought not to go down the road of stupidity but bring forth wisdom instead. Bad karma is created out of ignorance. Completely repent. And reform of all offenses, killing, stealing, sexual misconduct. Greed, hatred, stupidity, filthy language, lying, harsh speech, and slander, and in an instant they will be wiped away. Do not commit offenses out of stupidity and confusion. Sutra May this disciple be in past, present, and future. Thought in every thought on standby arrogance and Deceit. Now I completely repent of and reform all that actions done in the past out of arrogance and deceit and other such offenses. May their effects be wiped away and once and may they never be perpetrated again. Commentary. Arrogance. Only knowing there is you. Unaware that there are others. Looking down on everything, in the heavens and below, I alone. And unheard. Deceit is lying, 
it is also the self deceit of thinking that you are indispensable number one in the entire world. I am the highest, the president, the king, and the chairman cannot compare with me. Do not be stand by arrogance or turned by deceit. Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 229 Sutra May this disciple be in past, present, and future. Third, in every form on stand by jealousy. Now I Completely repent of and reform all bad actions done in the past out of jealousy and other such offenses. May they be wiped away at once and never arise again. Commentary Jealousy is the very worst thing. Cultivators see someone who is more intelligent than they are and become jealous, they see someone who learns faster and become jealous, they see someone sitting, thus, thus I'm moving, and become jealous, they see someone eating more food and become jealous, they see someone sleeping more and become jealous, they see someone drinking more tea and become jealous, even to the point that when someone has been sick for a long time they think, why can tea I get sick too? Do not be defiled or turned by jealousy. Sutra Good knowing advisors, the above has been the Markless Repentance and Reform What is Repentance? And what is Reform? Repentance is to repent of past errors, to repent so completely of all bad actions done in the past out of stupidity, confusion, arrogance, deceit. Jealousy and other such offenses that they never arise. Again, reform is to refrain from such transgressions in the future. Awakening and cutting of such offenses. Completely and never committing them again is called repentance and reform. Common people, stupid and confused, know only how to repent of former errors and do not know how to. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 230 Reform and refrain from transgressions in the future. Because they do not reform, their former errors are not wiped away, and they will occur in the future. If former errors are not wiped away and transgressions are again committed, how can that be called repentance and reform? Good knowing advisors, as you have repented and Reformed, I will now teach you to make the four all encompassing vows. I vow to take across the limitless living beings of my own mind. I vow to cut off the inexhaustible afflictions of my own mind. I vow to study the immeasurable Dharma doors of my own nature. I vow to realize the Supreme Buddha way of my own nature.
good knowing advisors, they all of you not just say. I vow to take across the limitless living beings. What? Does it mean? You should remember that it is not way. Then who takes them across? Good knowing advisors. The living beings within your mind are deviant and confused thoughts, deceitful and false thoughts, unwholesome thoughts, jealous thoughts, vicious thoughts, all these thoughts are living beings. The self nature of each one of them must take itself across. That is, true crossing over. Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 231 Commentary You must fail to take across the beings within your own heart to cut off the afflictions and to study the Dharma doors. There is nothing higher than Buddhahood, fail to realize it. Living beings are incalculably numerous, but you yourself must fail to save them, for it is not the sixth patriarch who takes them across. These good and bad living beings exist within your own mind. The good ones see unsurpassed body and produce the body might, while the bad ones must still be saved. Think it over and ask yourself, have I saved the living beings within my own mind? Am I proper in attitude and honorable in conduct or am I jealous? obstructive, and otherwise ignorant. The living beings within the mind are limitless, but our first concerns are the deviant and confused living beings, which should be taken across by means of proper wisdom, the deceitful and false living beings, which should be taken across by means of humility and the unwholesome living beings, which should be taken across by means of goodness. If you find that you have these faults, fail to correct them, for if you do not, they will drag you into the inescapable and endless misery of hell. Respect takes jealous living beings across. Although both Hirasai was a Dharma master, he and the other Dharma masters and viciously tried to poison Bodhi Dharma. Such Thoughts are living beings and you are making a serious mistake. If you do not take them across. Sutra. What is meant by the self nature taking itself across? It is to take across by means of right views the living beings of deviant views, affliction, and delusion within your own mind. Once you have right views, use the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 232. Prudna wisdom to destroy the living beings of delusion, confusion, and falsehood. Each one takes itself across. Enlightenment takes confusion across. Wisdom takes delusion across. Goodness takes evil across. Such crossing 
over is a true crossing. Further, I vow to cut off the inexhaustible afflictions. That is to use the prudent wisdom of your own self, nature to cast out the vain and false thoughts in your mind. Further, I vow to study the immeasurable dharma. Doors. You must see your own nature and always practice the right dharma. That is true study. Further, I vow to realize the Supreme Buddha way. And with humble mind to always practice the true and the proper. Separate yourself from both confusion and enlightenment and always give rise to prajna. When you Cast out the true and the false, you see your nature and realize the Buddha way at the very moment it is spoken of. Always be mindful, cultivate the Dharma that possesses the power of this vow. Commentary Use Prajna wisdom to destroy the living beings of illusion, confusion, and falsehood. Beat them to death. You ask, but? ISNT that a violation of the precept against killing. Hear you. May violate the precept, just take it. You are indeed hard to teach. When you break precepts, you don't worry about breaking them. But when you do not break precepts, you worry about breaking them. Transform the bad beings within your nature so that the good ones may dwell undisturbed and at peace. You may kill the chapter view. Repentance and reform. 233. You may beat them to death. Such crossing over is true crossing. Over. Afflictions never end, but you must cut them off. Actually. Cut off means Change. Change your afflictions into body. Afflictions are actually body, and if you cut off all afflictions, you cut off body. If you cut off all afflictions, you would become a Buddha, and you don't want to do that just yet, do you? So leave just a hair as worth of afflictions and transform the rest into body. Use genuine prudent wisdom to get rid of affliction and cast out all vain, false, deviant, and ignorant thoughts. Recognize your mind, see your original nature, and always Practice the right dharma, not the wrong. You may study the Buddha dharma in detail, but if you do not practice it, it is not true. Study. True Buddhist studies includes both study and practice. For example, people who used to smoke, drink, and take drugs no longer do so once they have studied the Buddha Dharma. They do not even eat meat. Those who were lazy and did nothing but sleep from morning to night and from night to morning, now read and translate sutras, listen to lectures, and meditate. 
vigorously without a thought of sleeping. If this were not true, study, why would they choose to work so hard? All living beings can cross themselves over. No one needs to take them across. The four vows in the text above are the basic vows which all bodhisattvas should make. As to the humble mind, the Earth Store Sutra says, The Buddha told Earth Store Bodhisattva, perhaps, there are kings of countries in Jambhavipa, or noblemen, great ministers, great elders, great kshatriyas, great Brahmins, and the rest who encounter the tired, the poor, and those who are the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 234. Hunchbacked, crippled, dumb, mute, deaf, retarded, eyeless, as well as all others who are handicapped. Perhaps these kings and great men will wish to give in, will be able to do so with great compassion, a humble heart, and a smile. Perhaps they will give personally, with their own hands or arrange for others to give, speaking gentle and sympathetic words. Such kings and others will obtain blessings comparable to the meritorious virtue they would gain by giving to Buddhas as numerous as the saint grants in one hundred Ganges rivers. Fail to realize the unsurpassed past. A ten thousand story building is built from the ground up. Once a person told an illogical tale. In New York, he said, the skyscrapers are not built from the ground up. They are built in empty space. They built the roof first. Everyone ran there. Brands and grew very upset, but no one could figure out how a building could be built in empty space. When I was in New York, I saw that the buildings were, in fact, built from the ground. Up. His story was nothing but a false rumor. Another person said, America is indeed beautiful. The American clouds are not like clouds in other countries. They are multicolored and entwined like garlands. The American moon is triangular and the American sun is square. Do you believe this? To realize Buddhahood, one must begin from the ground up, with a humble mind. Do not brag, look at me. Practice the true and proper Dharma with a contrite heart and modest manner. Chapter 2 Repentance and Reform 235 Separate yourself from confusion and enlightenment. You say separating oneself from confusion is all right, but how can one possibly separate oneself from enlightenment? This refers to deviant enlightenment, not right enlightenment. Those with 
Defiant Enlightenment are slow to understand the Buddha Dharma, but they don't need to be taught how to gamble or take drugs. They can do that on their own. You should keep away from such evil enlightenment. The text here does not say that you should avoid right enlightenment. You always give rise to prajna when you separate from deviant enlightenment. You give rise to wisdom, understanding, and right enlightenment and constantly generate prajna. When you cast out the true and the false, you see the Buddha, nature and realize the Buddha, way at the very moment of speaking of it. The truth that you cast aside is relative, not actual. Once rid of the true and the false, the original truth, suchness, nature is manifest. You cannot say that this nature is either true or false. Truth exists because there is falsehood and falsehood because there is truth. The true nature, however, is neither true nor false. The Shur Dhamma Sutra says, Falseness itself manifests all truths. The false and true are both false. The great master Yuchaya in his Song of Enlightenment said, When truth is not postulated, falseness is basically empty. Existence and non-existence both rejected. What is not empty, make empty. Real truth has no opposite. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 236 Always be mindful, cultivate the Dharma that possesses the power of this thought. Having made these thoughts, you may practice, cultivate them in every thought. Sutra Good knowing advisors, now that you have made the four all encompassing thoughts, I will transmit the precepts of the triple refuge that has no mark. Good. Knowing advisors, take refuge with the enlightened, the honored, the doubly complete. Take refuge with the right, the honor that is apart from desire. Take refuge with the pure, the honored among the multitudes. Commentary. Take refuge with the Buddha, the Buddha is enlightened. Enlightenment is simply the Buddha. The Buddha is nothing but enlightenment. The Buddha is doubly complete because he has perfected both blessings and wisdom. Take refuge with the Dharma which is right and proper. Do not take refuge with deviant teachings, heavenly demons, or heterodox religions. Take refuge with the genuine Buddha Dharma which is the honor that is apart from desire. Everyone has sexual desire and it actually kills people. Why? Don't we realize Buddhahood? It is because of desire and the 
greed, hate, and stupidity which accompanied it. We study the Buddha Dharma in order to get rid of desire and cut off love. The absence of lust is the honor that is apart from desire. Take refuge with the Sangha, the Sangha is pure and its members are called pure fields of merit. True, genuine cultivators should maintain the precept against handling money. Without money, you are pure, with money you are dirty. Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 237. Members of the Sangha who truly wish to cultivate should stay away from money. On the other hand, without money you cannot nourish the way you cannot cultivate. Although you need money, you should not be attached to it and depend on its source, thinking of they who has several million in the bank. I ll go and beg from him. Then I can build a temple or a school or perhaps print an edition of the Tripitaka as a meritorious activity. That is just profit seeking. While in Manchuria there was a short period during which money and I parted company. I never touched money and for a good reason. Living in the temple where I lived when I left home were 40 or 50 pictures, but sometimes as few as 10. When I first arrived at the temple, the abbot was out begging and none of the pictures knew me. I know the abbot, I said, and they welcomed me. After leaving home, I practiced austerities, but not the ones you practice. You type, translate sutras, and meditate, but in the big rural temple where I lived, there was a lot of outside work too. Be done. Sweeping the courtyard alone took an hour. My first job was to clean the toilets, which weren't tea flush toilets, but pit toilets, and every day the waste had to be removed because the cultivators did not want to smell the odor. They gave this work to me because I had just left home and had not yet cut off my attachment to smells. I did it every day and did tea mine too much. I got up at 2 in the morning to prepare the hole for surfaces. When it snowed I swept the walkways so that they were clear at for when everyone else got up. When the abbot returned in, so me he said, so you have come? Yes, I said, I have. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra 238 After I had formally left home, he called a meeting, wishing to elect me as manager, a position second only to the abbot. When the abbot retires, the manager becomes the new abbot. Everyone objected. He has just left home, they said. How can he possibly be manager? 
Very well, said the abbot. Let us go before the image of Waiti, O you Bodhisattva and draw names. Ugly enough, they drew three times and my name came up each time. No one said a word because I had been elected by Waiti, O you Bodhisattva himself. Later, when the abbot wanted to make me an administrator, I said, all right, but I will not touch money. Other people must handle and count it. That is my condition. Unusual things happen while I held this precept. Whenever I went to the train station I would sit and wait for someone who knew me to come and offer to buy me a ticket. If no one came I just waited, but strangely enough whenever I went to the station someone came to buy me a ticket. If you don't handle money, you are pure. If you keep even one cent, you are unclean. Take refuge with the Sangha, which occupies the purest, highest, and most venerable position, the honored among the multitudes. Sutra. From this day forward, we call enlightenment our master and will never again take refuge with deviant demons or outside religions. We constantly enlighten ourselves by means of the triple jewel of our own self. Nature. Good knowing advisors, I exhort you all to take Refuge with the triple jewel of your own nature, the Buddha, which is enlightenment, the Dharma, which is right, and the Sangha, which is pure. Chapter 2 Repentance and Reform 239. When your mind takes refuge with enlightenment, Deviant confusion does not arise. Desire decreases, so that you know contentment and are able to keep away from wealth and from the opposite sex. That is called the honored, the doubly complete. When your own mind takes refuge with what is Right, there are no deviant views in any of your thoughts. Because there are no deviant views, there is no self, other, arrogance, greed, love, or attachment. That is called the honor that is apart from desire. When your own mind takes refuge with the pure, Yourself, nature is not stand by attachment to any state of defilement, desire or love. That is called the honored. Among the multitudes. Commentary. To lessen desire, it is not enough to be a vegetarian and to read sutras. You must cut off all sexual desire. If one does not cast out thoughts of lust, one never will escape the dust. Unless you rid yourself of sexual desire, you will never get out of the triple world, the world of desire, the world of form, and the formless world. Contentment means not being greedy. 
dying of poverty, dying of starvation, no matter what the difficulty, you are never greedy. Separate from wealth and beauty. Do you see how clearly it says that you should not covet wealth, or the opposite sex, or fin? That is to be doubly complete, perfect in blessings and wisdom. The sixth patriarch, as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra. 240 States of Defilement here refers to all social and political situations. You should not be molded by the society, but rather transform it. Teach living beings, do not be taught by them. Once, when I noticed that one of my students had been talking on the phone for over an hour, I asked her what she was doing. I am trying to convert my boyfriend to Buddhism, she said. Really? I said. What is he now? He is a Catholic, she said. Be careful he does, he convert you. I said. His belief in Catholicism is firm. Take care that he does, he take you across. Sure enough, not long afterward she ran off. Now what she believes, whether she saved others or was saved by them, is unknown. The non defilement of the self, nature is called the unheard. Among the multitudes, living beings are all defiled. If you wish to be an exceptional individual, you must leave desire behind. To separate yourself from desire is to be a great hero and true student of the Buddha Dharma. Unless you correct your faults, what little Buddha Dharma you do know is useless. Sutra. If you cultivate this practice, you take refuge with yourself. Common people do not understand that, and so, from morning to night, they take the triple refuge. Precepts. They say they take refuge with the Buddha, but where is the Buddha? If they cannot see the Buddha, how can they return to him? Their talk is absurd. Good knowing advisors, each of you examine yourselves. Do not make wrong use of the mind. The Apatansaka Sutra clearly states that you should take refuge with your own Buddha, not with some other. Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 241 Buddha If you do not take refuge with the Buddha in yourself, there is no one you can rely on. Now that you are self-awakened, you should each take refuge with the triple jewel of your own mind. Within yourself, regulate your mind and nature. Outside yourself, respect others. That is to take refuge with yourself. Commentary. Ordinary people do not understand the principle of taking refuge 
If you constantly say, I take refuge with the Buddha, just where is the Buddha? If you have never seen the Buddha, then how can you take refuge with him? If you say, I have seen him, you are lying. The Sutra tells you to take refuge with your own Buddha, not with some other Buddha. The Buddha of yourself, nature is always present, but you did know this because until now you never had the instruction of a good knowing advisor. Now that you have taken refuge, you should be clear about the Buddha law. Yourself, nature. Take refuge with enlightenment. Take refuge with what is right. Take refuge with the pure. Take refuge with enlightenment. And don't do stupid things. Take refuge with what is right. And don't do what is wrong. Take refuge with the pure. And don't do unclean things. The Sex Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 242 Take refuge with the Triple Jewel within your own mind. If you really understand the Buddha Dharma, you will respect not just your relatives and friends, but everyone, even people. You don't know. Instead of slapping someone when you see him, and then throwing mud in his face, you must be the most respectful toward those who had the worst toward you. This is a fundamental responsibility of students of Buddhism. You say, you have a king really being bad to me, so how could I be bad to you? I S N T this extraordinary. It is just to take refuge with the triple jewel of yourself, nature. Sutra. Good knowing advisors, now that you have taken refuge with the triple jewel, you should listen carefully. While I explain to you the three bodies of a single substance, the self, nature of the Buddha, so that you may see the three bodies and become completely enlightened to your own self, nature. Repeat after me. I take refuge with the clear, pure Dharma, body of the Buddha within my own body. I take refuge with the hundred thousand myriad transformation bodies of the Buddha within my own body. I take refuge with the complete and full reward body of the Buddha within my own body. Good knowing advisors, the form body is an in it cannot be returned to the three bodies of the Buddha. Chapter 2 Repentance and Reform 243 Exist within the self, nature of worldly people, but because they are confused, they do not see the nature within them and so seek the three bodies of the Tathagata outside themselves. They do not see that the three bodies of the Buddha are within their own bodies. Listen to what I say, 
for it can cause you to see the three bodies of your own self, nature within your own body. The three bodies of the Buddha arise from your own self, nature and are not obtained from outside. What is the clear, pure Dharma, Body Buddha? The worldly person, as nature is basically clear and pure, and the ten thousand dharmas are produced from it. The thought of evil produces evil actions and the thought of good produces good actions. Thus all dharmas exist within the self, nature. This is like the sky which is always clear and the sun and moon which are always bright, so that if they are obscured by floating clouds it is bright above the clouds and dark below them. But if the wind suddenly blows and scatters the clouds, there is brightness above and below and the myriad forms appear. The worldly person as nature constantly drifts like those clouds in the sky. Good knowing advisors, intelligence is like the sun, and wisdom is like the moon. Intelligence and wisdom are constantly bright, but if you are attached to external states, the floating clouds of false thought cover the self nature so that it cannot shine. If you meet a good knowing advisor, if you listen to the true and right Dharma and cast out your own confusion and falseness, then inside and out there will be penetrating brightness and within the self, nature of the 10,000 dharmas will appear. That is how it is with the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 244. Those who see their own nature, it is called the clear, pure Dharma, body of the Buddha. Commentary. Your physical body is like a house. You must not take refuge in it, but rather take refuge with your own self, nature. Everyone has the three Buddha bodies within themselves, but because of their delusion they don't he know it break through the clouds of illusion. It is just because you have not broken through them that you are deluded and have no wisdom. But if you do away with troubles and ignorance and listen to a clear eye advisor as explanation of the orthodox, Teaching, your own nature will reflect all the dharmas, like a luminous crystal. Those who see their nature and know their original mind are like a clear sky. The heart calm, all worries go away. The mind still, heaven has no clouds. When your heart is upset there is chaos, but when your mind is calm and resolved, everything is auspicious. The pure heart, like the moon in water. The quiet mind, like a cloudless sky. True wealth, the mind stopped, throat cut off. 
Chapter Six: Repentance and Reform. 两百四十五 True field of blessing, all passions put to an end. You must end your delusion and greed, still the mind and cut all thought. That is true wealth. Truly wealthy people are not greedy. Those who are greedy are thereby pure. They may have a little money, but they are never satisfied. The passions are just selfish desires, and without them, you are a true field of merit. Sutra. Good knowing advisers, when your own mind takes refuge with yourself, nature it takes refuge with the truth. Buddha. To take refuge is to rid yourself, nature of egotism and unwholesome thoughts, as well as of jealousy, obsequiousness, deceitfulness. Contempt, pride, conceit, and deviant views, and all other unwholesome tendencies, whenever they arise, to take refuge is to be always aware of your own transgressions and never to speak of other people as good or bad traits. Always to be humble and polite is to have penetrated to the self nature without any obstacle. That is taking refuge. Commentary: If you turn the light around and reverse the illumination, you take refuge with the true Buddha. Be careful not to envy others. Would you like to know why you are so deluded? It is because, in past lives, life after life, you envied others. You envied their intelligence, and so now you are stupid. You envied their talent, and so now you have none. You were jealous then, and now you are inferior. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 两百四十六 You should not be devious and indirect. Get rid of egotism. I, I, me, myself. Everything revolves around me. You should not be deceitful, full of self-importance and contemptuous of others. To have deviant views is to misjudge every situation you encounter and then go off in the wrong direction. Deviant views are easy to come by. If you wish to take refuge, see your own faults and quit talking about other people. Criticism is yin and praise is yang. You should find the middle way. Sutra. What is the perfect full reward body of the Buddha? Just as one lamp can disperse the darkness of a thousand years, one foot of wisdom can destroy ten thousand years of delusion. Do not think of the past; it is gone and can never be recovered. Instead, think always of the future and in every thought. Perfect and clear. See your own original nature. Although good and evil differ, the original nature is not dual. That not.
dual nature is the real nature. Undefined. By either good or evil, it is the perfect, full reward, body. Of the Buddha. One evil thought arising from the self, nature. Destroys 10,000 billions worth of good karma. 1. Good thought arising from the self, nature and evils as numerous as the sand grains in the Ganges River. 2. Reach the unsurpassed body directly, see it for yourself. In every thought and do not lose the original thought. That is the reward, body of the Buddha. Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 247 Commentary When you bring forth wisdom, not just 10,000 years, but 10,000 billions of illusion are wiped away. Do not regret the past or be anxious about the future. What? Am I going to do next, you ask? If you plant good causes, you will reap good results. If you plant bad causes, you will reap bad results. So do good things and good things will happen, do bad and bad things will happen. Your thoughts should be proper. Perfectly lucid, and full of light, not deviant, selfish, and self-seeking, obstructive or jealous. If you are not afraid that others will be better than you, it may be that you are a little better than they are. But if you fear that they will surpass you, then they are. Oh, better than you. The good and evil natures within the self, nature differ, but the self, nature is not dual. The non-dual suchness self, nature is the real nature. You wrote in his song of enlightenment. Ignorance and the real nature are just the Buddha nature. The illusory empty body is just the Dharma body. In the original, real nature, there is no good or evil. It is entirely perfect and wonderful in itself, far reaching in its penetration and broadening understanding. One vicious thought, such as both hierosite as desire to poison. Bodhi Dharma destroys 10,000 billions of good karma. Whereas one good thought melts away evil karma and immense as the number of sand grains in the Ganges. One good thought can cause the realization of Buddhahood, and one bad thought is cause enough for going to hell. If you would like to know the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 248 Whether you are going to become a Buddha or go to hell, Take a look at what kind of thoughts you have. To arrive at Buddhahood directly, see it for yourself in every thought. Understand your own mind and see your own original nature. Do not lose the original thought, the true thought, the true nature. Sutra. What are the hundred thousand myriad 
transformation bodies of the Buddha. If you are free of any fault of the 10,000 dharmas, then your nature is basically like emptiness, but in one fold of calculation, transformation occurs. Evil thoughts are transformed into hell beings and good thoughts into heavenly beings. Viciousness is transformed into dragons and snakes and compassion into bodhisattvas. Wisdom is transformed into the upper realms and illusion into the lower realms. The transformations of the self, nature, are extremely many, and yet the confused person, unawakened to that truth, continually gives rise to evil, and walks evil paths, turn a single thought back to goodness, and wisdom is produced. That is the transformation body of the Buddha within yourself. Nature. Commentary. Having discussed the perfect full reward body which lacks nothing and has nothing in excess, which obtains nothing and loses nothing and is neither defiled nor immaculate, increasing nor decreasing, male nor female, good nor evil but which is perfect body that returns to non attainment the sixth patriarch. Chapter 2 Repentance and Reform 249 Asks, what are the hundred thousand myriad transformation? Bodies. We have one body, you say. How can we have a hundred thousand myriad bodies? What do the Buddha as transformation? Bodies have to do with me. These transformation bodies are simply a hundred thousand myriad thoughts and calculations. Shaikyo Muni Buddha can transform himself to appear in any one of the ten dharma realms. That is, he can become a Buddha, a Bodhisattva, a Pratyakut Buddha, an Arhat, a God, a Shura, human, hell, being, hungry ghost, or animal. You might also say that you and I have a hundred thousand myriad transformation bodies. I have taken a hundred thousand myriad disciples and all of them imitate their teacher in cultivation. They see their teacher eating only one meal a day before you and say, I am going to do that too. I tell them, I never stick out my hand and then I don't tea depend on external situations and neither should you. If no one makes offerings to me and I die, that is just fine. Those who live the whole life under me must follow my three conditions, as I do. Freezing, I don't, tea back. Starving, I don't, tea skin, and dying of poverty, I ask for nothing. The disciples say, alright. Even if we starve to death, we want tea back or skin. 
because they copy me, they are my transformation bodies. In the future you will have transformation bodies, too. If you have a good way of doing things, you will have a hundred thousand myriad good transformation bodies. If you have an evil, ghostly way, you will have that many ghostly transformation bodies. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 250 If you are free of any thought of the 10,000 dharmas, then your nature is basically like emptiness. One thought not produced. The entire substance manifests. If you do not give rise to a single thought, your original Buddha nature appears. But guarantee you producing a thought. Are you without false thinking? Are you not thinking what will I eat tomorrow? What time will I get to bed tonight? Or I am thirsty. I think I will have a cup of tea. Without false thinking, you are a Buddha. But if you can tea, cut off your false thinking, you must not claim to be a Buddha. You must cultivate the way. If you have a tea cultivated and say, Hey, I am a Buddha, you are just a dog of a Buddha. You can tea. Simply say that everyone is Buddha, you have to cultivate it. Realize Buddhahood. Without cultivation, people are people. Animals are animals, and dogs are dogs. But do not be offended. Dogs also have the Buddha nature. They have to cultivate that S O six roots suddenly move a covering of clouds. When you see something and think it beautiful or hear something and think music, you are being influenced by externals. Using the six sense organs, the six sense objects and the six consciousnesses in this way, you cover yourself with clouds. Evil thoughts are transformed into hell beings, suppose. You think, how can I get famous? How can I succeed? I will start a riot, murder people, set fires and loot the streets. Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 251 And good thoughts into heavenly beings. Oh, you say, I want to help people. You have no money. Here is a million to help you get what? Or you think no one makes offerings to the Americans who have left home? I will make an offering. Don't wait for America, such an affluent nation, to allow its new Buddhist Sangha to start to death, transform into the heavens. Wisdom is transformed into the upper realms and illusion into the lower realms. With intelligence, you go up, but if you are deluded, you fall. 
the superior one mounts on high. The petty person travels a lower road. The transformations of the self, nature are extremely many. And yet the confused person, unawakened to that truth, continually gives rise to evil, and walks evil paths. The confused person, as every thought is evil, that person mistreats me. I am going to ruin him. The great master Shen Su was one who walked evil paths by repeatedly sending hired killers after the sixth patriarch turn a single thought back to goodness and wisdom is produced. That is the transformation body of the Buddha within yourself, nature. Do you understand? If you do, you are a good knowing advisor. If you don't, t you re an evil knowing advisor. T you rather be a good knowing advisor. Sutra. Good knowing advisors. The Dharma body of the Buddha is basically complete. To see your own nature in every thought is the reward body of the Buddha. When the reward body thinks and calculates, it is the transformation body of the Buddha. Awaken and the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 252 Cultivate by your own efforts the merit and virtue of your self, nature that is truly taking refuge. The skin and flesh of the physical body are like into which you cannot return. Simply awaken to the three bodies of yourself, nature and you will understand. The self, nature Buddha. Commentary. You yourself must wake up and cultivate on your own. Do not battle intellectuals and all day. Yak, 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 talking but never practicing. Talking a yard is not as good as practicing an inch. If you do nothing but talk, you are cheating people. So pay no attention to whether my lectures are good or bad. Look. Instead to see if I have ever cheated you. The sixth patriarch tells you to awaken to the three bodies of yourself, nature. So you say, then taking refuge with myself is to take refuge with my body. No. If you take refuge with your Body, you are just adding a head on top of a head, like Lajitadada. In the Shurgama Sutra, who ran everywhere looking for his head. Your physical body is an in where yourself, nature, temporarily dwells. Therefore, you cannot say, My body is me. Your body is not you. Then is it someone else, as? No, your body is yours. It is not mine or his. It is yours, but it is not you. Don't T. I always say that if you live in a house, you can say the house is yours but you certainly cannot say the house is you.
if you say that it is you, everyone will say, he goes, he even know who he is. He thinks his house is him, but it is just a thing. Your body is like a house, dumb, he mistake it for being you. Understand? Dumb, he take refuge with the physical body, take refuge with yourself, nature. Awaken to the clear, pure Dharma, body. Buddha, the perfect, full reward, body Buddha, and the hundred thousand myriad transformation, body Buddhas within your chapter view. Repentance and Reform 253 Own Nature By understanding the Buddha of yourself, nature, you may perfect the three bodies. Sutra I have a verse without marks. If you can recite it, memorize it, it will wipe away accumulated eons of confusion and offenses as soon as the words are spoken. The first rounds. A confused person will foster blessings, but not cultivate the way and say to practice for the blessings is practice of the way while giving and making offerings brings blessings without limit it is in the mind that the three evils have their origin by seeking blessings you may wish to obliterate offenses but in the future though you are blessed offenses still remain you ought to simply strike the evil conditions from your mind by true repentance and reform within your own self, nature a sudden awakening, the true repentance and reform of the great vehicle the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 254 You must cast out the deviant and practice the right to be without offense to study the way, always look within your own self, nature You are then the same in kind and lineage as all Buddhas our patriarch passed along only this sudden teaching, wishing that all might see the nature and be of one substance. In the future if you wish to find the Dharma body, detach yourself from Dharma marks and inwardly wash the mind. Strive to see it for yourself, and do not waste your time, for when the final thought has stopped, your life comes to an end. Enlightened to the great vehicle, you can see your nature, so reverently join your palms, and seek it with all your heart. Commentary. Don't he be nervous, continued the great master, I have some good news. Don't he you know, I have a verse without. Chapter Bill. Repentance and Reform. 255. Marks. Do you want to hear it? If you do, I'll recite, if not, I'll.
just put it away. Yes, everyone exclaimed, we definitely do want to hear it. Please be compassionate and recite it. If you can learn this verse by heart, the master said, it will cause the confusions and crimes accumulated from beginningless time, passing through limitless ages, life after life, to be eradicated immediately. Where will they go? Do you mean you still want to look for them? What a waste of effort. A confused person will foster blessing, but if you tell him to cultivate with vigor, he won't he do it. Although there are not many students here, those present are extremely sincere. They do not fear that pen, back, pen, any pen whatever. I will endure this pen and cultivate the way, even if it means giving up my life. They say, such rare determination makes me happy, but I don't show my happiness by joking with you all day. It is not that kind of happiness, it is true happiness. Deluded people say, to practice for the blessings is practice of the way. This is like the Emperor Wu of Lian who said, I have taken pictures across and have built many temples. I have made offerings and practiced charity and arranged vegetarian banquets. What great merit I must have? It is probably even greater than Shaikyong Muni Buddha's Giving and making offerings brings limitless blessings, but the origin of the three evils is within the mind. What are the three evils? Greed, hate, and delusion. Greed, I think I'll eat a few more peanuts and then I want to be hungry today. Hate, hey. Who ate all the peanuts? Delusion, hating the one who ate the peanuts which makes you unreasonable and stupid. Cultivating blessings while neglecting. Wisdom has made you so stupid that you can't quit over eating and even have the goal to speak of it as a bigger practice. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 256. You cannot get rid of offenses by cultivating blessings, because although you obtain the blessings, the offenses still remain. What you should do is rid the mind of all evil conditions, i.e. thoughts of greed, hate, delusion, jealousy, obstructiveness, conceit, obsequiousness, viciousness and deceitfulness. But they, read my old friends, you say, we, we being together. For millions of years, how can I part with the fine? If you can tea part with the, then there is nothing to do but follow the down to hell to practice true repentance and reform is to understand the 
great vehicle and immediately get rid of all evil thoughts? It is very clear, no analogies are needed. You truly repent when you get rid of the deviant and practice the right, as the sixth patriarch, as first says. Then you may walk down the straight, great bright road and be without offense. To study the way, always look within the self, nature. Ask yourself, what am I doing? Am I acting like a person or a ghost? An animal, a horse or a cow? You are what you do. If you act like a Buddha, you are a Buddha. The Buddha practices friendliness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and giving. His compassion is genuine, not false and greedy. He never thinks, if I am a little compassionate to you, you will be greatly compassionate to me. There are no ulterior motives in the compassion I have for you. I would not give you a break and expect a piece of JD. Return. Cultivators, turn the light around, reverse its illumination. And ask yourself, am I thinking like a demon or a Buddha? And I selfish or generous, self-seeking or charitable. If you are charitable, you are the same in kind as all the Buddhas. If you act like a Buddha, you are a Buddha. But if you act like a ghost, how can you be a Buddha? Chapter 6 Repentance and Reform 257 but our patriarch, the sixth patriarch means Bodhidharma, who transmitted only the southern teaching Dharma, Dor, because he wanted everyone to see the Buddha nature and realize the Buddha way together. If you wish to find the Dharma, body, then sacred yourself from all marks. Do not be attached, jealous, obstructive, ignorant, afflicted, or snobbish. You cannot think as the Buddha did in the heavens and below, I alone am honored. The Diamond Sutra says, one who has left all marks is called a Buddha. Apart from marks and unattached to self and to dharmas, the mind, ground is cleansed. Strive to see it for yourself and go forward with heroic figure. You, LL, never succeed if you, real lazy and waste your time. Say, wait, I, LL, cultivate tomorrow. Wait, I, LL, translate. Tomorrow. Even at lunchtime you say, wait, I, LL, eat later. Wait, wait, until it. As time to die and King Yongma want to listen to you when you say, wait. I LL die later. If you are truly free, you come and go in birth and death and yet are not subject to birth and death. King Yongma has no control over you. This is like the Third Patriarch, 
Sen T S N Who said you see other city? Lotus posture to die and think it's special. Watch this, eh? Grab a tree branch with one hand and went to Nirvana, just hanging there. Was T he free? If you wait until your dying breath to cultivate, it will be too late, for when the final thought has stopped, your life comes to an end. Earlier, in Chapter 4, the T the Sutra say that you should not cut off your thought, because when the last thought is Cut off you die and then undergo rebirth in some other place. At the time of death there is nothing, no fame, no riches. Both your hands will be empty and you will be forced to put down what you can t put down. No matter how dear your loved ones are, you, LL, have to part with them. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 258. Enlightened to the Great Vehicle. You can see the nature. So reverently join your palms and Seek it with all your heart. See the nature and humbly seek to follow the unsurpassed way. Sutra. The Master said, Good knowing advisors, all of you, should take up this verse and cultivate according to it. If you see your nature at the moment these words are spoken, even if we are a thousand miles apart you will always be by my side. If you do not awaken at the moment of speaking, then face to face we are a thousand miles apart. So why did you bother to come from so far? Take care of yourselves and go well. The United Assembly heard this Dharma and there were none who did not awaken. They received it with delight and practiced in accord with it. Commentary I think the sixth patriarch liked to talk and so he delivered this platform sutra. If he had to like to speak, he would to have taught any sutra at all. Now I am teaching it to all of you. You are quite intelligent, the master said, and you have good roots. We have an affinity which goes back for many lifetimes and many ages, and therefore we have met here today. Of course, there were no foreigners in the Master as Dharma. Assembly, they were all Chinese. That I have met with so many Americans must be a case of even greater affinity. Chapter 2 Repentance and Reform 259 If you understand the verse I have recited, said the Master, you will get rid of the deviant, practice the right, and be without offense. And although we are a thousand miles apart, you will be right beside me. If my disciples understand and remember the sutras I have explained, they will be right beside me. But if instead they take 
advantage of external circumstances or get jealous and angry. They will have studied the way in vain. If they got the understand this first, then even if we should stand face to face, we would still be a thousand miles apart. If they believe in me, although we are a thousand miles apart, we are face to face. Are you trying to make people believe in you, you ask? No. Why should I want you to believe in me? You, read better of believing in yourself, because if you cultivate, you do it for yourself. You got te to make me fool. All I do is teach you the methods. If you have come all this way just to be a thousand miles from me, why did you bother to come and go? Take care of yourselves. Don't te look down on yourself and Say, I am not going to cultivate. I am nothing but a dog anyway. See yourself as a person, not a dog, and go to a good place, not a bad one. 261. See chapter 6. Opportunities and Conditions. Sutra. The master obtained the Dharma and Wang Mei and returned to T.S. Aoho village in Shaozhou where no one knew him. But Liu Qi Lia, a scholar, received him with great courtesy. Qi Lia, as Aunt Pipshanaimu, Ching Sen, constantly recited the Mahapuri Nirvana Sutra. When the master heard it, he instantly grasped it. Wonderful principle and explained it to her. The Pikshanai then held out a scroll and asked about some characters. The master said, I cannot read, please ask about the meaning. If you cannot even read, how can you understand the meaning? asked the picture knight. The master replied, the subtle meaning of all Buddhas is not based on language. The picture knight was startled and she announced to all the elders and virtuous ones in the village, here is a gentleman who possesses the way. We should ask him to stay and receive our offerings. T.S. A.O. Shu Lian, great grandson of the Marquis Wu of the Wei Dynasty, can rushing to pay homage along with the people of the village. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 262 At that time the pure dwellings of the ancient Pauline Temple, which had been destroyed by war and fire at the end of the Sui Dynasty, were rebuilt on their own foundation. The master was invited to stay and soon the temple became a revered place. He dwelt there a little. Over nine months when he was once again pursued by evil men. The master hid in the mountain in the front of the temple and when they set fire to the brush and trees, he 
escaped by crawling into a rock to hide. The rock still bears the imprints of the master as the stem of his bow, where he sat in lotus posture. Because of this, it is called the rock of refuge. Remembering the fifth patriarch as instructions to stop at Yan Hai that way. He went to conceal himself in those two cities. Commentary. After receiving the might, seal Dharma from the fifth patriarch Hong Zhen, the sixth patriarch returned to Shaozhou. He thereupon went to T.S. Aoho village, the present day Sha Kuang in Chu Chien district. When he arrived in the vicinity of Nanhua Temple, which before had been Kaoling Temple, no one knew that he was the one who held the robe and go. Liu Chili was a wealthy retired official who enjoyed studying the Buddha Dharma. He welcomed the master reverently and made offerings to him. Chili and his aunt, Pichinai Wu Ching Sen, Limitless Treasury, were the sixth patriarch as great Dharma protectors. Wu Ching Sen liked to recite the Mahapari Nirvana Sutra. This sutra, in ten volumes, was spoken by the Buddha just before he went to Nirvana. Hearing the recitation, the sixth patriarch understood the subtle principle and explained it to the Pichinai. Probably she. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions 263 Could he read very well because she asked the master what is this word? Do you mean you can he read it? said the master. No, I can't, he, she said. Well, I can't, he either, said the master, but if you ask about the meaning I can explain it for you. If you can't, he even read it, how can you know what it means? She asked. The master said, the Buddha, as heart, the might, Dharma, the wonderful principle of sudden enlightenment, has nothing to do with words. Instead, it points directly to the mind so that we can see our own nature and become Buddhas. Since it is not based on Language it does the matter whether you can read. Pichinai Wu Ching said so that was very strange. Indeed, she told everyone in the village, here is a gentleman who has the way. He is a virtuous Dharma master. He may not be able to read, but he is enlightened, so we should make offerings to him. Although she did, he know a lot of characters, Wu Jin said, was nevertheless an incredible Hikshunai. She ate one meal a day and never lay down to sleep, because she knew that the Fourth Patriarch recommended these practices. Although her family was wealthy, she kept the precept of never holding 
money. She studied and recited sutras industriously, and when the time came, she died sitting up in meditation. Many days, many years have passed and her body still has not decayed. Because she was vigorous and worked hard at cultivation and had no sexual desire, her flesh transformed into indestructible. Phaedra I saw the body in a temple in Chu Chi and it is truly awesome. Among the villagers who paid homage to the great master was the great grandson of Marki Wu. Marki Wu was very the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 264. Intelligent. He was, in fact, as clever as a fox. He was a genius. But he had a tendency to be jealous. Hikshanai Wu Ching Sen promoted the sixth patriarch. Do you know who he is? She would say, he as the rightful successor to the fifth patriarch. He holds the robe and go. One flower may be beautiful, but it looks much better. Surrounded by greenery. If no one had protected him, the sixth patriarch would surely have been murdered by Shen Su as Gen or those of other religions. His Dharma assembly flourished because his disciples and lay people such as Hikshunai, Wu Ching San and her nephew Liu Qin Lia, the scholar, guarded and protected him. Fanayan Master T. Wen Ying also brought several hundred of his students to study with the master. And each student told his friends to come. So every day for lunch, there were between 1,500 and 2,000 people, 7 or 8. Hundred of whom were members of the Sangha. Everyone made heartfelt offerings to help rebuild Nan Huan Temple. Some gave 10,000 ounces of silver, some gave a million. They asked the master to live there and before long it was a great body band up, big enough for several thousand people. A little over nine months later, several hundred of Shen Su as men left Wang Mei, passing through the Tau Mountain Ranch on their way to Nan Hua Temple. They traveled for over two months. If they had T been intent on killing the master and Stealing the robe and bow, they would have given up after a couple of days. Think it over, 16 or 17 years have passed since the transmission, and the master had only been staying at Nan Hua for nine months when the evil man returned. It is not easy to be a patriarch unless you are a phony. Real patriarchs live in great danger. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions 265 The sixth patriarch had spiritual powers and he knew that not. Just one or two, 
but several hundred men were after him. He hid in the Rock of Refuge, which is just big enough to hold one person sitting in meditation. The evil man mingled in with the large crowd and stealthily set fire to the mountain. They burned off the entire area, but never found the master. While hiding, the master probably meditated with great intensity because the texture of his robe and the marks of his knees can still be seen imprinted in the rock. When I was at Nanhua Temple I sat in the rock for a time, but I was seeking refuge, I was just trying it out. When you sit inside it, no one can see you. 266 Hikshufahai Sutra when Hikshufahai of Chuchi and city in Shaozhou first called on the patriarch, he asked, Will you please instruct me on the sentence, Mine is Buddha? The master said, When one as preceding thoughts are not produced, this is mine, and when one as subsequent Thoughts are not extinguished, this is Buddha. The setting out of marks is might, and separation from the is Buddha. Were I to explain it fully, I would not finish before the end of the presentation. Listen to my verse. When the mind is called wisdom, then the Buddha is called concentration. When concentration and wisdom are equal, the intellect is pure. Understand this Dharma teaching by practicing within your own nature. The function is basically unproduced. It is right to cultivate both. At these words, Fahai was greatly enlightened and spoke a verse in praise. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Hipshu Fahai 267 This mind is basically Buddha. By not understanding I disgrace myself. I know the cause of concentration and wisdom is to cultivate both and separate myself from all things. Commentary Hikshufahai, also called when you compiled and edited the Platform Sutra from the Sixth Patriarch as lectures. Although I dare not say that he liked to be first when he wrote this chapter. He certainly thought I am the master as number one great disciple and consequently wrote about himself first. Great master, said Fahai, I don't he understand the sentence. This mind is Buddha. Please explain it. Do not produce the former thought, said the master, and just that is might. Do not extinguish the latter thought and just that is Buddha. With neither production nor extinction, the might itself is Buddha. All appearances are set up by the mind, and if you can set up all appearances and be separate from the that is 
Buddha. The mind is called wisdom and the Buddha is called concentration. When concentration and wisdom are equal, the mind is Buddha and Buddha is the mind. They are one substance. When thought is pure, then wisdom and concentration, mind and Buddha are equal. If you understand the Southern teaching you, know that the Buddha is not separate from the mind and the mind is not separate from the Buddha, concentration is not separate from wisdom and wisdom is not separate from concentration. You don't the understand because you have accumulated bad habits for many ages. The wonderful function of the self, nature, is basically unproduced and undestroyed, so when you cultivate the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 268. The mind, you cultivate the Buddha, when you cultivate the Buddha, you cultivate the mind. The same applies to concentration and wisdom. You should cultivate them equally. When you don't, the understand, there are two mind and Buddha, when you understand, you know that they are originally one. In cultivating concentration and wisdom, you should separate yourself from all marks. 269. Hikshufati A. Sutra. Hikshufati A of Hangzhou left home at page 7 and constantly recited the Dharma Flower Sutra, but when he came to bow before the patriarch, his head did not touch the ground. The master scolded him, saying, if you do not touch the ground, I s n t it better not to bow. There must be something on your mind. What do you practice? I have recited the Dharma Flower Sutra over three thousand times, he replied. The master said, I don't take care if you have recited it ten thousand times. If you understood the sutra as meaning, you would not be so overbearing and you could Walk along with me. You have fell in your work and do not even recognize your error. Listen to my verse. As bowing is basically to cut off arrogance. Why don't you touch your head to the ground? When you possess a self, offenses arise. But forgetting merit brings supreme blessings. The master asked further, what is your name? Fati A, he replied. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 270. The master said, your name means Dharma. Penetration. But what Dharma have you penetrated? He then spoke a verse. Your name means Dharma penetration. And you earnestly recite without pause to rest. Recitation is mere sound. But one who understands his mind is called. A Bodhisattva. Now, 
because of your carpet conditions. I will explain it to you. Believe only that the Buddha is without words. And the lotus blossom will bloom from your mouth. Commentary Dharma Masters Fahai, Dharma C, and Fati A, Dharma. Penetration, both received the sixth patriarch as Dharma. Fati A. Left home at age seven and constantly recited the Lotus Sutra, but when he met the patriarch, he did T bow properly, he just pretended. He had to make some sort of show of it since everybody knew that the great master held one way as low and bow. But the most respect he could muster was to throw himself hastily on the ground without even touching his head to the floor, and in his heart he felt that his own merit certainly was greater than the master S. After all, he thought, I be recited the sutra over three thousand times. When Fati A saw ordinary people, he couldn't even manage a half bow. He was like a rich snob who only sees other rich snobs and looks down on everyone else. The sixth patriarch took one look and knew that Fati A had something on his mind. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Pikshu Fati A 271 The Lotus Sutra is seven volumes long and reciting quickly. You could read through it once in a day or 365 times a year. Therefore Fati A had been reciting it for over 10 years. I don't take care if you be recited it 10,000 times, said the master. If you really understood it, you would be in your own merit and could study with me. Not everyone can study with a patriarch, you know. If you have obstructions and afflictions, he may not want you. Therefore, if you come to study here but break the rules, you are not welcome. In order to cultivate with me you must offer up your conduct in accord with the teaching. So many recitations, said the master, and you still don't know how conceited you are. No doubt you think your merit is even greater than mine. Such pride is an offense. But if you could forget your merit and consider your 3,000 recitations as no recitations, then your merit would be limitless and boundless. Speak up. Dharma penetration, the master continued. What Dharma have you penetrated? Fati A was speechless. Not that, the master said, you work hard. However, your recitation is of no benefit because you don't understand what the sutra means. If you could only understand your mind and see your nature, you would be able to suffer. 
You have come all this way from Hangzhou because we have an affinity from circumstances in former lives. Now just believe that the Buddha is without words, and the lotus blossom will bloom from your mouth. Believe. The Buddha never said anything, and if you recite without understanding the principle, you are wasting your time. The Diamond Sutra says, the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 272 One who sees me by form or seeks me in sound walks a deviant path not seeing the Tathagata The Buddha taught for 49 years in over 300 Dharma assemblies, but when he was about to enter Nirvana and his disciples asked him about the sutras, he said, I never said a word. Was he lying? The sixth patriarch also taught that the Buddha said nothing. And if you believe this, the lotus will bloom from your mouth. But how does one obtain such rare faith? The Sutra as principles exist in the minds of people, they can be spoken by you, they can be spoken by me. Everyone has this wisdom and everyone can speak the Sutras. The Buddha spoke. The sutras for living beings and the sutras flow from the minds of living beings. Therefore the Buddha spoke without speaking. This means that you should not be attached to dharma or to emptiness. Nevertheless, you cannot say, I don't know any dharma. I am empty. To understand that the Buddha spoke and yet did not speak is the most difficult and yet the easiest thing one can do. Can you do it? If you can, the Buddha has not spoken. If you cannot, then the Buddha has said too much. Sutra. Hearing the verse, Fatiha was remorseful and he said, From now on I will respect everyone. Your disciple recites the Dharma Flower Sutra but has not yet understood its meaning. His mind often has doubts. Hi. Master, your wisdom is fast and great. Will you please explain the general meaning of the sutra for me? Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Pikshuvati 273 The Master said, Dharma penetration, the Dharma is extremely penetrating, but your mind does not penetrate it. There is basically nothing doubtful in the Sutra. The doubts are in your own mind. You recite this Sutra, but what do you think its teaching is? Fatiha said, this student as faculties are the landing. Since I have only recited it by rote, how could I understand its doctrine? The master said, I cannot read, but if you take the sutra and read it once, I will explain it to you. 
but he a recited loudly until he came to the analogies. Chapter. The master said, stop. This sutra. Fundamentally is based on the principles underlying the causes and conditions of the Buddha as appearance in the world. None of the analogies spoken go beyond that. What are the causes and conditions? The Sutra says, Oh, Buddhas, the world, honored ones, appear in the world. For the causes and conditions of the one important matter. The one important matter is the knowledge and vision of the Buddha. Worldly people, deluded by the external world, attach themselves to marks and deluded. By the inner world, they attach themselves to emptiness. If you can live among marks and yet be separate from it, then you will be confused by neither the internal nor the external. If you awaken to this Dharma in one moment, your mind will open to enlightenment. The knowledge and vision of the Buddha is simply that. The Buddha is enlightenment. There are four the visions. E. Opening to the enlightened knowledge and vision. R. Demonstrating the enlightened knowledge and vision. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 274. Awakening to the enlightened knowledge and vision. And C. Entering the enlightened knowledge and vision. If you listen to the opening and demonstrating of the Dharma, you can easily awaken and enter. That is the enlightened knowledge and vision. The original truth, nature becoming manifest. Be careful not to misinterpret the sutra by thinking that the opening, demonstrating, awakening, and entering of which it speaks is the Buddha as knowledge and vision and that we have no share in it. To explain it that way would be to slander the Sutra and defend the Buddha. Since he is already a Buddha, perfect in knowledge and vision, what is the use of his opening to it again? You should now believe that the Buddha as knowledge and vision is simply your own. Might, for there is no other Buddha. But, because living beings cover their brilliance with greed and with the love of states of defilement, external conditions and inner disturbance make slaves of them. That troubles the world, honored one to rise from Samadhi, and with various reproaches and expedients, he exhorts living beings to stop and rest, not to seek outside themselves, and to make themselves the same as he is. That is called opening the knowledge and vision of the Buddha. I, to am always exhorting all people to open to the knowledge and vision of the Buddha within their own minds.
The minds of worldly people are deviant, confused, and deluded. They commit offenses. Their speech may be good, but their minds are evil. They are greedy, hateful, envious, given over to flattery, deceit, and arrogance. They oppress one another and harm living creatures. Chapter 七 Opportunities and conditions. Hipshvatiya. 两百七十五 Thus they open not the knowledge and vision of Buddhas, but that of living beings. If you can with an upright mind. Constantly bring forth wisdom, contemplating and illumining your own mind. And if you can practice the good and refrain from evil, you yourself will open to the knowledge and vision of the Buddha. In every thought, you should open up to the knowledge and vision of the. Buddha, do not open up to the knowledge and vision of living beings. To be open to the knowledge and vision of the Buddha is transcendental. To be open to the knowledge and vision of living beings is mundane. If you exert yourself in recitation. Clinging to it as a meritorious exercise, how does that make you different from a yak who loves his own tail? Commentary: To be unconfused, be unattached. Do not get attached to emptiness or fall into existence. If you suddenly awaken to this dharma, your heart will open to the knowledge and vision of the Buddha. If you listen to opening and demonstrating, that is, to instruction on the principles of the sutras, you can easily wake. Up and understand the enlightened knowledge and vision. The Buddha, as knowledge and vision, is simply that of your own mind, because your mind fundamentally is the Buddha. What darkens your light? Thoughts of greed. Three eight thoughts of love. Greed is dirt. And love defiled the impurities. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 两百七十六 of greed and love cause self-seeking and make you a slave. By now you should have become enlightened. Stop depending on outer conditions, which only make trouble within. Without them, there is no trouble. There is peace and purity. There are many varieties of external conditions: eyes, ears, noses, tongues, bodies, and minds, forms. Sounds, smells, tastes, tangible objects, and objects of the mind, and the six consciousnesses where sense organs and sense objects meet. When you seek outside yourself, your mind is not at peace. You are upset and anxious, and your mind. Originally, the master becomes the body as slave. The Buddhas trouble themselves too.
arise from samadhi just to tell you not to seek outside yourself. When you quit seeking outside, you are one with the Buddhas. You open up to their knowledge and vision and become just like the the deviant views and delusion of ordinary people causes them to perform offensive acts. While their speech may be as compassionate as the Buddha, their minds are as poisonous as a snake. Of the offenses they commit, greed, hate, and jealousy are the worst. But when they shine the light within and straighten out their own minds, they naturally are open to the knowledge and vision of the Buddha. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Hikshutva TA 277 Sutra Fati A said, if this is so, then I need only understand the meaning and need not exert myself in reciting the sutra. I S N T that correct. The master replied, what fault does the sutra have that would stop you from reciting it? Confusion and enlightenment are in you. Loss or gain comes from yourself. If your mouth recites and your mind practices, you turn the sutra, but if your mouth recites and your mind does not practice, the sutra turns you. Listen to my verse. When the mind is confused, the Dharma flower turns it. The enlightened mind will turn the Dharma flower. Reciting the Sutra so long without understanding has made you an enemy of its meaning. Without a thought, your recitation is right. With thought, your recitation is wrong. With no, with, and no, without, you may write forever. In the white ox cart, the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 278. Fati A heard this verse and wept without knowing it. At the moment the words were spoken, he achieved a great enlightenment and said to the Master, Until today, I have never actually turned the Dharma flower, instead, it has turned me. Commentary. If you are confused, your recitation is of no benefit, but if you are enlightened, there is merit. What does this have to do with the Sutra? If you recite the Sutra and put it into practice as well, you are truly reciting the Sutra and turning the Dharma wheel? You said the Dharma flower spinning. But if you recite the Sutra with a confused mind, the reciting turns you around so that the more recitation you do, the less you understand. After more than ten Years of work, Fati A was still unclear, he was a stranger to the Sutra. Without false thoughts, recitation is a correct thing, but 
with arrogant thoughts and conceit about your merit and virtue. Your recitation becomes deviant. You should pay no attention to having or not having merit and recite as if not reciting. Do not be attached and you will always ride in the white ox cart. The white ox cart is an analogy for the one Buddha vehicle. You ask, if I recite as if not reciting, then may I not recite as if reciting. If you don't can recite it, you cannot understand the Sutra as principles, and it is not as if you were reciting it. The phrase reciting as if not reciting, not reciting as if reciting, is to instruct you to be unattached. But you cannot say I L L B unattached and forget about reciting the sutra. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Hikshukwa TA 279 After listening to the master, Fatiha wept without even knowing it, but it was T because he had been bullied or tricked. Before, he had stupidly wasted his time reciting the sutra, without obtaining the slightest benefit. Now, at the master's explanation, he was so overcome with joy that he burst into tears. Just like friends or relatives do when they meet after a long Separation he cried because of his great enlightenment. Sutra Fatiha asked further, the Lotus Sutra says, if everyone from Shabakas up to the Bodhisattvas were to express all their thought in order to measure the Buddha as wisdom, they still could not fathom it. Now, you cause common people merely to understand their own minds, and you call that the knowledge and vision of the Buddha. Because of this, I am afraid that those without superior faculties will not be able to avoid Doubting and slandering the Sutra. The Sutra also speaks of three cards. How do the sheep, deer, and ox cards differ from the white ox card? I pray the High Master will once again instruct me. The Master said, the Sutra as meaning is clear. You yourself are confused. Disciples of all three vehicles are unable to fathom the Buddha as wisdom, the fault is in their thinking and measuring. The more they think, the further away they go. From the start the Buddha speaks for the sake of common people, not for the sake of other Buddhas. Those who chose not to believe were free to leave the assembly, not knowing that they were sitting in the white ox cart. They saw three vehicles outside the gate. What is more, the Sutra text clearly tells you, there is only the one Buddha vehicle, no other vehicle. 
The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 280. Whether two or three, and the same is true for countless expedients, for various causes and conditions, and for analogies and rhetoric. All these dharmas are for the sake of the one Buddha vehicle. Commentary The Lotus Sutra says, If the world were filled with those like Shariputra, exhausting their thought to measure the Buddha as wisdom, they couldn't fathom it. Fati A questioned the Master, Shariputra was the wisest of the Buddha as disciples. Now, if you fill the entire universe with Shariputras and they all try to fathom the Buddha as wisdom, they won't be able to do it. Great Master, how can you say that when common people merely understand their own minds, they are open to the knowledge and vision of the Buddhas? I am afraid that unless one has supreme wisdom and good roots, one could t avoid slandering the Sutra. Please be Compassionate and tell me how the sheep and deer cards differ from the white ox card. The master said, the sutra is perfectly clear on this point. The Shabakas, Pratyaka Buddhas and Bodhisattvas cannot know the Buddha as wisdom simply because they do try to measure it. If their minds did not have such calculating thoughts, they could understand it. The Buddha spoke sutras for common people, not for other Buddhas. If you don't believe the sutras, you can get up and walk out as you please. What is more, there is only one Buddha vehicle, there are no other vehicles, whether to Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions, Hikshutva TA 281 Shravakas and Pratyaka Buddhas, or 3 Shravakas Pratyaka Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, or any number of parables, causes and conditions, and uncountable expedient devices, all are spoken for the sake of the one Buddha vehicle. Sutra. Why don't you wake up? The three cards are false because they are preliminary. The one vehicle is real, because it is the immediate present. You are merely taught to go from the false and return to the real. Once you have returned to reality, the real is also nameless. You should know that all the treasure and wealth is ultimately your own, for your own use. Do not think further of the father, nor of the son, nor of the use. That is called maintaining the Dharma Flower Sutra. Then, from Mian to Mian, your hands will never let go of the scrolls. From morning to night, you will recite it unceasingly. Fatih A received this instruction and, overwhelmed with joy, 
his full papers. 3,000 Sutra Recitations FTS, Aoshi not one single word. Before I knew why he appeared in the world. How could I stop the madness of accumulated bursts? She, dear, and ox provisionally set up. Beginning, middle, and well set forth. Who would have thought that within the burning house? Originally the king of Dharma went. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 282. The master said, from now on you may be called the monk mindful of the sutra. From then on, although he understood the profound meaning, Fatiha continued to recite the sutra unceasingly. Commentary Once you have returned to the real vehicle, even the real is nameless, you should discard the notion of reality. Oh, the tracer and wealth of the Buddha Dharma is yours, originally. It is the wind and light of your homeland, use it as you wish. But, do not think, these were given to me by my father. I have received them as an inheritance. You should think of the father, the son, or the use, just use them, not as all. That is, genuine recitation of the sutra. From the first to the last year, your hands one, T set the text down and you will recite it from morning to night. Before I knew why the Buddha appeared in the world, said Fatiha, I had no way to stop the karmic process of this man. Might. But now I know that the beginning should sure have come vehicle, the middle pratyakabuddha vehicle, and the Mahayana Bodhisattva. Vehicle are nothing but expedient devices. They are not real. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Nobody. Why it? As just right here in the flaming house of the triple world, the realm of desire, the realm of form, and the formless realm, that one can cultivate, realize Buddhahood and be a great Dharma king. Yes, said the master, I see that you understood, and so. Now you have the right to be called a Sutra, reciting monk. Fatiha understood the doctrine, but he did not make the mistake some people might have and think, I understand it, so I don't he have to recite it. I have reached the level where I maha. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions, Hikshufatiye. 283. Recite and yet do not recite. Do not recite and yet recite. If this is the case, then can you eat as if not eating, eh? Not eat as if eating. Or Steal as if not stealing, eh? Not steal as if stealing. Or even kill as if not killing, eh? Not kill as if killing. Can you get away with this? 
Of course not. If you truly understand and are unattached to what you do, you will not babble intellectuals and, and say that you recite without reciting. Before you can make that claim, you must first have reached that level of accomplishment. 284. Pixochiti Sutra Pixochiti, a native of Anfen in Shaozhou, had read the Lan Kavatara Sutra over a thousand times. But still did not understand the three bodies and the four wisdoms. He made obeisance to the master, seeking an explanation of the meaning. The master said, the three bodies are the clear, pure Dharma body, which is your nature, the perfect full reward, body, which is your wisdom, and the hundred thousand myriad transformation bodies, which are your conduct. To speak of the three bodies as separate from your original nature is to have the bodies but not the wisdoms. To Remember that the three bodies have no self, nature is to understand the four wisdoms of body. Listen to my first three bodies completing your own self, nature. When understood become four wisdoms, while not apart from seeing and hearing, Transcend the man ascend to the Buddha realm. I will now explain it for you. If you are attentive and faithful, you will never be deluded. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Hipsochiti 285 Dumb, he run outside in search of the by saying, body, to the end of your days. Chiti, who asked further, may I hear about the meaning of the four wisdoms? The master said, since you understand the three bodies, you should also understand the four wisdoms. Why do you ask again? To speak of the four wisdoms as separate from the three bodies is to have the wisdoms but not the bodies, in which case the wisdoms become not wisdoms. He then spoke this verse, the wisdom of the great, perfect mirror is your clear, pure nature. The wisdom of equal nature is the mind without disease. Wonderfully observing wisdom is seeing without effort. Perfecting wisdom is the same as the perfect mirror. 5, 8, 6, 7 Effect and cause both merely useful names. They are without real nature. If in the place of turning, emotion is not kept, you always and forever dwell in a concentration. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 286. Commentary. Pixochiti would study the Lankavatara Sutra because 
Bodhidharma recommended it above all other texts for the chapter and school. Although he had read it over a thousand times, he still had to ask the master about the three bodies and the four wisdoms. The master always teaches Dharma of and from self nature. The clear, pure Dharma body is your own original nature, he said, and the reward body is your wisdom. The Transformation, bodies are your conduct, because you are what you do, you are transformed according to what you practice. If you try to explain the three bodies as something apart from your self, nature, you have the bodies, but not the wisdoms. But when you understand that the three bodies are devoid of self, nature. You possess the four wisdoms of body. When you understand that the three bodies are immanent in the self, nature, you realize the four wisdoms without being separated from the conditions of sight and hearing, you ascend directly to the Buddha realm. Now, I have spoken this verse. The sixth patriarch said, and you must truly believe it. Then you will never again be confused like those people who go around. Say, body, 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 all day long, but who never practice or understand body. Dog, teach other, head, mouth, zen. You must truly understand the three bodies for it to count. The master continued, since you understand the three bodies, you should understand the four wisdoms as well. If you try to explain the four wisdoms as something apart from the three bodies, then although you know the name, four wisdoms, you do not possess their actual substance or know their function. Your Wisdoms are not wisdoms. The Buddha has four wisdoms. The wisdom of the great. Perfect mirror is the eight consciousness, Alayabhimana, when it has been transformed from consciousness into wisdom. The chapter Qi Opportunities and conditions, Pixel GT, 287. Eight consciousness is also called the store consciousness because it stores up all the good and bad seeds you have planted in the past, all the good and bad things you have done in this and past lives. If you have planted good causes, you reap good effects. If you have planted bad causes, you reap bad effects. As the potential of all good and bad karma is stored in the eight consciousness, it also comes to be called the field of the eight consciousness because whatever you plant in it eventually sprouts. When you are unable to use it, it is merely consciousness, but when you return to the root and go back to the source, the eight 
consciousness is transmuted into the great perfect mirror. Wisdom, which in its essence is pure and undefiled. The wisdom of equal nature is the seventh consciousness. When it has been transformed from consciousness into wisdom, before you understand, it is the seventh consciousness, but once you are enlightened, it is the wisdom of equal nature. The seventh consciousness is also called the transmitting consciousness because it acts as a transmitter between the six and eight consciousness. It is called the wisdom of equal nature because the minds of all Buddhas and living beings are equal when the latter as consciousness have been transformed into wisdom. The mind without disease means that there is no obstruction, no jealousy, no greed, hate, or stupidity. Without these defilements, the seventh consciousness is transmuted into the wisdom of equal nature. The wonderful observing wisdom is the sixth consciousness. When it has been transformed into wisdom, it is the wisdom of subtle observation. The sixth consciousness, what we think of as the ordinary mind, is the consciousness of discrimination, it discriminates good and evil, right and wrong, male and female. Such discrimination is not actually the work of intelligence, as it the sixth patriarch as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra 288 seems to be, but is merely a kind of consciousness. When you turn it into wisdom, it becomes wonderfully observing wisdom, which sees all realms without having to go through the process of discrimination. This wonderful observation is quite different from mere discriminative thoughts. When certified arhats wish to use the wonderful observing wisdom to know something, they must first sit quietly in meditation and intentionally observe, for unless they intentionally observe, their minds are no different from those of ordinary people. By intentionally observing, they can know the events of the past 80,000 years. Perfecting wisdom comes from the transformation of the first five consciousnesses I hear, nose, tongue, and body into wisdom. Five, eight, six, seven effect and cause both turn. The five consciousnesses and the eight consciousness are transforming. The period of reaping effects and the six and seven are transformed in the period of planting causes. In transforming the consciousnesses into the four wisdoms, first turn the sixth and seventh in the period of planting causes, and next the eighth and five in the period of reaping effects. Merely useful names, they are without real nature.
although they are said to be changed in the realms of causes and effects, there is nothing in reality which corresponds to them. They are merely names and nothing more. If, in the place of, turning, in motion I S N T kept, if, in the place where your emotional feelings are being turned, you do not use your common mind and become caught up in the turning. You always and forever dwell in Nala concentration. At all times you are in Nala Samadhi. Nala means dragon. Dragons can magically appear in big or small bodies because Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Pixelchity 289 They have a great deal of concentration As Fahai tells us in his Introduction to the Sutra the sixth patriarch defeated a dragon by saying, if you are really a magic dragon, you should be able to appear in a small body as well as a large one. Then, when the dragon turned up in a small body, the master dared him to climb into his boat. As the little dragon had a big temper and much ignorance, he jumped at the dare, but when he tried to jump out again, he couldn't do it. The master explained the Dharma to the dragon and the dragon then went to reverse. The dragon may have been constantly in Samadhi, but he had not destroyed his ignorance and therefore lost his temper. I LL show you, he said, I LL change my body into a little one right now. If he had really been in Samadhi, he would have said, you say I can t appear in a small body. Okay. So what? I LL just appear in this large one. But he lost his concentration and was turned, caught, and defeated by the great master. Still, Naga Samadhi is an inconceivable state. How do dragons get to be dragons? They study the Buddha Dharma with mighty effort, morning to night, but they do not keep the precepts. Precepts are for common people, they say. I am extraordinary. I am not in the same category as they are, and I do not have to keep precepts. That is how they turn into dragons. Sutra Note, the transformation of consciousness into wisdom has been described. The teaching says, the first five consciousnesses turn become the perfecting wisdom the sex consciousness turn becomes the wonderfully observing wisdom. The seventh consciousness turn becomes the wisdom of equal nature. The eighth consciousness turn becomes the wisdom of the great perfect mirror. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 290. Although the sixth and seventh are turned in the cause, 
and the first five and the eight in the effect, it is merely the name switch turn. Their substance does not turn. Complementary. The above passage was not part of the original text, but was added later. Sutra. Instantly enlightened to the nature of wisdom, Chi T. Hun submitted the following verse. Three bodies are my basic substance. Four wisdoms my original bright mind. Body and wisdom in unobstructed fusion. In response to beings I accordingly take form. Arising to cultivate the false movement. Holding to or pondering over the main ways of effort. Through the Master I know the wonderful principle. And in the end I lose the stand of names. Commentary. Chitty, who understood the function of the three bodies and the four wisdoms. The three bodies are not to be found outside of my own body, he said, and the four wisdoms, too, are produced from my own bright, understanding mind. When the bodies and wisdoms interpenetrate, then I may dispense the Dharma in accord with the needs of living beings in accord with external conditions and yet not changing, unchanging, and yet in accord with conditions. If you wonder, how can I cultivate the Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Hikshuchiti 291 Three bodies and four wisdoms, that is nothing but false thinking, false movement. The same is true of holding to them and being attached to them. From beginning to end there is no stand of names. What is? On stand by names is the original self, nature, which is untouched by worldly emotion. Unless you have no defilement, you cannot return to the root and go back to the source, which is undefiled. 292 Pikshuchi Chapter A Sutra Pikshuchi Chapter A A native of K.I. Shiging H.S.I. Angel Left home when he was a child and resolutely sought to see His own nature One day he called on the master who Asked him, where are you from and what do you want? Chi chapter and replied, your student has recently been to Paifan Mountain in Hangzhou to call on the high. Master T.A.T. Hunan received his instruction on the principle of seeing one as nature and realizing Buddhahood. As I have not yet resolved my doubts, I have come from a great distance to bow reverently and request the Master as compassionate instruction. The Master said, what instruction did he give you? Try to repeat it to me. Chi chapter and said, after arriving there, three months passed and still I had received no instruction. Being eager for the Dharma, one evening I went alone 
into the abbot, as Luna asked him, what is mine? Original mind and original substance. T.A.T. Unan said to me, do you see empty space? Yes, I said, I see it. T.A.T. Un said, do you know what appearance it has? Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Hikshuchi Chapter N 293 I replied, empty space has no form. How could it have an appearance? T.A.T. Un said, your original mind is just like empty space. To understand that nothing can be seen is called right seeing, to know that nothing can be known is called true knowing. There is nothing blue or yellow, long or short. Simply seeing the clear, pure original source, the perfect, bright enlightened substance, this is what is called seeing one as nature and realizing Buddhahood. It is also called the knowledge and vision of the Tathagata. Although I heard his instruction, I still do not understand and beg you, O oh Master, to instruct me. The Master said, your former Master, as explanation, still retains the concepts of knowing and seeing, and that is why you have not understood. Now, I will teach you with a verse not to see a single dharma, still retains no seeing, greatly resembling floating clouds, covering the sun, not to know a single dharma, holds to empty knowing, even as a lightning flash, comes out of empty space, this knowing and seeing arise in an instant when seen wrongly can expedience be understood if in the space of a thought you can know your own error the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 294 your own spiritual light will always be manifest. Commentary Pikshuchi chapter and left home at the early age of seven or eight. When he called on the sixth patriarch, the master, remembered his first meeting with the fifth patriarch, who had Asked him, where are you from and what do you seek? I am from HSI Angel, the master had said, and I seek. Nothing but Buddhahood. HSI Angel people are barbarians, the fifth patriarch had said. How can you become a Buddha? The barbarian as body and the high master, as body are not. The same, countered the sixth patriarch, but in the Buddha. Nature where is the distinction? Remembering this, the sixth patriarch has Chi chapter N. Where are you from? Just what do you think you redo? Chi Chapter N had received instruction on seeing the nature and realizing Buddhahood, but he still had doubts. The Chinese 
word for dogs is literally fox dot because foxes are wary of everything. When a fox walks across the ice, he takes a step, cocks his head, and listens. If the ice crackles, he runs back to shore. If it does not, he keeps on walking and listening, walking and listening. Although foxes are extremely intelligent, they are full of doubts. In his first The Sixth Patriarch explains, if you do not see a single dharma and the ten thousand dharmas or and you still have the view of not seeing any dharmas, you still hold that view. This is just like floating clouds covering the sun, because if you truly do not see anything, you are free of the idea of not seeing. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Pixel 2 Chapter N 295 In the same way, if you don't he establish a single dharma and don't he know a single dharma, but still have the knowledge that you neither establish nor no dharmas, you still hold on to an empty, false kind of knowing. Your principles seem coherent, but knowing and seeing still remain. This is like the great void. Originally there is nothing there, but suddenly there is a flash of lightning. Now, do you see, or not? This, knowing and seeing, arise in an instant. You're seeing nothing and you're empty knowing, your view of not seeing and your knowledge of knowing nothing are there before your eyes. You should understand right this instant that you are wrong. In holding to the idea of seeing nothing and knowing emptiness, then your original wisdom, your original intelligence, your inherent Buddha nature which is the Tathagata as treasury will always be manifest. Sutra Hearing the first Chi chapter and understood it with his heart and mind, and he composed this verse without beginning. Knowing and seeing arise. When one is attached to marks, body is sought out, clinging to a third of enlightenment. Do I rise above my former confusion? The inherently enlightened substance of my nature illuminates the turning, twisting flow. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 296 But had I not entered the Patriarch as me. I be still be running, lost between the two extremes. Commentary When Chi Chapter and heard this verse, he put it all down. Having put it all down, he did, he said, I put it all down. If you put it down, put it down, down, he keeps saying, I put it down. If you keep on saying that you, he put it down, you have it, he really done it. If you truly have no knowledge or view and have 
return to the root and gone back to the source, why do you keep a knowing and a feeling? Chit chapter and honors to then spoken wonderful verse. Without beginning, knowing and seeing arise. Without a hat. Without a tail, the idea of seeing nothing and the knowledge of and things arise from no beginning, without a causal basis or foundation. No one is attached to marks, body is sought out. You should not be attached to marks, but now you have become attached to seeing nothing and knowing emptiness. Previously, when I explained, no, thought, I said that if you think, I have no thought, just that is a thought. I s n t it. If you really are without thought, you are also without no thought. The concept of no thought is just another thought. In chapter and Dhyana meditation, when we reflect on the question, who is reciting the Buddha's name, we search for the who, but don't he find it, because basically there is no who. But people can t understand and keep looking for a self. Say, who? In your search, do not be attached to marks, do not be attached to the mark of self when you seek body. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Pixelchi Chapter N 297 When you think I am seeing emptiness and there is nothing at all, you still have the thought of knowing, you still have the thought of seeing, and you don't to overcome your confusion. This is certainly not enlightenment. The inherently enlightened substance of my nature illuminates the turning, twisting flow, the basic substance of the self-nature, which is enlightened from the beginning, is in accord with the shift and flow of external conditions, and yet it does not change. Understanding this Chi chapter and finds the middle way between the two extremes of seeing nothing and knowing emptiness. Sutra 1 Day Chi Chapter and ask the Master, the Buddha taught the Dharma of the three vehicles and also the Supreme Vehicle. Your disciple has not yet understood that and would like to be instructed. The Master said, Contemplate only your own original mind and do not be attached to the marks of external dharmas. The Dharma does he have for vehicles, it is people as minds that differ. Seeing Hearing and reciting is the small vehicle. Awakening to the Dharma and understanding the meaning is the middle vehicle. Cultivating in accord with Dharma is the great vehicle. To penetrate the 10,000 Dharmas entirely and completely while remaining without defilement, and 
to sever attachment to the marks of all the dharmas with nothing whatsoever gain in return, that is the supreme vehicle. Vehicles are methods of practice, not subjects for debate. Cultivate on your own and do not ask me for it. O times your own self, nature is itself, thus. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 298. Chi Chapter, N. L. N. Thank the Master and serve him to the end of the Master as life. Commentary. The Master said, Chi Chapter, N. The Dharma goes, T. Even. Have one vehicle, much less four. People, as minds are what? Differ. If you see, hear, and recite, you belong to the small vehicle. If you understand and awaken, you belong to the middle vehicle. If you practice in accord with the Dharma, you belong to the great vehicle. When you understand all Dharmas, when they are perfected in your own mind without any obstruction. And when you know that the ten thousand dharmas are the mind, and the mind is the ten thousand dharmas, and further when you are not defiled by any state, then you belong to the supreme vehicle. But you must cultivate on your own, I can, t do it for you. Eat your own food and fill yourself, and your own birth and death. From that time on, chi chapter, and serve the master. When he wanted a cup of tea, chi chapter, and brought it for him, when he was hungry, Chi Chapter, and brought him food. He served the Master right up until the Master as death, at which time he left. Nan Hua Temple. 299. Pipsu Chi Ta. Sutra. Pipsu Chi Ta, a native of Nan Hai as a favor, since leaving home, your student has studied the Nirvana Sutra for over ten years and has still not understood its great purport. I hope that the High Master will bestow his instruction. The Master said, What point heaven to you? Understood. Chi Chao replied, All activities are impermanent, characterized by production and extinction. When production and extinction are extinguished, that still extinction is bliss. My doubts are with respect to this passage. Commentary once in the past, during the period when Shaikhyong Yuni, Buddha was cultivating to plant causes for the attainment of Buddhahood, he was a Brahman. Deep in the mountains he cultivated many Dharma doors so heroically that the god Shakra was moved and said, he works so hard. I wonder if I can break him, and he transformed himself into a Rakshasa ghost to test. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, Sanbai. 
the Brahman. He told him, the Buddha known as, free from fear, said, all activities are impermanent, characterized by production and extinction. Who said that, said the Brahman. The Rakshasa ghost, who was hideously ugly, appeared in said, I was just quoting a verse spoken by the Buddha who is free from fear. But you did, can recite the entire verse, only the first half. Please complete it, said the Brahman. I don't, to have the energy because I haven't, to eaten for several days. Find me something to eat and I will speak it for you, the ghost said. What would you like, asked the Brahman. I don't, to eat anything but fresh, warm, human meat, said the ghost. In that case, replied the Brahman, you may speak the First and then I will give you my own body to eat. The ghost stared at him. Can you really do such an awesome deed? Can you really give up your body for half a verse? I speak the truth, I do not lie, said the Brahman, and if you don't. He believe me I can ask the Buddhas of the Ten Directions to bear testimony to the fact. Now, recite the verse and then I will feed you. The ghost quickly recited, all activities are impermanent, characterized by production and extinction, when production and extinction are extinguished, that still extinction is bliss. Now give me your body. Wait a minute, said the Brahman. Once you have eaten me, there will be nothing left of the verse unless I write it down. Let me carve it on this tree so that future generations may cultivate according to it. Then he stripped the bark from a tree and carved the verse on its trunk. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Hikshuchi Ta 301 The ghost said, Can I eat you now? Just ten minutes, said the Brahman. So you, re-backing out, are you, the ghost said. No, I am not, said the Brahman, but what I have written on. The tree will eventually be worn away by the wind and rain. I want to carve the first in stone so that it will last forever. I ll. Gladly give you my body, but I must also leave the Buddha Dharma for those of the future. Not a bad idea, said the ghost. The Brahman carved the words in stone and said, All right, I be done what I had to do. I give my body to you as an offering. You may eat me now, and he shut his eyes and waited for the ghost to devour him. But just then the ghost flew up into empty space, transformed himself back into Shaka and said, Very good. Very good. You are a true cultivator one who gives up his own body for the sake of the Buddha way. In the future you are 
sure to become a Buddha. This is an event in a former life of Shakyamuni Buddha. When, as a Brahman, he offered his life for half a verse. Sutra. The Master said, What are your doubts? O living beings have two bodies, Chi Chao replied. The physical body and the Dharma body. The physical body is impermanent and is produced and destroyed. The Dharma body is permanent and is without knowing or awareness. The Sutra says that the extinction of production and extinction is bliss, but I do not know which body is in tranquil extinction and which receives the bliss. How could it be the physical body which receives the bliss? When this physical body is extinguished, Therefore, the sixth patriarch, as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra, set by Ling Er, elements scatter. That is total suffering and suffering cannot be called bliss. If the Dharma body were extinguished, it would become like grass, trees, tiles or stones, then what would receive the bliss? Moreover, the Dharma, nature is the substance of production and extinction and the five heaps are the function of production and extinction. With one body, having five functions, production and extinction are Permanent, at the time of production, the functions arise from the substance, and at the time of extinction, the functions return to the substance. If there were rebirth, then sentient beings would not cease to exist or be extinguished. If there were not rebirth, they would return to tranquil extinction and be just like insentient objects. Thus all dharmas would be suppressed by nirvana and there would not even be production. How could there be bliss? The master said, you are a son of Shekha. How can you hold the deviant views of annihilationism and permanence which belongs to other religions and criticize the supreme vehicle dharma? According to what you say, there is a dharma body that exists apart from physical form and a tranquil extinction to be sought apart from production and extinction. Moreover you propose that there is a body which enjoys the permanence and bliss of nirvana. But that is to grasp tightly on to birth and death and indulge in worldly bliss. Commentary Is it the physical body which is extinct and the Dharma body which receives the bliss? Chi Tao wanted to know, or is it the Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Pipsu Chi Tao Set by Ling San. Dharma body which is extinct and the physical body which receives the bliss. How could it be the physical body which receives the bliss? 
The body is composed of the elements earth, air, fire, and water. At death, the elements scatter and that is a state of unspeakable suffering. You can call suffering happiness. Hey, said the great master, you are a disciple of Sheikh Gongyuni Buddha. You have left home and are a member of the Sangha. How can you harbor the deviant views and deviant knowledge of non-Buddhist religions? You say that there is a Dharma body apart from the physical body and its extinction. And that there is a tranquil extinction apart from the process of production and extinction. I S N T is what you re say. You also say that there is a body which enjoys the four virtues of nirvana, permanence, bliss, true self and purity. In fact, your theories are nothing but niggardly attachment to birth and death, and worldly pleasure. Stuck in the mundane world, you cannot possibly know transcendental bliss. Sutra You should now know that deluded people mistook the union of five heaps for their own bodies and discriminated dharmas as external to themselves. They loved life, dreaded death, and drifted from thought to thought, not knowing that this illusory dream is empty and false. They turn thinly around on the wheel of birth and death and mistook the permanence and bliss of nirvana for a form of suffering. All day long they slept after something else, taking pity on the, the Buddha made manifest in the space of an instant the true bliss of Nirvana, which has no mark of production or extinction. It has no production or extinction to be extinguished. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 304. That, then, is the manifestation of tranquil extinction. It's Manifestation cannot be reckoned, it is permanent and blissful. The bliss has neither an enjoyer nor a non-enjoyer. How can you call it one substance with five functions? Worse, how can you say that nirvana suppresses all dharmas? causing them to be forever unproduced. That is to slander the Buddha and defend the Dharma commentary. The Buddha spoke for those who thought that their bodies were actually made up of a union of the five heaps and who so dharmas were something external to themselves. They were attached to life and death because they did know that everything is like a dream, a bubble, a lightning flash, or a do drop illusory. They underwent birth and death over and over. Again, uselessly and pitifully spinning on the wheel of the six paths of rebirth. 
Some people thought that the wonderful virtues of the Nirvana were a kind of suffering, but the Buddha mercifully revealed to them the true happiness of Nirvana, where there is no mark of production and no mark of extinction. Further, there is absolutely no extinction of production and extinction, because right within production and extinction there appears the state of non-production and non-extinction. That is the manifestation of tranquil extinction. You can he say that the manifestation of tranquil extinction is so long or so short, so high or so wide. It is a kind of permanent happiness which is without an enjoyer or a non-enjoyer. If you would like to have this kind of happiness, you should know that there is no one who enjoys it or does not enjoy it. Why? It is the manifestation of the original self, nature. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Hikshuchita 305 Sutra Listen to my verse. Supreme, great nirvana is bright, perfect, permanent, still and shining. Deluded common people call it death. Other teachings hold it to be annihilation. All those who seek to vehicles regard it as non-action. Ultimately these notions arise from feeling and form the basis for 62 views wrongly establishing on real names. What is the true, real principle? Only one who has gone beyond measuring penetrates without grasping or rejecting and knows that the dharma of the five heaps and the self within the heaps the outward appearances a mass of images the mark of every sound are equally like the illusion of dreams for him views of common and holy do not arise nor are explanations of nirvana made. The two boundaries, the three limits are cut off. All organs have their function. But there never arises the thought of the function. All dharmas are discriminated. Without a thought of discrimination arising, when the fire at the end has end. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 306 burns the bottom of the sea and the winds blow the mountains against each other. The true, permanent, still extinct bliss the mark of nirvana is thus. I have struggled to explain it, to cause you to reject your false views. Don't understand it by words alone. And maybe you will understand a bit of this. After hearing this verse, Chita was greatly enlightened. Overwhelmed with joy, he made obeisance and withdrew. Commentary The Sixth Patriarch said, Listen, Great Nirvana is full. 
complete and right. It as permanent, unchanging, and constantly illuminating. Ordinary people say that it is death and most of now. Buddhist religions say that it is annihilation. The two vehicles of the Shivakas and Pratyakabuddhas think that it is not action, that it is uncreated and arises spontaneously. But these are all discriminations which arise from emotion and they form the basis of 62 wrong views. What are the 62 wrong views? E. The heap scan pot is big and I am content in the heap. Er. I am big and the heap is content in me. San. The heap itself is me. I am separate from the heap. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Hipshochita 307 When each of the four above are applied to the five heaps, form, feelings, perceptions, impulses, and consciousness they Make twenty. The twenty multiplied by the three periods of time past, present, and future make sixty. Adding the two extremes of permanence and annihilation makes sixty two. None of them are real, they are all empty and false. Then, what is the true real principle? Only one who has gone beyond measuring penetrates without grasping and or rejecting them. Therefore he truly understands that the Dharma of the five heaps and the self within those heaps, the marks of form and sound, are all like dreams, illusions, bubbles and shadows. For him, views of common and holy do not arise. He does t have the views of a common person, he does t have the understanding of the sage, and he does t try to explain the bliss of nirvana. The two boundaries, the three limits are cut off. He is attached neither to the boundary of emptiness, nor to the boundary of existence. Therefore the three limits of the past, present, and future are cut off and he is not attached to them. All organs have their function, but there never arises the thought of the function. The true suchness self, nature has the ability to function in accord with external conditions and yet not change. It as responsiveness is inexhaustible and yet there is no Thought of, I, I am functioning. All dharmas are discriminated without a thought of discrimination arising. You don't think I am not making discriminations. If you do think that you have the mark of discrimination, to be truly without discrimination is to be without the mark of non-discrimination as well.
When the fire at the end of the eon burns the bottom of the sea and the wind blows the mountains against each other, at the end of an eon, there are three disasters, flood, fire, and wind. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra, 308. The true permanent, still extinct bliss, the mark of nirvana is. Thus, if you have attained true permanence and the bliss of tranquil extinction, then the mark of nirvana is just as it was explained above, and the three disasters cannot affect you. The Great Master concludes by saying that he has spoken the first to encourage his listeners to cast aside their present knowledge and views. When you no longer rely on the text in order to explain the sutras, he said, I will grant that you Understand just a little bit of what I be said. Set by Ling Jiu. Hip Su Shin Su. Sutra. Hyanan Master Shin Su was born into the Yu family, which lived in an chapter and district in Jizhou. Hearing of the flourishing influence of the T.S. Aoshi Dharma Assembly, Shinsu went directly there to pay homage and asked what is required to avoid falling in two successive stages. The master said, What did you do before coming here? He replied, I did not even practice the holy truth. The master said, then into what successive states could you fall? He replied, if one ISNT practicing the four holy truths, what successive stages are there? The master greatly admired his capacity and made him the leader of the assembly. One day the master said, you should go elsewhere to teach. Do not allow the teaching to be cut off. Having obtained the Dharma, Shin Su returned to chapter in Yuan Mountain in Chizhou to propagate the Dharma and transform living beings. After his death he was given the posthumous title, Tainan Master Han Chi. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra, 310. Commentary. Tainan Master Shin Su walked and thought about things. At the same time, what did he think about? Do you know? I know. He walked and thought, Who is mindful of the Buddha? Who is mindful of the Buddha? And so he was called Shin Su, walking thinker. At that time the reputation of the Dharma Assembly at TSAO, she had spread all over China, Everyone knew that the person to whom the fifth patriarch had transmitted the robe and gold was spreading the Dharma there. People drift away from the empty and gather with the flourishing. If there are only a few people in your place, it will soon be empty. For instance, here there are 
30 people, but if there were only 3 or 4 people, soon, they would all run away. The more people there are, the more will come from the outside. There are a lot of people at the Buddhist lecture hall. Hippies who go there cut their hair and shave their beards. It is inconceivable. There must be something happening there. Let us go and see. The Dharma Assembly at T.S. Aoshi Flourish Gather with The flourishing can also be explained as Gather with the sages Because in Chinese the words Flourishing and Sage sound the same Many sages and common people can to support the Patriarch Shin Sun asked the Patriarch which Dharma door he should cultivate in order to avoid the successive stages of the gradual teaching. The sudden teaching does not have successive stages. Therefore, what he actually asked was, how do I cultivate the sudden Dharma? He must have heard someone say, the six patriarch is truly inconceivable. He has the five eyes and the six spiritual penetrations. I went there and did he say a thing and he knew what I was thinking and asked me about it. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Hipshushinsu 311 The Master regarded Shinsu highly. What this man says makes sense, he thought. He surely must have good roots. He appointed Shinsu head of the assembly and thereafter she Soon always walked in front, leading the others during the ceremonies. The sixth patriarch saw Shin Sun as a vessel of the Dharma. A Dharma, door, elephant and dragon. This means that he had the capability of a patriarch, not a self-made patriarch but one who had received the sixth patriarch as certification and permission to teach. Go and teach elsewhere, said the master. You should not stay here with me but should go in such a, such a direction to be a teaching master. Do not let the Dharma become extinct. Shin Su received the robe and bow and carried the transmission of the land of the wonderful Dharma. The posthumous title was conferred by the emperor. Shin Su was given the name Hong Chi, extensive crossing, just as the sixth patriarch received the name THN, Great Mirror. 312. Thailand Master Huai Zhen. Sutra. Thailand Master Huai Zhen was the son of the two state family in Qingzhou. He first visited National Master and of Sun. Mountain, who told him to go to T.S. Aosha to pay homage. When he arrived, he bowed, and the master asked him, what has come? 
He replied, Some shape. The master said, What thing is it and how does it? Ka. He replied, To say that it is like a thing is to Mississippi the point. The master said, Then can there still be that which is cultivated and certified? He replied, Cultivation and certification are not absent, but there can be no defilement. The master said, It is just the lack of defilement of which all Buddhas are mindful and protective. You are like that, and I am like that, too. In the West, Prajnachara predicted that a cold would run from under your feet, trampling and killing people under heaven. You should keep that in mind, but do not speak of it too soon. Huai Zhen suddenly understood. Accordingly he waited upon the master for fifteen years, Dai, penetrating more deeply into the profound end. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Pioneer Master Huai Zhen 313 Mysterious He later went to Nanyang where he spread the Tayana school. The title, Tayana Master T.A. Huey, was bestowed upon him posthumously. Commentary Huai Zhen received the Dharma transmission from the Great Master and became the seventh patriarch. Huai means to cherish. What did he cherish? Zhen, which means to yield. He was never arrogant toward anyone, but kept his mind humble and modest, respecting everyone above and below him. In his mind he always cherished politeness. What this Tainan master had, he appeared to be without, what was real appeared false. Although he had the way, it seemed as though he did. He was actually highly educated, but if anyone brought it up, he politely insisted that he was really just a beginner. He first went to study the Buddha Dharma with National Master An. National Master An sent him to study at T.S. Aoshi. Because at that time everyone knew that T.S. Aoshi was the place of the true orthodox Buddha Dharma. If you really wanted to study and cultivate faith in the Buddha Dharma, you went to T.S.A.O. She Now, in America, if you really want to study the Buddha Dharma, you should come and study the sutras here. Don't T fear difficulty. Don't T fear suffering. Don't T be lazy. Study the Buddha Dharma. At that time at Nanhua Temple, the site of the platform of the sixth patriarch, there was Tayana meditation and work on the mountain slopes every day. Everyone got up at 3.30 in the morning. At 4 o'clock they went to morning recitation. 
which was very vigorous and lasted until 5.30. Then they sat in meditation until sunrise. After they had eaten sunrise, Guru, there was another hour of meditation. At 8 o'clock, they went out on the mountain slopes for two hours until 10. The sixth patriarch has Dharma Juro Platform Sutra. 314 o'clock. Because there were about 2,000 people in two hours, they were able to do a lot of work. It was not like one or two people doing the work and not being able to finish it. At 10 they returned from the slopes and rested until 11, at which time they ate. From 12 to 2 they sat in meditation, and at 2 o'clock they went back out on the mountain slopes to work for two more hours. Then they returned and sat in meditation for six hours until 10 o'clock. Afterwards, some did their own work, bowing in homage to the sutras or performing repentance ceremonies until midnight. Every day it was this way. The wind of the way blew severely at Nanhua Temple. Everyone had to follow the rules. There were several thousand people and you never heard a person speak. No one spoke because they feared that they might strike up false thinking and then their work would not succeed. If you single-mindedly apply effort, you never pursue any train of random thought whatsoever. The sixth patriarch therefore established working Common which was very rigorous. When Hyanam Master Hui Zhan arrived at Nanhua Temple, he bowed and the Master said, What has come? This is chapter N. In the chapter N school, one never speaks of the principle outright. He merely said, What has come? Ostensibly it was a picture, but he said, what comes? At least he didn't, he asked if it was a ghost. Huai Zhen replied, some shit. He meant, I am from some mountain. The two were using the language of the chapter and school. Reperty. Cultivation and certification are not absent, but there can be no defilement. Cultivation has that which is cultivated in. Certification has that which is certified. Therefore cultivation and chapter 2 Opportunities and conditions. Pyonam Master Huai Zhen. 315. Certification are not non existent. So cultivation and certification can exist, but defilement cannot, that is, you cannot be stand. The self Nature must be bright and light. When Huai Zhen said this, the master replied that there was no defilement, no filth in the self-nature. The defilements are 
self seeking, jealousy, greed, hate, and delusion. Without these defilements, he said, you are thus just as I am. We two are the same equal. The 27th Indian Patriarch, Prajnatara, the predecessor of Bodhidharma, had said that a cold would run from under YJN's feet. Who was the cold? He was YJN's Dharma successor, Great Master Matsu. Horse Patriarch Tao An. Under your feet means that the code would be YJN's Disciple, because a disciple behaves as if he were under his teacher's foot. In the future, Prajnatara has said, a code will run out of your gate trampling people all over the world. No. Other Dharma master will match his superb eloquence and fast. Wisdom. None will defeat him. Under heaven, he will be supreme. Master Huai Zhen became the sixth patriarch as personal. Attendant. Later he went to Han Mountain in Nanyang, which is in Hunan province in south central China, to propagate the Taiwan school. After Huai Zhen died, the emperor gave him the title Great Master T. A. Wen, Great Wisdom. 316. Tiong Master Sudan Tiao. Sutra. Tiong Master Sudan Tiao of Yuchaya was the son of a family called Tai in Wenzhou. When he was young, he studied the sutras and commentaries and was skilled in the T, in T, AI Dharma. Door of Stop and Look. Upon reading the Vimalakirti Sutra, he understood the mind. Ground. One day he happened to meet the Master as Disciple Sudan Chapter, and they had a pleasant talk. As Suen as words were consonant with the words of all the patriarchs, Suen Chapter, he asked him, Kind sir, from whom did you obtain the Dharma? He replied, I have heard the Vedoya Sutras and Shastras, receiving each from many master. Later, upon Reading the Vimalakirti Sutra, I awakened to the doctrine of the Buddha mind, but as yet no one has certified me. Suen Chapter, he said, that was acceptable before the time of the Buddha called the Asan Voice King. But, since the coming of that Buddha, all those who self enlightened without any master belong to other religions, which hold to the tenet of spontaneity. Then will you please certify me, kind sir, said Suen Tiao. Suen Chapter, he said, my words are of little worth. But the great master, the sixth patriarch, is at T.S. Aoshi. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions, Taiwan Master Sudan Tiao. 317 
where people gather like clouds from the four directions. He is one who has received the Dharma. If you wish to go, I will accompany you. Commentary Yujaya is the name of a place because everyone greatly respected this Dharma master, they addressed him after the name of his birthplace, according to Chinese custom. When he was young, Yujaya investigated the Buddhist sutras and the commentaries written by the patriarchs. When he read the Fimalakirti Sutra, he understood the Dharma, door of his own mind, ground. One day he had a chat with the sixth patriarch, as disciple Sulem chapter E, and Sulem chapter E found that their views were in agreement and that they both agreed with the principles of the patriarchs. Supposing him to be a member of his own school, Sulem chapter, he asked, who transmitted our Dharma to you, great master Sulem Tian, who certified you? When he learned Sulem Tian had enlightened himself by reading Finmalakirti Sutra, he said, before the time of Asa, voiced King Buddha, that would have been alright. But he was the first Buddha, and now, since his advent, anyone who claims to be enlightened without a master as certification is simply not a Buddhist. Not a Buddhist. Oh no, said Suen Tiao. Then please, certify me. I don't know what certain people in America who certify themselves and then lecture on the sixth patriarch as Sutra do. When they come to this passage of text, how do they explain it? Asa, voiced King Buddha, as name means that the sound of his voice penetrates to the most remote places through the wind and light to the original ground. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 318. I can decertify you, said Suen Chapter E, because I don't have the authority. Besides, it is not certain that I myself am enlightened. However, the sixth patriarch is at Nanhua Temple. The fifth patriarch has transmitted both the Dharma and Bodhidharma as robe and bow to him. Sutra Narapong Suen Tian went with Suen Chapter E to call upon the Master. On arriving, he circumambulated the Master three times, shook his staff, and stood in front of him. The Master said, Inasmuch as a Shamana has perfected the three thousand awesome deportments and the eighty thousand fine practices, where does this? Virtuous one come from and what makes him so arrogant. Suen said, the affair of birth and death is great and impermanence comes quickly. The master said, why not embody now production 
and understand that which is not quick. He replied, the body itself is not produced it. Fundamentally there is no quickness. The master said, so it is, so it is. Commentary When the two arrive at T.S. Aoshi, Suen Tila marched. Around the sixth patriarch three times, pounded his things staff into the ground, and stood there as if angry. The sixth patriarch politely asked, How did you get here? And why are you so obnoxious? One who has left home has perfected the 3,000 awesome deportments in the chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Pioneer Master Suen Tiao 319 80,000 fine practices and yet you did T even bow to me there are 250 deportments for each of the four body postures, standing, sitting, walking, and lying down. These thousand comportments multiplied by the past, present, and future make 3,000. There are actually 84. Thousand fine practices, although the text here gives the number as 80,000. Suen Tia said, I act this way because birth and death is a serious problem and one never knows when the ghost of impermanence will pay his inevitable call. It all happens very Fast, you know. What Suen Tia actually meant was, I am trying to end birth and death and I have no time for good manners. Besides, I be put that sort of thing down. Then why down, T you think of a way to embody it? Comprehend that which is not produced and to understand what is not quick, said the master. You should be clear about the principles of now, production and quickness. The body itself is not produced, said Suen Tio, and Fundamentally the understanding is without quickness. That is, if I clearly understand birth and death, then there is no birth and death. And if I maintain that clear understanding, then in fact, there is no quickness. Why then should I fear the ghost of Impermanent. Seeing that he understood, the sixth patriarch certified him. Saying, right. Good work. It is just as you say. Sutra. Suen Tia then made obeisance with perfect. Awesome deportment. A short while later he announced that he was leaving and the master said, Am I, T you, leaving too quickly. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra said by Ershi. He replied, fundamentally I don't, T move, how can I be quick? The master said, who knows you don't, team move. He replied, kind sir, you yourself make this discrimination. The master said, you have truly got the idea of not 
production, but does not production possess an idea asked. Suentiao. If it is without ideas, then who discriminates it? Said the master. What discriminates is not an idea either, he replied. The master exclaimed, "Good indeed. Please stay for a night." During his time, he was called the one enlightened. Overnight, and later he wrote the song of certifying to the way which circulated widely in the world. His posthumous title is Great Master Wu Xiong. And during his lifetime, he was called Chen Tiao. Commentary. The master and Suan Tian carry on some rapidity. Your eloquence indicates that you have truly understood the idea of non-production," said the master. "How can non-production have an idea?" Suan Tian replied, "Without ideas." Who could discriminate it? Said the master. Suan Tian said, "Although there is discrimination, it is not done on the basis of the mind as ideas. It is not the intellect engaging in intellection which discriminates. Rather, it is the." Buddha has wonderful observing wisdom, which has no need to. Chapter Two: Opportunities and Conditions. Pioneer Master Suan Tiao. 三百二十一 Resort to the process of reasoning, and which knows everything. Therefore. What discriminates is not an idea either. You re absolutely right," said the master. Suan Tian stayed one night at Nan Hua Temple and became enlightened. So everyone called him the One Enlightened overnight. Later on, he wrote the Song of. Certifying to the way, which I am sure you all know. It begins. Have you not seen the man of the way, who has cut off learning and in leisure does nothing, who does not reject false thinking or seek reality? For him, the real nature of ignorance is the. Buddha nature, and the empty body of illusion is the Dharma body. After he died, the emperor gave him the title Wu Xiong, which means without marks, and his contemporaries called him Chen Tian, True Enlightenment. 322. Pioneer Master Qi Huang Sutra. Pioneer cultivator Qi Huang had formerly studied under the fifth patriarch and said of himself that he had attained to the right reception. He lived in a hut, constantly sitting for twenty years. In his travels, the master, as disciple Suan Chapter E, reached Hoshu, where he heard of Qi Huang's reputation. He paid a visit to his hut and asked him, "What are you doing here?" Entering concentration, replied Qi Huang. 
Suan Chapter, he said, you say you are injury. Concentration. Do you enter with so or without? Thought. If you enter without thought, then owing sentient. Things, such as grass, trees, tiles, and stones, should. Likewise attain concentration. If you enter with thought, then all sentient things which have consciousness should also attain concentration. Chi Wang said, when I properly enter concentration, I do not notice whether I have thought or not. Suan Chapter, he said, not to notice whether or not you have thought is eternal concentration. How can you enter it or come out of it? If you come out of it or enter it, it is not the great concentration. Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Thailand Master Chi Wang 323 Chi Wang was speechless. After a long while, he finally asked, Who is your teacher? Suan Chapter, he said, My master is the sixth patriarchate. T.S. Aoshi. Chi Huang said, What does your master take to be? Taiana concentration. Commentary. Chi Huang practiced Taiana meditation, his first teacher was the fifth patriarch, Han Zhen. Formerly, when cultivators left the home life they would travel everywhere in search of a bright i knowing one soon chapter he did public relations work for the sixth patriarch he traveled all over china saying my teacher is the sixth patriarch the genuine recipient of the role and bow. When he heard about Chi Huang as cultivation, he went to visit him and said, Hey, what are you doing here, huh? Chi Huang just said, I am entering concentration. You say you are entering concentration, said Suan Chapter E. Tell me. Do you do it with the thought in mind that you want to enter concentration, or don't you have such a thought? If you do not enter it with such a thought in mind, then all inanimate objects could also enter concentration, because they don't have thought either. But if you do, then all living, conscious creatures could enter as well. Chi Wang said, when I enter concentration, I don't notice whether I have thought or not. At that time, I am empty. Soon chapter, he said, if you don't notice whether or not you have thought, then that is permanent concentration. How can you come out of it or enter it? How do you go in? How do you come out? If you can enter or leave it, it is not the great concentration of the Buddha. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 324 
Ji Huang was dumbfounded. What am I going to do? He thought. I do go into concentration and come out of it. He couldn't open his mouth for a long time. He knew that his own words had no principle, that Suan chapter E.S. wisdom was higher than his own, and that he had no means to debate with him. Finally he asked, Who is your teacher? Your eloquence is super. Surely your master is even more clever than you. Who transmitted the Dharma to you? My teacher is the sixth patriarch, the abbot of Nanhua. Temple in T.S. Aoshi, said Suan chapter E. What does he take to be Pyana concentration? Chi Huang asked. Sutra. Suan chapter E said, my teacher speaks of the wonderful, clear, perfect stillness, the suchness of the Substance and function, the fundamental emptiness of the five scan DHAs, and the non existence of the sex organs. There is neither emerging nor entering, neither concentration nor confusion. The nature of Pyama is non dwelling and is beyond the act of dwelling in Pyana. Stillness. The nature of Pyana is unproduced and beyond the production of the thought of Pyana. The mind is like empty space and is without the measure of empty space. Commentary. The sixth patriarch says that the original nature is wonderful, clear, perfectly still and unmoving. Its substance and function both are thus, thus unmoving, clear, clear, and illuminating. The five shadows, i.e. the five scant heap heaps of form, feeling, Chapter 7 Opportunities and Conditions Pyana Master Chi Huang 325 Perception, impulses, and consciousness are fundamentally void. And the six sense objects of form, sound, smell, taste, tangible objects and objects of the mind are also non-existent. When you understand the wonderful function of the original substance, there is no question of either dwelling or not dwelling. In Tayana, the Tayana nature transcends that kind of death. Pyana, which is attached to stillness. The nature of Pyana itself is unproduced and transcends. Such quotes as, here I said in Pyana meditation. Sutra. Hearing this explanation, Chi Huang went directly to visit the Master. The master asked him, Kind sir, where are you from? Chi Huang related the above incident in detail. The master then said, It is truly just. As he said, Simply let your mind be like empty space without being attached to the idea of emptiness and the 
correct function of the self, nature will no longer be obstructed. Have no thought, whether in motion or stillness, forget any feeling of being common or holy, put an end to both subject and object. The nature and mark will be thus, thus, and at no time will you be out of the state of concentration. Commentary. What Suen chapter he told you was correct, said the master. Just make your mind like empty space, but do not hold on to the idea of empty space. You will then function in an unhindered way. When something presents itself, you will respond and when it passes, you will be still. This is to be unobstructed. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 326 Whether moving or still, whether walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, have no thought. Do not think, I am a sage, and do not think, I am just a common person. Forget about feeling. Holy or common, get rid of emotional feelings altogether. B. Without subject or object, do not have something which sees in. Something which is seen, something which makes empty in. Something which is made empty. You should know that when you see brightness, your seeing is not bright, when you see darkness, your seeing is not dark, when you see emptiness, your seeing is not empty, when you see form, your seeing has no form, when you see existence, your seeing is not existent, and when you see non-existence, your seeing is not non-existent. The Shurubhuma Sutra says, when your seeing sees the seeing nature, that seeing is no longer seeing. Your seeing nature is beyond your seeing and your seeing cannot reach it. Your Seeing nature should be separate from and unattached to your false discriminating seeing and you should not hold on to the thought of seeing. If you adhere to the idea of subject and object, maintaining that there is someone who sees as well as an emptiness which is seen, you are left with just that knowledge and vision. You should put an end to both subject and object. Sutra Just then Ching Wang attained the great enlightenment. What he had gained in twenty years vanished from his mind without a trace. That night the people of Hopi I heard a voice in space announcing Today, Thailand Master Chi Wang has attained the way. Later, he made obeisance and left, returning to Hope I to teach and comfort the four assemblies there. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions Thailand Master Chi Wang 327 Commentary All of a sudden, Chi Wang had a great, not a small, 
enlightenment and the skill he had acquired in 20 years of diligent cultivation completely left him. There was not a trace, not an echo. Before he had entered Samadhi thinking, I am entering Samadhi, but now he had nothing at all. Everything was empty. He had returned to the root and source of all. Dermas. Olochi Wang himself was in Hoshu that night in his native village on the outskirts of Peking, his neighbors, disciples, and Dharma protectors all heard a voice in space saying, you should all know that today Tainan Master Qi Huang reached enlightenment. Later, Qi Huang bowed to the sixth patriarch, to leave, and returned to Hopi I to teach the Pictures, Pictures, Lenmen, and Lenwinmen there. Hopi I is about 1500 miles from Hoshu. That is a long walk. 328. One member of the Sangha. Sutra. One of the Sangha as the master who got the principle of Wang Mei. The master replied, the one who understands the Buddha Dharma. The Sangha member said, Hi Master, have you obtained it? I do not understand the Buddha Dharma, the Master replied. Commentary This member of the Sangha was truly a barbarian and Uneducated savage. He rudely confronted the master and asked, Who got the robe and bow of the fifth patriarch Han Zhen of Huang Mei? He knew very well that the sixth patriarch had it, but he asked anyway. From this we know that among those who came to the master for instruction there were rude country peasants as well as good disciples. He knew that his question was insulting to the master and what he meant by it was, you can he even read? How can you be worthy of the road and bow? The master said, one who thoroughly comprehends the Buddha Dharma obtains that principle and the fifth patriarch as Road and Bow. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions One member of the Sangha 329 But Hi Master, the Pikshu said, have you got it or not? He did. He believed that the master had received the transmission. The sixth patriarch did. He said yes and he did. He said no. He simply said, I don't. He understand the Buddha Dharma. What do you think? Was he telling the truth? 三百三十。Pikshutan Sutra. One day the master wanted to wash the robe which he had inherited, but there was no clear stream nearby. He walked about two miles behind the temple where he saw Good energies revolving in a dense grove of trees. He 
Shook his staff, stuck it in the ground, and a scream. Bubbled up in for a pool. Commentary. The master walked about two miles behind the temple, where he found a luxuriant grove filled with tall trees and good vibrations. People who have opened their five eyes and attend the six spiritual powers can tell and take lens the geomantic properties of any particular piece of land. So when the master planted his tin staff in the ground, the nine metal rings which hung from the head of his staff echoed through the wood, and a spring gushed forth to form a clear, pure pool. The public washing stream is about a third of a mile behind Nanhua Temple. Whether this present stream is the same source that was used during the Sixth Patriarch, as time is uncertain. Sutra As he knelt to wash his robe on a rock, suddenly a Monk came up and bowed before him, saying, I am Fan. Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions, Hikshu Fan Pian. 331. Pian, a native of Shishu. A while ago I was in India, where I visited the great master Bodhidharma. He told me to return to China immediately, saying, the Orthodox Dharma I Tracery and the Sandhati Road, which I inherited from Mahakushyaku has been transmitted to the sixth generation at T.S. Aoshi Shah Zhou. Go there and pay reference. Fan Pian has come from afar, hoping to see the robe and bow that his master transmitted. The master showed them to him and asked, Superior, what, what work do you do? I am good at sculpting, he replied. Keeping a straight face, the master said, then sculpt something for me to see. Fan Pian was bewildered, but after several days he completed a lifelike image of the patriarch, seven inches high and wonderful in every detail. The master laughed and said, you only understand the nature of sculpture. You do not understand the nature of the Buddha. Then, the master stretched out his hand and rubbed the crown of them pin as head, saying, you will forever be a field of blessing for gods and humans. The master rewarded him with a robe, which then Pian divided into three parts, one he used to wrap the sculpture, one he kept for himself, and the third he wrapped in palm leaves and buried in the ground. Fali, in the future, when this robe is found again, I will appear in the world to be abbot here and restore these buildings. Note, during the Song Dynasty in the 8th year of the Chao Yu Ren period, 1063 AD, while Hikshu Wei, Xu An was repairing the hole, he excavated the earth and 
the sixth patriarch, as Dharma Jiro Platform Sutra. 332. From the robe which was like you. The image is at Pao. Chapter 1 Temple and those who pray before eat a penny. Quick response. Commentary. Think about it, Bodhidharma had long since died in China. But it should then Pian met him in India. That is not surprising. However, because to this day no one knows exactly what happened to Bodhidharma, I will now tell you a true story. While I was living in Manchuria I decided, for various reasons, to leave the home life and cultivate the way. The man I most respected was Wang Shaozi, filial son Wang, when he was 28 years. Old his mother died and he practiced filial piety by sitting beside her grave. He built a small hut out of scrap lumber to protect himself from the bitter Manchurian cold and lived there for three years, according to the Confucian custom. When the first three years were up he decided to stay for another three years, so in all, he practiced for six years. During the second three year period he did not speak, no matter who came. Every day he sat in his hut, meditating and reciting the Diamond Sutra. Toward the end of the sixth year he had a daydream. In chapter E and Ku on the mountains, he thought there are cultivators who live for over a thousand years. When I fulfill my filial obligations, I will go there to cultivate. The following morning, during meditation, he heard a Dharma protector say, Today an important guest will visit you. He thought perhaps a great official was coming and he waited until 10 o'clock when he saw a monk approaching. Wearing red robes and carrying a bamboo stick. Filio Sang Wang did not speak out loud, but in his mind he wondered, where is he from? Chapter 2 Opportunities and Conditions, Pip Shutan Pian. 333. The monk replied, I am from Kuangling Mountain. Filio Sang Wang then thought, what is his name? The monk told him his name and added, in the Ming Dynasty I was a general and later I left home to cultivate. We too have a karmic affinity for one another, and so when I heard that you wanted to go to Kuangling Mountain, I felt I should advise you that the monks there cultivate solely for their own benefit. You, on the other hand, should cultivate for the good of all. After you have Finished your act of filial piety, build a temple right here and spread the Buddha Dharma. Now, filial, someone had he spoken to the monk, and yet 
the monk read the questions in his mind. That shows that the monk had the spiritual power of knowing others, thoughts and had obtained the five eyes and six spiritual penetrations. He said, he was from the Ming Dynasty. Filial, Sun Wang, lived during the first years of the Republic, some 300 years later. So, you see that Bodhidharma could easily have been seen in Southern India several hundred years after his disappearance from China, that he met Feng Pian there and told him about the road and bow is a very ordinary matter, nothing strange at all. If Shu Feng Pian knew how to make Buddha images, he Carved the Ming wood and molded the Ming clay. The master very solemnly said to him, Please sculpt an image for me to see. Caught off guard, then Pian just stood there in silence, but a few days later he had finished making a true image of the patriarch. It looked just like the master. The nose, ears, eyes, all. The features were exactly right. It was a perfect likeness right. Down to the finest detail. When the master saw the little statue of himself he could de help but smile. Then Pian, he said, you may know how to model clay, but you don't know the Buddha nature. In any case, the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 334. You should live home in every life, become a picture and act as a field of blessing for humans and gods. 335. Master Wolu, as first. Sutra. One Pikshu was reciting Hyanam Master Wolu, as first. Wolu has the talent to stop the hundred thoughts. Facing situations his mind one team move. Body grows day by day. When the master heard it he said, this verse shows no understanding of the mind, ground, and to cultivate. According to it will increase one as bondage. Then he spoke this verse. When man has no talent to stop the hundred thoughts, facing situations his mind often moves. How can body grow? Commentary. The name of the reciter of Wolu as first is not given. Perhaps he had no name or perhaps he did. He want to be famous. Hyanam Master Wolu could cut off his thoughts, but Wolu well, himself, the cutter of all thoughts, still remained. Thus he, the sixth patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 336 had fallen into the second or third position. He was not in the first position. Upon hearing Wolu as first, the great master replied, I haven't a single talent, nor even the thought of cutting off thought. 
My mind responds in a natural way. Who cares whether body grows or not? Here he expresses the same principle as in the verse he wrote. While still a lemon and one may, originally there is not one. Think. Where can the dust alight? The absolute is pure, what? Need is there to dust it off. 337. CHAPTER 8. Sudden and gradual. Commentary. Sudden refers to the immediate understanding of a principle. You may be suddenly enlightened to a principle, but Until you have been certified as one who is fully enlightened, you still must cultivate that principle gradually by putting it into practice in everyday life. Sutra. While the patriarch was staying at Pauline Temple in T.S. Aoshi, the great master Shen Su was at Yu Chapter 1 Temple in Qingdan. At that time, the two schools flourished, and everyone called them Southern Nen and Northern Su. So it was that the two schools, Northern and Southern, were divided into Southern and Gradual. As the students did not understand the doctrine, the master said to them, the Dharma is originally of one school. It is people who think of North and South. The Dharma is of one kind, but people understand it slowly or quickly. Dharma is not sudden or gradual. Rather it is people who are sharp or the Hence, the terms sudden and gradual. Nonetheless, Shen Su as followers continually ridiculed the southern patriarch, saying that he could teach read a single word and had nothing in his favor. But she Su said, he has obtained wisdom without the aid of it. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 338 Teacher and understands the Supreme Vehicle deeply. I and inferior to him. Furthermore, my master, the fifth patriarch, personally transmitted the robe and dharma to him, and not without good reason. I regret that I am unable to make the long journey to visit him as I unworthily receive state patronage here. But do not let me stop you. Go to T.S. Aoshi and call on him. Commentary You all remember Shen Su, the great master who was obsessed with the deadly ambition to be a patriarch. He was a intelligent man, and yet he could he cut off his desire for the patriarchate. In the south, the sixth patriarch of the southern Dharma to a flourishing assembly of over a thousand people. Shen Su in Qingnan was busy teaching gradual Dharma to an even larger crowd of over 10,000 people. 
originally Shansu had about 200 followers, but every day more and more people can. However, everyone knew that the fifth patriarch had transmitted the Rogan bowl to Huanan in the south. In spite of the fact that Shen Su had been teaching Master Under, the fifth patriarch and was extremely well educated, he did not have the transmission. Still, Shen Su, as disciples advertised, him as the sixth patriarch and finally even sent an assassin to try to kill the master and seize the rogue and because of the division into northern and southern schools students of the way did not know where to turn should they study with the sixth patriarch he was illiterate and sometimes his teachings seemed to contradict the scriptures. On the other hand, Shen Su did he have the wrong angle? Seeing their dilemma, the master said, there is only one Dharma. People may come from the north or south but there is Chapter 5 Southern and Gradual 339 Actually only one now, duo Dharma door. Intelligent people understand it all of a sudden and stupid people come to understand it gradually, but the Dharma itself is neither sudden nor gradual. Still, Shen Su, as men constantly make fun of the six. Patriarch. Hey, look at him, they said. He can, t even read. The southern school disciples are following an illiterate. That is perfectly ridiculous. What could they possibly learn from him? Thus they slighted the patriarch and his disciples, saying that they were ignorant, not having even one doctorate among them. Shen Tzu said, Don't he talk like that? He is an enlightened man. He has obtained wisdom through his own effort, without the aid of a teacher, and has a thorough grasp of the supreme vehicle. Frankly, I am not as good as he is, I do not possess his enlightened wisdom. Our teacher, the fifth patriarch, has the Wonderful mind, seal Dharma on to him, and for a good reason. It was no accident. Shen Su was a national master. He and Master Slao, Chen Shi and An Fa Jun were among the fifth patriarch as ten great disciples. As they had received invitations to the imperial palace from Empress Wu Tsai in, they received state patronage. Shen Su told his disciples, I can t get away as I receive state aid here. But don't t let me stop you. You may go to T.S. A ocean to call on the great master. Actually, Shen Su was just testing his disciples to see whether or not they would go. He said that the sixth 
patriarch had more virtue than he, but what he really meant was, if you believe in me you want to live, even though he has more virtue. But if you don't believe you, I'll go as soon as I tell you to leave. Go. No one went. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 三百四十 Sutra. One day, Shen Su told his disciple Chi Chapter N. You are intelligent and very wise. You may go to T S A O. She on my behalf and listen to the Dharma. Remember it. Oh, and take careful notes to read to me when you return. As ordered, Chi Chapter and proceeded to T S A O C N. Joined the assembly without saying where he had come from. The patriarch told the assembly, "Today there is a dharma thief hidden in this assembly." Chi Chapter and immediately stepped forward, bowed, and explained his mission. The master said, "You are." From you, Chapter One, you must be a spy. No, he replied, I am not. The master said, What do you mean? He replied, Before I confessed, I was, but now that I have confessed, I am not. The master said, How does your master instruct his? Followers, Chi Chapter and replied, He always instructs us to dwell with the mind, contemplating stillness, and to set up all the time without lying down. The master said, To dwell with the mind, contemplating stillness is sickness, not hyena. Constant sitting restrains the body. How can it be beneficial? Listen to my verse. When living, sit down, ti lie. When dead, lie down, down, ti sit. How can a set of stinking bones be used for training? Chapter Five. Sudden and gradual. 三百四十一 Chi Chapter and bowed again and said, "Your disciple, studying the way for nine years at the place of great master Su, but obtained no enlightenment. Now, hearing one speech from the high master, I am united." With my original mind, your disciple, as first and that is a serious matter. Will the high master be compassionate enough to instruct me further? Commentary: Chi Chapter N was a good disciple to Shen Su, one of his favorites. You may represent me at T S A O C. Shen Su said, "I cannot go. If I were to go personally, Wen Nan would surely recognize me and not speak the Dharma. Write down everything he says without getting one word wrong. Then bring back your." Notes and read them to me. When Chi Chapter N asked for instruction at T S A O C, he did T S A where he was from. I V E being here and there, he 
set beating around the bush. That day there were several thousand people gathered to hear the Dharma. The sixth patriarch announced, everyone should be careful. There is a Dharma thief hidden in the assembly. Chi chapter and pushed his way through the crowd, bowed at the master as the end said, I confess. I am a spy. Shen Su said, me here. The master explained the Dharma to Chi Chen. Contemplating stillness is a kind of occupational disease, he said, it is not high enough. As to constant sitting in meditation, this is a mere constraint on the body. What is the principle behind it? When you eat, just eat. When you sleep, just sleep. Don't tee lock yourself up. Shen Su was just working on his stinking skin, but he didn't know how to work in the self nature. That is sickness. The the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 342. Sixth patriarch worked naturally in the self nature, and he spoke this verse to say, "You sit up when you realize." You lie down when you read that. Your body is a bone, but composed of four elements. Why not work on the self nature instead? To dwell with the mind contemplating stillness contradicts the principle of the Diamond Sutra, which tells us to produce. That thought which is nowhere supported. The sixth patriarch spoke this verse to break Chi chapter and as attachment to Marx. Shen Su taught people to dwell with the mind. Contemplating stillness and the sixth patriarch said that that was wrong. Nonetheless, if you can do it, be vibrant, you will get benefit. If you always sit and do not lie down, although it is not very natural, it will assist your body and mind in cultivation. Then why did the sixth patriarch object to these practices? It was because Chi Chapter and had just come from Shen Su and it was necessary to break his attachments before he could properly receive the genuine Buddha Dharma. In cultivation you should not be attached to your work and think, look at me. I really work hard, constantly sitting and never lying down. Such thoughts will obstruct your progress. If the mind dwells, it is attached. In order to be united with the original wisdom of the self, nature, you must produce that. Thought which is nowhere supported, as the Diamond Sutra says. The sixth patriarch gave Chi chapter and this teaching in order to break his attachments. If you can constantly sit and feel natural and unforced doing so, then go ahead, but do not force yourself. 
Force is not the way. You should work naturally. Good, you say. Then I don't have to follow the rules. Chapter 八 Sudden and gradual. 三百四十三 This does not mean that you can ignore the rules. If you like, down when people sit and sit when they lie down, you are not in accord with dharma and are just trying to show that you think you are special. In general, you must follow the rules and be natural with yourself as well. But being natural does not mean that you can break the rules. Is this clear? Chi chapter and have studied nine years with Shen Su. How? Many years have you studied here? One year. And you think that is a very long time? Cultivators may study for ten, twenty, or thirty years with great effort. You can see graduate in just a few months. As soon as the sixth patriarch spoke, his principles entered. Chi chapter and as hard like water flowing into water, thus, thus, like milk mixing with milk. There was not the slightest difference between the the patriarch as hard is my heart. Said Chi Chapter and and my heart is the patriarch as heart. I am suddenly united with the original mind because our minds are fundamentally one and the same. But I do not know when I will die. Chi Chapter and continued. And I do not know when I will be born again. This matter of birth and death is most pressing. Please be compassionate and help me understand. Sutra. The master said, "I have heard that your master instructs his students in the dharmas of morality." Concentration and wisdom. Please tell me how he defines the terms. Chi chapter and said, Great Master Shen Su says that morality is abstaining from doing evil. Wisdom is offering up all good conduct, and concentration is purifying one as. Oh my! This is how he explains the. But I do not. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 三百四十四 No, Hi Master. What Dharma of instruction you use? The Master said, If I said that I had a Dharma to give. To others, I would be lying to you. I merely use expedience to untie bonds and falsely call that somebody your master. As explanation of morality, concentration, and wisdom is truly inconceivably good, but my conception of Morality, concentration, and wisdom is different from his commentary. I don't have any dharmas at all," said the sixth patriarch. "I'd be cheating you if I said that I did. 
I have no special dharma to give to people. For each individual I use an appropriate teaching to untie his bonds. To untie bonds means to break attachments. The attachments of living beings bind them up. I just untie their bonds and set them free of their attachments. Fundamentally this teaching has no name whatsoever, but it is hypothetically called Samadhi. Thus, my view of morality, concentration, and wisdom is special, it is not the same as Shen. Su S. Sutra. Chi Chapter and said, there can only be one kind of morality, concentration, and wisdom. How can there be a difference? The master said, your master has morality. Concentration and wisdom guide those of the great vehicle, whereas my morality, concentration, and wisdom guide those of the supreme vehicle. Chapter 8 Sudden and Gradual 345 Enlightenment is not the same as understanding, seeing, may take place slowly or quickly. Commentary When you become enlightened, in that moment of enlightenment you attain your aim. Understanding, on the other hand, is a gradual process. Thus perception may be sudden or gradual, fast or slow. Sutra Listen to my explanation. Is it the same as Shen? Su S. The Dharma which I speak does not depart from the self nature, for to depart from the self nature in Explaining the Dharma is to speak of Marx and continually confuse the self nature. You should know that the functions of the 10,000 Dharmas all arise from the self nature and that this is the true morality, concentration and wisdom. Listen to my verse. Might, ground without wrong. Self, nature, morality. Might, ground without illusion. Self, nature, wisdom. Might, ground without confusion. Self, nature, concentration. Neither increasing nor decreasing. You are Vajra. Body comes, body goes. The original Samadhi. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 346. Commentary. When I speak the Dharma, said the sixth patriarch, I never stray from the self nature. When you stray from the self, nature you become attached to marks and confuse the self. Nature. All dharmas are composed of the substance of the self. Nature and respond with unlimited function. Now, listen to this. Mind ground without wrong, self, nature, morality. The mind is like a piece of ground. Whatever you plant in it, 
grows there. If you plant a good cause, you reap a good result. The future, if you plant a bad cause, you reap a bad result. When the mind ground contains no thoughts of greed, malice, envy, or selfishness, it is without wrong thoughts, and that is the morality of the self nature. Master Shen Su said that morality is to abstain from evil. That is almost the same as the sixth patriarch as instructions to clear the mind, ground of wrong thoughts. But Shen Su gave morality another name, calling it the abstention from evil. Why? The sixth patriarch spoke of the morality of the mind, ground, the morality of the self, nature, mind, ground without delusion, self, nature, wisdom. When your mind, ground is free of delusion, the conduct you offer can be extremely good just as Shen Su instructed. But, Shen Su merely passed out names. He did not speak of morality, concentration, and wisdom in terms of the self, nature, and the mind, ground. Do not plan the causes of stupidity in the mind, ground, that is the self, nature, as wisdom. Chapter 8 Sudden and Gradual 347 Mind, ground without confusion Self, nature, concentration When it is without confusion, the mind is purified. She so, as instructions to purify the mind did not relate. Concentration to the self, nature, whereas the sixth patriarch always spoke dharma from the mind, ground. His dharma arose from the self, nature and did not come from outside. Shen Su spoke about external dharmas and was attached to Marx. In other words, Shen Su spoke from outside the mind, the six. Patriarch spoke from within, neither increasing nor decreasing. You are Pedra, the brilliant light of the self, Nature illuminates everything, it is miraculous, profound, and all-inclusive. The self, nature, neither increases nor decreases, it is your very own, indestructible vajra. Body comes, body goes. The original samadhi. You go away, you come back, and you read in Samadhi all the time, standing, sitting, walking, and lying down. Sutra Hearing this verse, Chi chapter, and regretted his former mistakes, and he expressed his gratitude by saying this. First, these five heaps are a body of illusion. And what is illusion? The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 348. Ultimately, if you tend toward true suchness, the Dharma is not yet pure. 
Complementary. The five skin DHAs are not real. The body, too, is false merely. A combination of the four elements. Knowing this, you should not attach so much importance to it by looking for good food, good clothes, a nice place to live, or a good wife or husband. How do the four elements combine to form your body? The Earth is the hard part of your body, the skin, nails, bones, and muscles, hairs, mucus, saliva and excrement are the water and your body heat is the fire, the circulatory and respiratory systems are the wind. After you die, the body decomposes and the earth returns to the earth, the water to the water, the fire to the fire, and the wind to the wind. But where do you go? You don't know, do you? We are studying the Buddha Dharma just to Understand this question. The body, then, is nothing but a transformation of the five skin DHAs and the four elements. And what, ultimately, is this? Illusion. If you tend toward true suchness, the Dharma is not pure yet. For you have not arrived at the root substance and you have not returned to purity. Why? Because you still have the thought, I, D, like to go back to true suchness. If you have even one thought, you cannot penetrate the basic substance because the basic Substance functions independently and freely, without obstruction. There is no grasping or rejecting it, no thinking of this or that. Chapter 8 Sudden and Gradual 349 Sutra The Master Approved and he said further to Chi, Chapter, and your master, as morality, concentration, and wisdom explored those of lesser faculties and lesser wisdom, while my morality, concentration, and wisdom explored those of great faculties and great wisdom. If you are enlightened to yourself, nature, you do not set up in your mind the notion of body or of nirvana or of the liberation of knowledge and vision. When not a single dharma is established in the mind, then the ten thousand Dharmas can be established there. To understand this principle is to achieve the Buddha as body which is also called body, nirvana, and the liberation of knowledge and vision as well. Those who see their own nature can Establish dharmas in their minds or not establish the as they choose. They come and go freely without impediments or obstacles. They function correctly and speak appropriately, seeing all transformation bodies as integral with the self nature. That is precisely the way 
they obtain independence, spiritual powers, and the samadhi of playfulness. This is what is called seeing the nature. Commentary. You rewrite, said the master, and your verse is not bad at all. Oh. You should know that my morality, concentration, and wisdom are not the same as Shen Su, as his teaching is for people of lesser wisdom. Here the master describes the people of great wisdom for whom his teaching is intended. They have awakened to the self. Nature, he said, and they don't even entertain the notion of the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. Set by Wu Shi. Bodhi, Nirvana, or the liberation of knowledge and vision. None of these dharmas exist for the not a single thing. Remains. Not one dharma established. Ten thousand dharmas are empty. Because such people do not set up the notion of a single dharma. They can set up the ten thousand dharmas. Although not a single dharma exists. The ten thousand dharmas are present all the same. If you understand this principle, you may become a Buddha. On the spot. Then you may call it Bodhi, Nirvana, or the liberation of knowledge and vision. You may call it anything you like. But first you must understand it. If you don't understand it, you can call it anything at all. People of genuine enlightenment who have understood the mind and seen the nature can establish dharmas or not establish the they come and go without obstruction. You say, I am this way too. If I want to come to the Buddhist lecture hall, I come. If I want to go, I go. You rewrong. The sixth patriarch was speaking of freedom over life and death. With this kind of freedom, if you want to live, you live, if you want to die, you can die any place, any time, like the third patriarch sent T.S. and who died of his own will, hanging by one hand from a tree. That is why I often say to you, everything is okay. If you are master of this, you hold the power of life and death in your hands. Live or die as you please. No one can stop you. Freedom to come and Go is not like your coming and going from the Buddhist lecture. Ho. People who see the nature, function correctly and speak. Appropriately, seeing all transformation bodies as integral with the self, nature. They don't need to think, they just speak. But, they always speak with principle. If someone asks you about the chapter 8, sudden and gradual, 三百五十一, 
heavens and you reply, on earth there are mountains and rivers, or if they ask, what is a horse, and you say, oxen. Have two horns, you are just confusing the issue and going against common sense. People who see the nature, obtain independence, just like a fallen Titish Bodhisattva. The spiritual powers, that they obtain are the six spiritual powers, e, the heavenly eye, er, the heavenly ear, san, the knowledge of others, thoughts, si, the Knowledge of former lives, Wu, the knowledge of the extinction of outflows, Liu, psychic power. One who has obtained the samadhi of playfulness, sings. But not like other singers, he eats, but not like other people. For example, he may say, lunch time. Let us eat and then run to the table and eat every morsel of food in sight. Then he, LL say, the food is still in the kitchen. When everyone looks in the kitchen the food is still there. He did, he really eat it after all. That is a lot of fun. Sutra. Chi chapter and as the master further what is meant by not establishing. The master replied, when yourself nature is free from error, obstruction and confusion when prajna is present in every thought contemplating and shedding illumination and when you are constantly apart from the dharma marks and are free and independent both horizontally and vertically then what is there to be established in the self nature in self enlightenment in sudden enlightenment and in sudden cultivation there are no degrees. Therefore, not a single dharma is established. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 352 All dharmas are still an extinct how can there be stages? Chi chapter and made obeisance and attending on the master day and night without laziness. He was a native of T A I Hong in Chizhou. Commentary: When there is nothing in yourself, nature which is obstructed or confused, what is there to be established? Confusion means upside down. You should not think that if your hand points to the earth it is upside down down and if you raise it above your head it is right side up. There is actually no such thing as off side, down or right, side up. Prajna is present in every thought, contemplating and shedding illumination. Similarly, the master said earlier, you should know that the self, nature constantly generates wisdom. Further, you should be separate from any attachment to dharma marks, and then you will be free to come and go vertically if 
You want to jump, jump. Horizontally, if you want to move. Sideways, go ahead. Ascend into the heavens or plunge into the house. Visit the Western Paradise or the Eastern Crystal Azure. Word. You can go anywhere and always be in accord with Dharma. So what Dharma is there to be established? That is why the Master says that not a single Dharma is established. You should enlighten yourself, nature by yourself. If you are enlightened immediately, you will cultivate immediately and there will be no question of sudden and gradual stages of progress. Therefore no dharmas are established, O dharmas are empty marked with still extinction. How can you arrange them? In stages according to number one, number two, and so on. Hearing the master as instruction, the former spidey acted and was converted to the master as teaching. He changed his chapter by sudden and gradual. 353. Mind and reform his conduct. That is called going straight. He did whatever the patriarch told him to do, no matter how difficult, because he knew that the sixth patriarch had become a patriarch by doing bitter work, threshing rice and one may for over eight months. He thought, I have an opportunity to serve a patriarch and I should work diligently. 354 Pixochi Chapter E Sutra Pixochi Chapter E A native of Chi and Shi had the family name Chang and the personal name Shi Chapter A As a youth he was an itinerant warrior when the schools split into the northern and southern Although the two leaders had lost the notion of self and other, the disciples stirred up love and hate. The disciples of the Northern School secretly set up Shen Su as the sixth patriarch, fearing that the country would hear of the transmission of the role. They hired Shi Chapter N to assassinate the Master. But the Master had the power of knowing the thoughts of others. He knew of this matter in advance and set ten ounces of gold on his chip. That Night Shin Chapter M entered his room intending to kill him. The master just stretched out his neck. She Chapter M swung the blade three times but could not harm him. Commentary Neither Shen Tzu nor the sixth patriarch had thoughts of self or others, but their disciples agitated, stirring up thoughts of love and hating people. More specifically, Shen Su, as disciples did the agitating, denouncing the southern patriarch as illiterate and incompetent. Chapter 5
Sudden and Gradual Pixel Two Chapter 一三百五十五 The Sixth Patriarch, as disciples really believed in him. You can he talk that way about our teacher? They said he has obtained wisdom without the aid of a master. It never occurred to the sixth patriarch, as disciples, that they should kill Shen Su, but Shen Su, as disciples, were jealous and wanted to kill the sixth patriarch. They knew that the rope and bow were in the south. The rumors flew that when they would do anything, homicide, manslaughter. Why, in the old days he was a confidence man and now he as pretending to be a patriarch. How absurd. Others said he used to be a pure firewood gatherer in the mountains. What talent could he have? The people in the south have made him their leader, but it is only talk. They did everything they could to ruin him. And one may everyone knew that he was a barbarian. He doesn't he know anything at all. Shen Su had several thousand men behind him, even though he did not have the rope and bow. They each wanted to be the seventh patriarch, and without a father how can there be a son? With Shen Su as the sixth patriarch, the seventh. Patriarch would surely be one of them. But they did there. Make the news public because it was all too obvious that the position rightly belonged to Huan Nan. T and Dynasty Buddhism was extremely complex. She chapter N as family men had been charmed. But after he left home, the master named him Chi Chapter E. As a boy, he robbed from the rich and gave to the poor, always fighting for the underdog. His martial skills were outstanding. Like an limber, he could leap 20 feet in the air in a single bound. They called him Flying Cat Chang because he ran so fast and with such agility that he could break into your house without a sound, just like a cat. Not only could this cat walk silently, he could fly. But the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 356 You want to find this nickname in any of the history books, you would have to have been there. Having unsuccessfully tried to capture the master by burning off the mountain behind Nan Hua Temple, Shen Su, as men, decided to hire an assassin to kill the master and steal the rope and bow. The sixth patriarch could read minds, and so he was expecting his visitor. He put some gold on his chair and waited. Until midnight, when the sky was black and she chapter and came creeping up the stairs, down the hall, and into his room. 
Was this a tense situation or not? What do you think the master did? He just stretched out his neck, and although he didn't say anything, he thought, go ahead and swing your sword. Come on, kill me. This is called sticking your neck out. She chaffed her and was oblivious to the master. He was determined to carry out orders and had nothing on his mind but murder. I don't care if you read a picture, an archet, or even a patriarch, I am going to kill you, he said, swinging at the master as neck. He swan three times and nothing happened. Now, just what do you think this means? Sutra. The master said. A straight sword is not bent. A bent sword is not straight. I merely owe you gold. I do not owe you life. She chaffed her and fell to the ground in fright. After a while he came to and begged for mercy, repenting of his Chapter 5 Sudden and Gradual Pixelchi Chapter 1 357 Error and Bowing to Leave Home The Master gave him the gold and said, Go. I fear that my followers will come to take revenge. Change your appearance and return. Another day and I will accept you. Commentary. The master said, a straight sword is not bent, that is, the straight sword of the proper dharma cannot be harmed by deviant dharma. The deviant cannot defeat the right, the right always overcomes the deviant. You may have a sword, but you can't harm me with it. I merely owe you the gold which I borrowed in a past life, the master said, I don't owe you my life because I never killed you. It was all too much for Shin Chapter and, and he fainted. When he came to, the master talked with him for a long time, why did you want to kill me, he asked. It was my idea, said Shin Chapter and they told me that. You were a scoundrel, a thief, and a hunter. They said that you were nothing but a firewood gatherer who was pretending to be a patriarch. Hearing this, I felt it was my duty to kill you, but now I know that I was wrong. Why? If you had no virtue, my sharp sword would have sliced your head right off. Having met you, I realized that the affairs of the world are of no great interest. Please let me leave home and bow to you as my teacher. The master said, here, take this gold and go quickly. My disciples are fond of me and they would kill you if they found out about this. Go somewhere else and leave home. When you return, I will teach and transform you. 
the sixth patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 358. Sutra. Shin Chapter, and received his orders and disappeared. Into the night. Later he left home under another picture. Received the complete precepts and was vigorous in practice. One day, remembering the master as words, he made the long journey to have an audience. The master said, I have thought of you for a long time. What took you so long? He replied, the High Master once favored me by pardoning my crime. Although I have left home and although I practice austerities, I shall never be able to repay his kindness. May I try to repay you by transmitting the Dharma and taking living beings. Across, your disciple often studies the Mahapari Nirvana Sutra, but he has not yet understood the principles of permanence and impermanence. I beg the High Master to be compassionate and explain them for me. The Master said, Impermanence is just the Buddha. Nature and permanence is just the mind discriminating. Good and evil dharmas. High Master, your explanation contradicts the Sutra. Text. She chapter and replied. The Master said, I transmit the Buddha as mind. Seal. How could I dare to contradict the Buddha's sutras? She chapter and replied, the sutra says that the Buddha nature is permanent and the high master has just said that it is impermanent. It says that good and evil. Dharmas, reaching even to the body mind, are impermanent and the High Master has just said that they are permanent. This contradiction has merely intensified your student as doubt and delusion. Chapter 5 Sudden and Gradual Pixelchi Chapter E 359 the master said, formerly, I heard Pikshu Nailu Ching Sen recite the Nirvana Sutra. When I commented on it, there was not one word or principle which did not accord with the Sutra text. My explanation to you now is not different. She chapter and replied, your student, as capacity for understanding is superficial. Will the High Master please explain further? The Master said, Don, do you understand? If the Buddha nature were permanent, what use would there be? In speaking of good and evil dharmas, to the end of the eon, not one person would produce the body mind. Therefore, I explain it as impermanent. That is exactly what the Buddha explained as the meaning of true permanence. Commentary. The Buddha explained the Buddha nature as permanent to those attached to impermanence, 
and he explained it as impermanent to those attached to permanence. If you say that the Buddha nature is permanent, what good and evil dharmas remain? For discussion, living beings would have all become Buddhas long ago. Why should one bother to speak the Dharma to them? In order to take them across, if the Buddha nature is permanent, everyone would be a Buddha and there would be no need to cultivate. So, the Master said, you see that my explanation of the Buddha nature as impermanent is exactly what the Buddha meant when he spoke of permanence. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 360 Sutra. Furthermore, if all dharmas were impermanent, all things would have a self nature subject to birth and death, and the true permanent nature would not pervade all places. Therefore, I explain it as permanent. That is exactly what the Buddha explained as the meaning of true impermanence. Commentary Basically, the Buddha nature is neither permanent nor impermanent. That is the ultimate principle of the middle way. Then why did the sixth patriarch say that it was impermanent? Why did he say that the mind which discriminates good and evil was permanent? He did it to cure Shin chapter and of his attachments. Once you are rid of attachment, you do not need the Buddha Dharma. The sixth patriarch took advantage of an opportunity to heal Shin chapter and, but he won't necessarily have explained it the same way to everyone. Sutra. It was for the sake of common people and those who belong to other religions who cling to deviant views of permanence, and for all those who follow the two vehicle way, mistaking permanence for impermanence, formulating the eight perverted views that the Buddha in the ultimate nirvana teaching destroyed their prejudice. Views. He explained true permanence, true bliss, true selfhood, and true purity. Chapter 5. Sudden and Gradual. Pixelchi Chapter 1. Commentary. Common people and non Buddhists cling to false permanence, Shravakas and Pratyaka Buddhas mistake permanence for impermanence. These two groups each have four perverted views, making a demon. Common people and non Buddhists turn the four marks off. Condition existence of sight, down and say. E. The suffering of conditioned existence is bliss. Er. Its impermanence is permanent. San. Its impurity is pure and. Si. Its no self is self.
the Shabakas and Pratyakabudas turn the four virtues off. Nirvana of sight, Dang and Se. Wu. The bliss of Nirvana is suffering. Liu. Its permanence is impermanent. Qi. Its purity is impure. E. Ba. Its self is no self. Sutra. You now contradict this meaning by relying on the words taking annihilation to be impermanence and fixing on a lifeless permanence. In this way you misinterpret the last subtle, complete and wonderful words of the Buddha. Even if you read it a thousand times, what benefit could you derive from it? She chapter and suddenly achieved the great enlightenment and spoke this verse to those who hold impermanence in mind. The Buddha speaks of the permanent nature. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 362 Not knowing expedience is like picking up pebbles from a spring pond but not without an effort the Buddha nature manifests the master did not transmit it and I did not obtain a thing the master said, now you understand. You should be called Q chapter E, Breath of Understanding. Q chapter E thanked the master, bowed, and withdrew. Commentary Unless you understand that the Buddha as dharmas are expedient devices, you might as well collect drugs from the bottom of a pool, you reuseless. Hearing the master as instruction, Shin chapter and returned to the source and went back home. Suddenly enlightened, he understood his mind and saw his nature. But his enlightenment was not given to him by the sixth patriarch, and his attainment was actually no attainment. He simply opened up to his own inherent wisdom. The master gave him certification saying, now that you are truly enlightened, I will give you the name, Chi Chapter E. 363. Sutra. A young boy, 13 years old, named Shen Wei, who was from a KO family in Xiongyan, came from you. Chapter, want to pay homage. The master said, the knowing one as journey must have been difficult. Did you bring the original with you? If you have the original, you should know the owner. Try to explain it to me. Shen Wei said, I take now dwelling as the original and seeing as the owner. The master said, this Shramanura imitates the talk of others. Shen Wei then asked, when you said in chapter N, hi, master, do you see or not? The master hit him three times with his staff and said, when I hit you, does it hurt or not? 
He replied, it both hurts and does not hurt. The master said, I both see and do not see. Shen Hui asked, how can you both see and not see? The master said, what I see is the transgression and error of my own mind. I do not see the right, wrong, good or bad of other people. This is my seeing and not seeing. How can you say it both hurts and does not hurt? If it does not hurt you are like a piece of wood or a stone, but if it does hurt you are just like a common person and will. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra 364 Give rise to hatred. Your seeing and not seeing are two extremes and your hurting and not hurting are production and extinction. You have not even seen your own nature and yet you dare to ridicule others. Commentary Shen Wei was an exceptional child, precocious and brilliant. He forgot his body for the sake of the Dharma. He could tell and a glance that Shen Su did he have the genuine Buddha Dharma. He set out for the Sixth Patriarch as place 1800 miles distant. His shoes fell apart and the rocks and slivers of glass on the road cut into his feet, but he continued to walk, tearing up his robe to bandage his bleeding feet and acting as if there were no Pen and bone. When the great master saw him, he knew that he had undergone much suffering. Good knowing advisor, he said, your journey must have been difficult. Did you bring the original with you? Have you attend your original face or not? Do you recognize your original face? If you have the original, you should know the owner. If you have the original, the Buddha, nature, and if you have understood your mind, seen your nature, you should know the owner. The owner is the Buddha, nature. Tell me about it. But this unruly child had a mind of his own. I take not dwelling anywhere as my original face, he said, and my seeing nature as the host. The sixth patriarch said, you re just imitating the talk of other people. You pretend to know what you do not know, to understand what you do not understand, and to see what you do not see. This is nothing but verbal zen. It is not an expression of the self-nature. Shen Wei had a lot of gold. When the High Master sits in meditation, he asked, does he see or not? This child was white. Chapter 5 Sudden and Gradual Pikshu Shen Wei 365 And difficult to teach The Patriarch not being an ordinary person gave no ordinary answer. 
he hid Shen Hui with his staff and shouted, Does that hurt? It is not known whether the child was afraid or whether he cried or not. Shen Hui said, It both hurts and does not hurt. The master said, I both see and do not see. How can this be, said Shen Hui. I see my own mistakes, said the master. I keep an eye on my evil false thinking and immediately put a stop to it. I do not see the faults of others, others, evils, others, obsessions, others, conditions, others, transgressions. Students of the Buddha Dharma should take note of this. See your own errors, not those of other people. Don't TV like a watchdog watching someone else, as door. The dog does T have anything of its own. And so it watches over other people, as things. Don't TV critical. And don't T gossip, see and do not see. I see and do not see, said the master, but how can you? Both hurt and not hurt. If you don't T hurt, you are just like a rock. If you do hurt, then you ll catch fire and get angry and afflicted. Just like an unenlightened common person. Seeing and not. Seeing are two extremes and hurting and not hurting are dermas. Of production and extinction. You haven't t even seen your own nature and yet you have the nerve to come here and talk down to me. Sutra. Shen Wei but apologized and thanked the master. The master continued, if your mind is confused and you do not see, then ask a good knowing advisor to help you find the way. If your mind is enlightened, then see your own nature and cultivate according to the Dharma. You, the Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 366. Yourself are confused and do not see your own mind, eh? Yet you come to ask me whether or not I see. If I see, I know it for myself, but is that of any help to you in your confusion? In the same way your seeing is of no use to me. Why don't T you know and see it for yourself, instead of asking me whether or not I see? Shen Wei bowed again over 100 times, seeking forgiveness for his error. He served the Master with diligence, never leaving his sight. Commentary the master said, Shen Wei, if your mind is unclear and you cannot see the nature, then ask a good knowing advisor to teach you how to work at cultivation. If your mind is enlightened and you have understood the mind and seen the nature, then you should cultivate according to Dharma. You haven't t even seen your original mind, and yet you come to ask me whether or not I have seen it. 
if I be easing it, that as my own business of no use to you in your deluded condition. If you be easing the nature and obtain the original face, that as of no use to me. Why not her? The light around and reverse the illumination to find out whether you be easing your own mind or not. I S N T that better than asking me. What difference does it make whether I be easing it or not? After that, Shen Wei was really sorry. Why had he been so incorrigible? Did he really have no conscience? His questioning of the patriarch was like trying to sell dime novels to Confucius, or going to the home of L. U. P. China as first engineer and foremost carpenter to do remodeling. He begged for forgiveness, saying, I am just take it. I don't know how high the heavens are or how deep the earth is. Please don't hold it against me. From then on, Shen Wei waited on the master, following Chapter 8 Sudden and Gradual Picture Shen Wei 367 Alone everywhere the master went to give lectures on the sutras and speak about the Dharma Sutra one day the master addressed the assembly as follows, I have a thing. It has no head or tail, no name or label, no back or front. Do you all know what it is? Shen Wei stepped forward and said, it is the root. Source of all Buddhas, Shen Wei, as Buddha nature. The Master said, I just told you that it had no name or label, and you immediately call it the root source of all Buddhas. Go and build a thatched hut over your head. You read nothing but a follower who pursues knowledge and interpretation. After the master as extinction, Shen Wei went to Qi. Lo where he propagated the TSAO Shi Southern teaching. He wrote the Shi and Sang Qi which circulated widely throughout the land. He is known as Tainan Master Ho. Che. Commentary Everyone shut their mouths, no one said a word. Some of them didn't speak because they knew and some didn't speak because they did not know. Seeing that no one was going to answer, Shen Wei jumped out from the assembly and said, I know what it is. It is the origin of all Buddhas, my Buddha. Nature. In the ranks of the chapter and school, said the master, you read. Nothing but a scholar. You have no genuine understanding. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 368. In a way the master as scolding was a compliment. It is empty. Easy to be a chapter and scholar of the school of those who know it. Interpret. 
When the sixth patriarch died, Shen Hui went to the capital. At Luoyang to spread the southern teaching of the chapter and school. He later wrote the Shi and Song Chi, a treatise on the northern and southern schools, which exposed Shen Su as a false pretender and proclaimed the southern patriarch Wen Nan as the real sixth patriarch. The recipient of the Buddha as my seal. Had Shen Wei not written this book, Shen Su would have stolen the title of the sixth patriarch. Shen Wei came to be known as Ho Che, which is the name of the place where he went to live. 三百六十九 Difficult questions. Sutra. The master so many disciples of other schools, always evil intentions, gathered beneath his seat to ask him. Difficult questions. Pitying them, he said, students of the. Way all thoughts of good or evil should be completely cast away. What cannot be named by any name is called the self nature. This now dual nature is the real nature, and it is within the real nature that all teaching doors are established. At these words, you should see it for yourselves. Hearing this, they all made obeisance and asked him to be their master. Commentary: Not only did Shen Su, as party, want to murder the great master, but those of other sects, such as the consciousness only. School came to ask the master difficult questions. Which can first? They would ask the Buddha or the Dharma. Where does the Buddha Dharma begin? They had many questions. The sixth patriarch said, "If you can speak the Dharma, then." It as first the Buddha, then the Dharma. If you can listen to the Dharma, then it as first the Dharma and then the Buddha. The Buddha Dharma comes from the minds of living beings. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 370. On this occasion, he saw that the crowd was full of spies and would be assassins. Cultivators should not hold thoughts of good or evil, he said. What cannot be named by any name is called the self-nature. The self-nature is not dual; it is also. Called the real nature, the real mark. Within it, all schools and sets are set up. It is not enough just to talk about it. However, you must understand and immediately give proof to the state of no mark. Hearing these words. The assembly realized that all their thoughts had been bound up in good and evil, and they were greatly ashamed. They bowed down before him and said, "From now on, we will be different. Please, great master, be our teacher." 371. Ch. Turgil. Proclamations. 
Sutra. On the fifteenth day of the first month, during the first year of the Shenlong reign, AD 705, Empress T. Yin and Emperor Changsang issued the following proclamation. We have invited Masters Wei En and Shen Su to the palace to receive offerings so that we may investigate the one vehicle in the leisure time remaining after our myriad duties. The two masters have declined, saying that in the south there is Tainan Master Huenan, who was secretly transmitted the role and dharma of the great master Hong Zhen who now transmits the Buddha's might, seal. We now send Chamberlain CGM with this invitation, hoping that the master will remember us with compassion and come to the capital. The master sent back a petition pleading illness, saying that he wished to spend his remaining years at the foot of the mountain. Commentary The ninth chapter is entitled, Proclamations. Wu Zeti Yin was an empress during the T and dynasty. She believed in the Buddha, but she was T very orthodox. In fact, the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 372 She would do anything but she believed in Buddhism and so she invited all the high monks to the palace to receive offerings. Her son, Emperor Changsang, ran only a short time before the empress had him exiled to El Yuning to be king there, so that she could take the throne. A proclamation was a letter from the emperor. When ordinary people receive a proclamation, they bow to it as a gesture of respect to the emperor. But people who have left home don't do this, of course. Wishing to study the one Buddha vehicle, the sudden teaching Dharma door, the Empress invited Masters Wei En and Shen Su to come to the palace to receive offerings. But they refused. We do not have enough virtue, they said, you should invite Wenen. He has received the fifth patriarch as Lohan. Bowen is a true transmitter of the mind seal. The Empress took the two masters, advice and invited the sixth patriarch to the capital. Chapter N. The invitation was brought by a chamberlain, that is, by an official of the inner court. The chamberlain, CGN, was a eunuch. Eunuchs began serving Chinese emperors during the Han Dynasty. The sixth patriarch wrote back, I am very ill. Actually, he was T ill at all. This was merely an expedient device, because the sixth patriarch did not wish to visit a ruler. More specifically, he did not wish to visit an empress. It would have been against the 
Rose. Wu Zeti, he knew nothing about moral precepts and she did t follow any rules. But the sex patriarch could t say, You are an empress and I am a patriarch and I don't t have to visit you, so he said, I am old and sick. Sutra CGN said, the virtuous Tainan masters at the capital all say that to master the way one must study. Chapter 9 Proclamations 373 Tainan meditation and practice concentration for Without Tayana concentration, liberation is impossible. I do not know how the Master explains this dharma. The Master said, the way is awakened to from the mind. How could it be found in sitting? The diamond. Sutra states that to say that Pythagoras either sits or lies down is to walk a deviant path. Why? The clear pure Tayana of the Pythagoras comes from nowhere and goes nowhere and is neither produced nor extinguished. The Tathagata, as clear pure, sitting, is the state of all dharmas, being empty and still. Ultimately there is no certification. Even less is there any sitting. Commentary For an illiterate, the master was quite intelligent. He Insert, you awaken to the way from within your mind. You can t just sit there. You have to understand the principles of the Buddha Dharma and be enlightened to them. The enlightenment is understanding and the sitting is practice. Practicing without understanding is stupid. Understanding without practice is nothing but intellectuals. And you must understand and practice. Don't he just sit, sit, sit for several decades without even understanding the principle of Enlightening your mind. The master added, since ultimately there is nothing to be attend or certified to, why be attached to sitting in meditation? Sutra. Sichi and said, when your disciple returns to the capital, their majesties will surely question him. Will the High Master please be compassionate and instruct me on the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 374 The essentials of the mind so that I can transmit them to the two palaces and to students of the way and the capital. It will be like one lamp setting a hundred thousand lamps, burning, making all the darkness endlessly light. The master said, the way is without light or darkness. Light and darkness belong to the principle of alternation. Endless light has an end to because such terms are relative. Therefore the Vimalakirti Sutra says, 
The Dharma is incomparable because it is not relative. CGN said, Light represents wisdom and Darkness represents affliction. If cultivators of the way do not use wisdom to expose and destroy affliction, how can they escape from the birth and death that have no beginning? The Master said, Affliction is body, they are not two and not different. One who uses wisdom to expose and destroy affliction has the views and understanding of the two vehicles and the potential of the sheep and deer cards. Those of superior wisdom and great roots are completely different. CGN said, what are the views and understanding of the great vehicle. The master said, the common person sees light and darkness as two, but the wise person comprehends that their nature is non-dual. The non-dual nature is the real nature. The real nature does not decrease in common people nor increase in worthy sages. In afflictions it is not confused and in Pyana concentration it is not still. It is neither cut off nor permanent. It does not come or go. It is not inside, outside, or in the middle. It is not produced or destroyed. The nature and mark is thus, thus. It. Chapter 9. Proclamations. 375. Permanently wells and does not change. It is called the way. Commentary. CGN wished for instruction on the essentials of the principle of using the mind to seal the mind. He said that the patriarch was like a lamp, setting a hundred thousand lamps, burning in the capital bright, bright limitless light. The master said, you should tease see light and darkness as different or affliction and body as different. Affliction and the enlightenment nature are one. Shravakas and Pratyaka Buddhas destroy affliction by means of wisdom but Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are completely different from the ordinary. People see understanding and ignorance as to, but wise people know that in essence they are one, not two. That not dual nature is the real nature. In states of confusion, the real nature is not confused, in Hyana concentration, it is not still, it is both still, and moving, it both moves and is still. The nature and mark are both, thus, we call it the way. Sutra CGN said, how does your explanation of the self, nature as neither produced nor destroyed differ from that of other religions? The master answered, as non production and non extinction are explained by other religions, 
extinction. Ends production and production reveals extinction. They. Extinction is not extinction and what they call production is not production. My explanation of non-production and non-extinction is this, originally there was no production. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 376. And now there is no extinction. For this reason one explanation differs from that of other religions. If you wish to know the essentials of the mind, simply do not think of good or evil. You will then enter naturally. The clear, pure substance of the mind which is deep and permanently still, and whose wonderful abilities are as numerous as the sand grains in the Ganges River. Commentary Other religions see production and extinction as two. They Say that extinction puts an end to production and that production reveals extinction. Their explanation is not the ultimate one. As I explain the terms, originally there was no production, and so now there is no extinction. The master continued, if you would like to know about the wonderful mind, transmission dharma, the essential points of the mind, ground dharma door, I will tell you, simply do not think of good or evil. Then you will spontaneously understand the truth. Principle and enter into the pure substance of the mind. The mind substance is deep and constantly pure and still. Although it is always still, within its true emptiness there is wonderful existence, and its wonderful abilities are innumerable. Sutra. CGM received this instruction and was suddenly greatly enlightened. He bowed to Cliff and returned to the palace to report the master's speech. That year on the third of the ninth month a proclamation was issued in praise of the master. It read, The Master has declined our invitation because of old age and illness. He cultivates the way for us and is a Chapter 9 Proclamations 377 Field of Blessings for the Country The Master is like then Malakirti who pleaded illness in Vaishun. He spreads the great fruit widely, transmitting the Buddha, mind and discoursing on the non-dual Dharma. CGN has conveyed the Master as instruction, the knowledge and vision of the Tathagata. It must be due to accumulated good acts, abundant blessings, and good roots planted in former lives that we now have met with. The Master when he appears in the world and have suddenly been enlightened to the Supreme Vehicle. We 
are extremely grateful for his kindness which we receive. With bow hats, and now over in return a animal and a rope, and crystal bow as gifts. We order the magistrate of Shaozhou to rebuild the temple buildings and comfort. The master has former dwelling place into a temple to be called Kuo and country as kindness. Commentary CGN returned to the capital and submitted a written report to the Empress which set forth the principles the master had discussed with him. The palace then issued a statement in praise of the master, saying he was the highest master in the nation and one of unexcelled cultivation. They said that the sixth patriarch was like the lemon in Malakirti, who was seeking facially. The master propagates the great fruit, the Mahayana Buddha Dharma, and transmits the Buddha mind, the mind seal of all Buddhas. At Nanhua Temple, he expounds the non dual Dharma door, saying that production and extinction are one and the nature and mark are not to his knowledge and vision are that of the Buddha. We must have done a lot of good things in past lives in order to meet the Master now and suddenly awaken. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 378 to the wonderful principle of the Supreme Vehicle. We bow to his teaching every day and hold it respectfully above our heads. They offered the master an expensive robe made of Korean class which had been sent as tribute to the Empress. It was a patchwork robe with a Buddha image embroidered on each patch. Some say that the Empress embroidered them herself, but there is no way to know with certainty. 379 C-H-A-P-T-E-R-X Final Instructions Sutra one day the master summoned his disciples Fa Hai Chi Chapter N Fa Ti A Shen Wei Chi Chapter N Chi Ti Un Chi Chapter E Chi Ta Fa Chen and Fa Ju and said to them, You are not like other people. After my passage into extinction, you should each be a master in a different direction. I will now teach you how to explain the Dharma without deviating from the tradition of our school. First bring up the three classes of Dharma doors, and then use the thirty six pairs of opposites, so that whether coming or going, you remain in the Bodhi Mandala. While explaining all the dharmas, do not become separated from yourself, nature. Should someone suddenly ask you about a dharma, answer him with its opposite. If you always answer with the opposite, both will be eliminated and nothing will be left 
sensich. Depends on the other for existence. Commentary. One day the master called his room entering disciples. Took a nerve for a talk. They are called room entering disciples. Because they had received the transmission of the master as Dharma and were therefore permitted to enter his room. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. Set by Bashi. The first of the ten was Fahai. You remember him? He edited the sixth patriarch sutra and was a great disciple. He put his name at the head of the list here because no matter what, he had to be number one. Chi chapter and was the Dharma thief who later reformed it. Join the master. Fati A was the arrogant Hiksha who had read the Lotus Sutra over 3,000 times but could he bring himself to put his head on the ground before the master even once. Shen Wei was the 30 year old child who had talked back to the master. There was also Chi Chapter and Chi Ti Hun. And Chi Chapter E, also known as Flying Kan Chang, Chi Ta, Fa, Chen, and Fa Ju. These were the Master as ten great disciples. The Master said, You ten men should each be a Master. Teacher in a certain direction and receive offerings there from humans and gods. I will now teach you how to spread the Dharma without straying from the tradition of our Southern Enlightenment Dharma door teaching. In speaking the Dharma, the Master went on the most Important thing is to base your speech on the self, nature. How does one do this? Suppose someone asks you a question about the Buddha Dharma. Whatever his principle may be, it is bound to have an opposite. You should answer him with the opposite. Dharma. For example, coming and going are relative concepts. Without a coming there is no going, without a going there is no coming. Coming is the prerequisite of going and going can only result from coming. Since opposites depend upon each other for existence, ultimately they both will be cast out, cancelling each other out so that nothing is left behind. There will be no coming and no going, for there will be no place left to go. Chapter X Final Instructions 381 Sutra The three classes of Dharma doors are the heaps, the realms, and the entrances. The five heaps are form, feeling, perception, impulses, and consciousness. The Twelve entrances are the six sense objects outside, forms, sounds, smells, tastes, tangible objects, and objects of the mind, and the six sense organs within, eye, ear, nose, 
Tom, Bobby, and Mike. The 18 realms are the six sense objects, the six sense organs, and the six consciousnesses. The self, nature is able to contain all dharmas, it is the store in developing consciousness. If one gives rise to a thought, it turns into consciousness, and the six consciousnesses are produced which go out the six organs and perceive the six sense objects. Thus the 18 realms arise as a function of the self-nature. If the self-nature is wrong, it gives rise to 18 realms. If the self-nature is right, it gives rise to 18 rights. Evil functioning is that of a living being while good functioning is that of a Buddha. What is the functioning based on? It is based on opposing dharmas within the self-nature. Commentary The self-nature includes all dharma doors, and so it is called the store enveloping consciousness. This is the eight. Consciousness, which may be transformed into the wisdom of the great perfect mirror. If you give rise to thinking and considering, the store enveloping consciousness turns to the Seventh consciousness which in turn produces the six. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 382. Consciousnesses which go out the six organs and perceive the six sense objects. If you use the self nature correctly, it is the Buddha, use, but if you misuse it you are just a living being. How do the different usages arise? They come from the opposites within the self. Nature Sutra External insentient things have five pairs of opposites heaven and earth, sun and moon, light and darkness, yin and yang, and water and fire. In speaking of the marks of dharmas one should delineate well opposites, speech and dharmas, existence and non-existence, form and formlessness, the marked and the unmarked, the presence of outflows and the lack of outflows, form and emptiness, motion and stillness, clarity and turbidity, the common and the holy, membership in the Sangha and membership in the laity, old age and youth, enlargeness and smallness, from the self, nature, 19 pairs of opposites. Arise, length and shortness, deviance and orthodoxy, foolishness and wisdom, stupidity and intelligence, confusion and concentration, kindness and cruelty, morality and immorality, straightness and crookedness. Reality and unreality, danger and safety, affliction and body, permanence and impermanence, compassion and heart, joy and anger, generosity and stinginess, offense and retreat, 
production and extinction, the Dharma, body. And the form, body, the transformation, body and the reward, body. The Master said, if you can understand and use these 36 pairs of opposites you can connect. Chapter X Final Instructions 383 Yourself with the dharmas of all the sutras and avoid extremes, whether coming or going. When you act from yourself, nature in speaking with others, you are separate from external marks while in the midst of the man, separate from inward emptiness while in the midst of emptiness. If you are attached to marks, you will add to your wrong views and if you grasp at emptiness, you will increase your ignorance. Commentary Opposite means mutually dependent and mutually opposed. 19 opposites arise as a function of the truth. Such is self, nature. For example, if there was no long, there would be no short. Long is the opposite of short and short is the opposite of long. Long and short are relative terms and between them is the middle way. Kindness bestows happiness and is the opposite of cruelty. Morality and immorality are opposites. Morality is the practice of all good actions and the absence of all evil. Compassion pulls living beings out of suffering and is the opposite of harmfulness. Generosity means giving, if you can give, you are not stingy. The Dharma, body pervades all places and is the opposite of the form, body. Sutra Those who grasp at emptiness slander the sutras by maintaining that written words have no use. Since they maintain they have no need of written words, they should not speak either, because written words are merely the marks of spoken language. They also maintain that the direct way cannot be established by written words, and the sixth patriarch as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra. 384 Yet these two words, not established, are themselves written. When they hear others speaking, they slander them by saying that they are attached to written words. You should know that to be confused as they are may be permissible, but to slander the Buddha as sutras is not do not slander the sutras for if you do, your offense will create countless obstacles for you. One who attaches himself to external marks and practices dharmas in search of truth, or who builds many Bodhi mandalas and speaks of the error and evil of existence and non-existence will not see his nature for many years. Listen to the Dharma and cultivate accordingly. Do not think of the hundred things 
for that will obstruct the nature of the way. Listening without cultivating will cause others to form deviant views. Simply cultivate. According to the Dharma, and do not dwell in marks when bestowing it. Commentary. People who are attached to emptiness say that they don't need anything at all. They say that it isn't necessary to study the sutras. They say that they don't use written words. Everything is empty, they say, don't use words. Words are nothing but an attachment to marks. If that is so, then nobody should even speak, because written words are simply the visible manifestation of spoken language. They also say, the direct mind is the body mandala. Do not set up written words. But unless you quit speaking altogether, you still have language, and the phrase, do not set up, is itself made up of words. Chapter X Final Instructions 385 Your own confusion is your own business, the Master. X But do not slander the Buddha as sutras. You should not refrain from thinking, for if you do, you fall into a useless, the kind of emptiness. You should cultivate in the way I have instructed you. Do not become attached to appearances. Sutra. If you understand, then speak accordingly, function accordingly, practice accordingly, and act accordingly. And you will not stray from the basis of our school. If someone asks you about a meaning, and the question is about existence, answer with non-existence, if you are asked about non-existence, answer with existence, asked about the common life, answer with the holy life, asked about the holy life, answer with the common life. Since in each case the two principles are Interdependent, the meaning of the middle way will arise between the If you answer every question with an opposite, you will not stray from the basic principle. Suppose someone asks, what is darkness? You should answer Brightness is the cause and darkness the condition. When there is no brightness, there is darkness. Brightness reveals darkness and darkness reveals brightness. Since opposites are interdependent, the principle of the middle way is established. Answer every question that way, and in the future. When you transmit the Dharma, transmit it in the way I am instructing you. Then you will not stray from the tradition of our school. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 386 Commentary. If you answer every question with an opposite dharma, you 
will not deviate from the basic principle of the Sun. Enlightenment Doctrine Sutra In the seventh month of the year Jensu, the first year of the T, A I Q N Yen Horans, C A 712 AD, the Master sent his disciples to HSI Angel to build a pagoda at Kuo N Temple. He ordered them to hurry the work, and it was completed by the end of the summer of the following year. Commentary During the cyclical year Jensu, the rain was renamed twice. In the fifth month it was changed from T, A, I, Ch, to Yen, Ho. In the seventh month the emperor abdicated in favor of his son and in the eighth month the reign was renamed Shi and T, Yin. H, S, I, N, Zhou was the master as homeland. His disciples built a pagoda there so that the master as body might rest in it after his death. Sutra On the first day of the seventh month he gathered his disciples together and said, In the eighth month I wish to leave this world. Those of you with doubts should ask about them soon so that I may resolve them for you and put an end to your confusion, because when I am gone, there will be no one to teach you. Hearing this, Fahai and the others wept. Only She Hui was unmoved and did not cry. The Master said, Chapter X Final Instructions 387 Little Master Shen Wei has attained to the equality of good and evil. He is not moved by blame or praise and does not feel sadness or joy. None of the rest of you have Attend that. All these years on the mountain how have you been cultivating? Now you cry. Who are you worrying about? Are you worrying that I don't he know where I am going? I know where I am going. If I did he know I will he have been able to tell you about it in advance. No doubt you are crying because you don't he know where I am going, but if you knew you would he need to cry. Originally the Dharma nature is not produced or extinguished, it does not come or go. Commentary The great master rang the bell and beat the drum. The sound ran out, summoning all of his disciples to his side. Pay attention, he said. In the eighth month of this year I am going to leave this world. Then here he is again. Fatai number one. He did, he even. List the names of the other disciples, he just said, Fatai and the others. They all wept. Their eyes ran with hairs and their noses ran with snot just like children who have lost their mother and have no milk to drink. Wala, wala, 
they cried like babies. Some of them cried in secret, some cried openly, and some faked. Pears, fearing it would be bad manners not to cry along with everyone else. There was both truth and falsehood in the situation, it was exactly like a play. But the youngest of the babies did not cry. Was it because he was too young to understand or care that he was about to lose his mother, or in this case, his teacher? Was it that? The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 388 No Shen Wei was young in years, but old in wisdom. He understood the principle of not moving in any state. Mencius was 40 years old before he reached that level. With an unmoving mind, they praise, you are not pleased. They scold, you are not annoyed. They say you work hard, you are not moved. They say you are lazy, no matter what. You are not moved. However, when you are really being lazy and someone scolds you, you can, t say, I have some money. He does, t bother. Me and all. You must have a true unmoving mind, like that of little Shen Wei. The sixth patriarch called Shen Wei, little master. In the first ten years after taking precepts, one is called a little master or junior seated. From ten to twenty years, one is middle seated, and from twenty to thirty years, one is senior seated. Little Master Shen Wei is better than all of you, the Master said, because he does, he have a discriminating mind. He has truly turned his consciousness into wisdom. Shen Wei was not moved by praise or blame. That Dharma Master does not cultivate. All he does is run after women. Criticism like that thing, t bother him. He really works hard. Not only does he not sleep, he does t even lie down. And he only eats once a day. Such austerity. Praise like that thing, t effect. Him neither. If you don't, t react, then people can slander you but it, as as if. Nothing happened. You, reacted, they may say. Fine, you. Answer, I, am naked. No problem. If you don't, he react, then they can praise you and it does, t better either. You have both virtue and learning, they may say, but you pay no attention. Chapter X Final Instructions 389 If you are pleased when someone praises your learning, then you really have no learning at all. If you get angry when someone scolds you, you have been influenced by an outside state. 
to be unmoved by any state is to neither grasp nor reject, neither love nor hate. You can tell little Master Shen Wei that he is good, but he will not be happy, you can tell him he is bad, but he will not get angry. He has no thoughts of misery or delight. There truly is complete understanding of the middle way. Rare indeed. You old ones, the master said, you middle-aged ones. None of you passes. None of you has outweighted the fire. When anger sets you ablaze, you should think, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute and then get angry. Then you wait, and your anger disappears. That is called out waiting the fire. If you don't wait, the fire burns, but if you can wait, it will die out. When steel is red hot, you can shape it into a vessel. But, unless you wait for the fire to burn it red hot, you can mold the metal, you have tea out, waited the fire. You have been on the mountain for so many years, said the master. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? You hear that I am going to complete the stillness and you cry like babies, you real worthless. How have you been cultivating? What? Eating and sleeping? Are you upset because you think I don't eat? Know where I am going. I will tell you something. I do know. Of course I know. There is no reason for you to worry about me. I can take care of myself. No big, no small. No within or without. You cultivate. You understand. You make the arrangements yourself. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 三百九十 Sutra. All of you sit down, and I will recite a verse called the True False Motion Stillness Verse. If you take it up. And recite it, you will be of the same mind as I am. If you rely on it to cultivate, you will not stray from the true principle of our school. The assembly now and that the master to recite the verse. There is nothing true in anything. So don't he view anything as true. If you view anything as true, your view will be completely false. You can know what is true by yourself. Being apart from the false is the truth of the mind. When your own mind is not apart from the false, and lacks the truth, then where is the truth? Commentary. Now don't he be nervous, the master said. Sit down and don't he jump around. Don't he cry right in front of me like that. Really, you are undisciplined disciples. Listen to my verse. It 
discusses the true and the false and the principles of motion and stillness. If you can understand it and bear it in mind, you want to deviate from the sudden teaching. Turn the light around, said the master. Shine it inside it. Your own self, nature, and you can know the truth. To find your true mind is simply to separate yourself from all the false forms and images of this world. If there is no truth within your own mind, where will you find the truth? The truth is not apart from the self, nature, apart from the self, nature there is no truth. Chapter X Final Instructions 391 Sutra Sentient beings understand motion. Insentient beings do not move. If you cultivate the work of non-movement, like in sentient beings, you will not move. If you seek the true non-movement, in movement, there is non-movement. Non-movement is non-movement, but things without sentience like the Buddha see fully able to discriminate among marks, but unmoving in the primary meaning. The very act of feeling in this way itself is the function of true suchness. Commentary Do not seek now movement apart from movement, for it is just within movement that stillness can be found. O sentient beings move, but if you can be still while remaining sentient, that is true now movement. If, as a sentient being, you are able to clearly distinguish the marks of all dharmas, not with your consciousness but with wisdom, you can give proof to the attainment of the substantive principle of your self, nature and achieve the ultimate state. That is true, proper non-movement. Sutra I tell you, students of the way, Apply your minds with effort and take care. At the gate of the great vehicle, do not grasp the wisdom of birth and death. The sixth patriarch has Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 392. If there is response at these words, then let us discuss the Buddha as meaning. Together. If there is no response, join your hands together and make others glad. The basis of this school is not contention. Contention is not the meaning of the way. For in grasping at the Dharma doors of Contradiction and contention. The self, nature enters birth and death. Commentary. You are face to face with the great vehicle Buddha Dharma. Do not continue to grasp at your understanding which finds you up in birth and death at the kind of wisdom that is still attached. To Marx. If you can t understand what I am trying to tell you, then put your hands together to please living beings. 
my school of Southern Enlightenment is based on the cultivation of the patience of unproduced dermis. There should be no debating. When you argue with others, you lose the meaning of the way. Debating the thoughts of victory and defeat. Stand in contradiction to the way. Giving rise to the four, mark mind. How can somebody be a tent? If you insist on arguing yourself, nature one, to escape the revolving wheel. Giving rise to the marks of a self, others, living beings, and a life, you will certainly continue to undergo birth and death. Chapter X Final Instructions 393 Sutra When the followers heard this verse, they understood its meaning and bow down before the Master. They made up their minds to practice in accord with the Dharma and not to argue, knowing that the Great Master would not remain long in the world. The senior seated Fadhai bowed again and asked, After the High Master enters extinction, who will inherit the road and dharma? Commentary Fahai never forgets himself. No doubt he wanted the road and bow for himself. Sutra The Master said, Since the time I lectured on the dharma in the TFN temple, Transcriptions of my lectures have been circulated. They are to be called the Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. Protect and transmit them in order to take humankind across. If you speak according to them, you will be speaking the Orthodox. Dharma. I will explain the Dharma to you, but I will not transmit the rope because your roots of faith are pure and ripe. You certainly have no doubts and are worthy of the great work. According to the meaning of the Transmission verse of the first patriarch Bodhidharma. The rope should not be transmitted. His first said, Originally I came to this land. Transmitting Dharma, saving living beings. The sixth patriarch has Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 394. One flower opens, five petals and the fruit comes to bear of itself. Commentary. The students did t have tape recorders as we do, so they wrote down their notes with brush and ink and compared them among themselves. You should take good care of these lectures, the master said. They are Dharma jewels. Print and distribute them and so take living beings across. I know that you all believe in me and so I don't need to transmit the role. Besides, the great master Bodhidharma said that beginning with the sixth patriarch the rope should not be transmitted. He said, I originally came to 
China in order to transmit the right Dharma and take across all these confused living beings. From me, this one flower, in the future five petals will open the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth patriarchs. And the fruit will come to bear of itself, that is, there will be no need to transmit the road. Transmitting the Dharma will suffice. This is why the fifth patriarch told the sixth patriarch, as the road is a source of contention, do not transmit it. Should you continue to transmit it, your life will hang by a thread. The fruit comes to bear of itself. You should know that the fruit which ripens in this line is just all of you who have taken refuge with me. The first character of your Dharma names is Cool, and it means fruit or result. So don't forget to ripen. All of you should ripen right away. Most importantly, don't be lazy. Bodhidharma gave you all predictions long ago. The sixth patriarch himself said. The body fruit accomplishes itself. They both knew that, in the future, there would be a lot. You disciples in America with the first name, Kuo, fruit. The chapter X final instructions. 395. Fruit they spoke of is just all of you. That fruit is you, you are that. Fruit. The two are one. Sutra. The master added, all of you good knowing. Advisors should purify your minds and listen to my explanation of the Dharma. If you wish to realize all knowledge, you must understand the Samadhi of one mark and the Samadhi of one conduct. If you do not dwell in marks anywhere and do not give rise to hate or love, do not grasp or reject, and do not Calculate advantage or disadvantage, production and destruction while in the midst of marks, but instead, remain tranquil, calm and yielding, then you will have achieved the samadhi of one mark. In all places, whether walking, standing, sitting or Lying down, to maintain a straight and uniform mind, to attain the unmoving body and the true realization of the pure land. That is called the Samadhi of one conduct. Commentary Wash your minds clean, said the master, and get rid of Greed, hate, and delusion. If you wish to realize all knowledge, you need to understand the Samadhi of one mark, which consists in not dwelling in marks, and the Samadhi of one conduct, which consists in not dwelling in conduct. The Samadhi of one mark whether you are in a good place or a bad place, whether moving or still, do not dwell in marks. While in the midst of marks, 
do not give rise to dislike or to fondness. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra, 三百九十六 Neither love nor hate should move the mind. The mind should not grasp or reject. If you have a thought of love, you will grasp at the object of your desire. The twelve condition causes say love conditions. Grasping, grasping conditions existence. To reject means to cast away. If you hate something, then you reject it. Love and hate cause grasping and rejecting. Do not calculate advantage and disadvantage. If you think what as in it, for me you are just being greedy, self-seeking, and impure. Do you understand? You should not have such thoughts. You should remain tranquil, with nothing at all to do, and calm like water without waves. No waves means no afflictions, no love, no hate, no grasping, no rejecting, no advantage, no disadvantage, no success, and no failure. You. Should be yielding like empty space. Take a look. Everything comes from empty space, and yet empty space does nothing at all. It does not set itself up as boss and say, "Go be born, go die." Everything is born and dies within it, undergoing. Transformations in a most natural way without the slightest difficulty. Yield and be flexible. If you are flexible, then whatever happens just happens. That as the way it is. There is no greed, hatred, or delusion. There is nothing at all. With few wants, one is content, being without longing or self-seeking. It is no use to think. Wait until my book gets published. I will be a famous scholar. You may want to do something strange to make the world. Take notice of you, but you should not have such ideas. You should decrease your desires, no matter what they are, and always be content. Chapter X Final Instructions. 三百九十七 Knowing enough, you re always happy. Able to be patient, you read a piece. If you can be tranquil, calm, and yielding, and leave marks. While in the midst of them, if you can transcend the dust while in the dust, just that is the samadhi of one mark. The samadhi of one conduct, no matter where you are in a good place, a bad place, a wholesome place, an unwholesome place, a right place, a wrong place. Walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, maintain a direct mind. The direct mind is the body mandala. Students of the Buddha Dharma should not be devious. Be direct in your thoughts, words, and deeds. 
speak your mind dumb t think peace and speak quest the straight mind is the body mandala if the cause is not straight the result will be crooked your mind should be uniform and of one purity you who cultivate the way toward others, toward yourself, toward everything, be straightforward. Don't T try to trade people out of their money, no matter how poor you are. If you borrow a little money and return it right away, you have not lost the virtue of it. Gentlemen, but if you borrow and don't to return it, your position is very low. Be an unmoving body mandala with a straightforward mind. For that is the realization of the pure land and is called the Samadhi of One Conduct Sutra. One who perfects the two samadhis is like earth in which seeds are planted, buried in the ground, they are nourished and grow, ripening and bearing fruit. The one mark and one conduct are just like that. I now speak the dharma which is like the falling of the timely rain moistening the gravers. You're the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 398. Buddha, nature is like the seeds which, receiving moisture, will sprout and grow. Those who receive more Teaching will surely obtain body and those who practice. My conduct will certainly certify to the wonderful fruit. Listen to my verse. The mind, ground contains every seed. Under the universal rain they all sprout. Flower and feeling sudden enlightenment. The body, fruit accomplishes itself. After speaking the verse the master said, Dharma is not dual nor is the mind, and the way is pure and without. Marks. All of you take care not to contemplate stillness or empty the mind. The mind is basically pure and does not grasp or reject anything. Each of you work hard and go well in harmony with circumstances. At that time, his followers may obey sense and withdrew. Commentary The timely rain falls just when it is needed. If it falls too soon, it may drown the crops, and if it comes too late, they may wither and die. The sixth patriarch, as Dharma is like the timely rain, which moistens all of the gravers, your own inherent Buddha, nature is like seeds which receive the moisture and flourish ripening into body, fruits. The body, sprouts become body, fruits. The master went on, you who understand my doctrine are certain to obtain body. If you cultivate according to this method, you will surely obtain the wonderful body, fruit. Now, that I have spoken so much Dharma for you, you are probably all 
Chapter X Final Instructions. 三百九十九 Flustered, so pay attention while I speak this verse. Purify your mind. Yourself, nature contains every seed, and the timely rain they all sprout. When sentient beings suddenly enlighten, the flower opens, the fruit is ripened. In the body, fruit accomplishes itself. The wonderful fruit of body ripens of itself. Body Dharma said the fruit comes to bear of itself and the sex patriarch said the body fruit accomplishes itself. They were speaking of all of you who have the Dharma name, Kuo, fruit. You should ripen throughout the world. All places should reap this fruit. What fruit? The body fruit. The sex patriarch was afraid that you might not have understood, and so he spoke it very clearly. The body fruit accomplishes itself. You should all. Ripen on your own. I cannot help you. If you don't, he ripen you are just cheating yourselves. So ripen. I s n t this strange. Your dharma names all begin with the word fruit, and our school as transmission first says also. Contemplating, cultivating the ever blissful fruit, personally transmitting the unconditioned teaching. In the future, all of you will personally transmit the unconditioned teaching. The master went on my sudden enlightenment dharma. Door is not two; it is one. What is the one? It is just the sudden teaching. The mind is not two either; therefore, it should return to the one. The way we cultivate is pure and without marks. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 四百 Although it is without marks, don't he make the mistake of contemplating stillness because that is just another attachment. Do not loiter in the emptiness either, because the mind of living beings is naturally and fundamentally pure. The original. Substance of the mind is pure and immaculate, without grasping or rejecting. Work hard, all of you. Go forward and don't be lazy. Go where circumstances take you and build body mandalas. Be good. Cultivate good conduct and work hard. Sutra. On the eighth day of the seventh month, the master suddenly said to his disciples, "I wish to return to H S I N." Zhou. Quickly, ready, able, and horse. The great assembly entreated him earnestly to stay. But the master said, "O、oh, Buddha's appear in the world, and then are seen to enter Nirvana. This body of mine must return somewhere." The assembly said, "Master, you are living, but 
sooner or later you will return. The master said, falling leaves return to the root. There was no day on which I can. They further asked, who has received the transmission of the right dharma, I treasury. The master said, the one who has the way of tents. It, the one without a mind penetrates it. Commentary Patriarch, said the assembly, you are living now, but we can't he believe that you will enter Nirvana. Sooner or later you will come back, what to you. Chapter X Final Instructions 401 The Master said, just as leaves fall and return to the root of the trees, I must go. Besides, there was no day on which I can. The Chinese text reads, when I can I have no mouth, but this is a misprint for the word day. However, you can also explain it as when I can I have no mouth. On the day when the patriarch came into this world, he had no mouth, that is, he had no words. He did not speak Dharma when he came and he did not speak Dharma when he left, coming and going he did not speak Dharma. The Dharma does not increase or decrease it. Although he spoke Dharma for so many years, he never spoke Dharma at all. There are no fixed dharmas. You can explain it any way you wish, as long as you are in accord with principle. But if you don't explain it correctly, you can explain your listeners right into the house, and that is taking the unfixed dharma too far. The patriarch, as disciples, unable to bear the thought of their master, as imminent departure, try to delay him with questions. Until the master, in exasperation, probably decided that they were just too much trouble. I am getting out of here, he Probably thought. The right dharma, I treasury, refers to the role in both. So many disciples, and yet not one of them knew who had received the dharma transmission. If they had TV greedy for it themselves, they would t have asked this question. Why else would they be standing by the river and gazing out into the sea? If you weren't longing for the sea, why would you be standing there? Everyone thought the road and goal was extremely important, but the sixth patriarch was not a business man. If he had been at 65美元 a transmission, he could have made a lot of money. Who got the transmission? The one who has the way obtains it, the one without a mind penetrates it. Whoever has no the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 402 Self-seeking mind understands my Dharma because he has 
obtain the sum of is of the one mark and the one conduct. The sixth patriarch, as Dharma is to be found in these verses. And these principles, and if you cultivate according to them you will obtain his Dharma. Sutra. They further asked, in the future, there what to be any difficulties, will there? The master said, five or six years after my extinction, a man will come to take my head. Listen to my first offerings to the parents without head. There must be food in the mouth. When the difficulty of man is met, the officials will be young and you. Commentary Remembering the demonic difficulties which had beset the Master during his lifetime assassination attempts, arson, thievery, and spying the Master, as disciples wondered what would happen when he was gone. I know that the Sutra does not record all of the hardships the Master underwent. There were at least six attempts made to steal. The road and bow and the thieves were armed and prepared to kill the master if necessary. So his disciples asked hopefully, there won't to be any difficulties like that in the future, will there? No one will want to kill us, will they? Will they try to kill us instead of you? Chapter X Final Instructions 403 While he was alive, they tried to take his life. After his death, they tried to steal his head. In those days it was too easy to be patriarch. It is not so difficult to be, however, so dumb to retreat. The sixth patriarch as first was a prophecy. No one understood it at the time, but later it came true. Five or six years after the master as death, a Korean monk named Ching Tiape hired Chen Ching Man of Hangzhou to steal the patriarch as had and bring it back to Korea so that he could make offerings to it. Chen Ching Man was poor and hungry and so he took the money because there must be food in the mouth. The Korean monk was no doubt very rich. At the time of the difficulty of Chen Ching Man, the magistrate was named Liu Ti Yin and the governor was named Yan K N. The flesh body of the patriarch was housed in the pagoda. Having heard the master as prediction, his disciples had bound his neck with sheets of iron for protection. Chen Ching Man chopped at it with his knife, but he was he able to remove the Master, as head, he made a lot of noise, and when the pictures came running to catch him, they saw a man wearing white morning clothes run from the pagoda. The pictures reported the incident to the police, and within five days, the thief was 
or as thin and broad to then what and fall to be tried. Why did you try to steal the sixth patriarch as head? They asked. A Korean monk paid me to do it, he said, and I was hungry, so I took his money. The magistrate turned to the master as disciple Ling T. A. O. N. said, What do we do now? The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 404. Ling T. A. O. said, According to the law, he deserves to die, but in the Buddha, as teaching there are no friends or enemies. Besides, the master predicted this would happen. Let him go. The Buddha, as gate is indeed white, said the magistrate, and he said the criminal free. Sutra. The master also said, Seventy years after my departure, two bodhisattvas, one who has left home and one who is a layman will simultaneously come from the east to propagate and transform. They will establish my school, build and restore monasteries, and glorify the Dharma for its heirs. Commentary The Bodhisattva who had left home was Patriarch Matsu. Tao I he built many monasteries in China. It is said, Matsu built the temples and Pai Chang wrote the rules. Pai Chang was Matsu as Dharma successor. The Bodhisattva who had not left home was P. N. U. The Enlightened Lemon. His entire family was enlightened, wife, daughter, and son, and they all went to Nirvana. Lemon P. N. had been incredibly wealthy. But he built a big boat one day, put all of his money in it, sailed out to sea, and dumped it overboard. Some say that the two bodhisattvas are Thailand Master. Huang Pio and Lemon P. E. I. Su. You may explain it anyway. You like. As long as you pick two people, and one can a lemon. Lemon P. And gave all his money as a gift to use for remodeling the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. He returned to his home and took up a lowly occupation, and in the chapter X final instructions, 405. Midst of their bitter poverty, the P and family cultivated the way. One day, Mr. P and said, It as hard, it as hard. It as really just as hard as putting seeds on all the leaves of trees in the yard. What do you know, old man, said Mrs. P. N. It is not hard at all. In fact, it is easy, it is easy. It is easy, because I find on the tip of every blade of grass, the patriarch has mine. She thought it was easy and he thought it was hard. Then their little daughter can and disagree with both of them. It is not easy. It is not hard. 
I eat when I am hungry and I sleep when I am tired. There is nothing to it, she said. Although Mr. P and was married, he and his wife were like good friends and did not carry on like ordinary men and women. As a consequence, they became enlightened. Lay people should all imitate their inconceivable purity. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 406. Sutra. The assembly may obey sense again and asked, Will you please let us know for how many generations the Teaching has been transmitted since the first Buddhas, and patriarchs appeared in the world. The Master said, the Buddhas of antiquity who have responded to appear in the world are numberless and uncountable. Commentary their number is incalculable, said the master. Besides, I never learned to read or write and I am not very good at arithmetic. So that has not come the sutra. But now I will begin with the last seven Buddhas. In the past, Adored the end, there were the Ashayin Buddha, Shikin Buddha, and Vishvabhu Buddha. In the present, were the end, there have been Krakachana Buddha, Kanakamuni Buddha, Kashyapa Buddha, and Shakyamuni Buddha. Commentary in the Adorian, a land a thousand Buddhas appeared in the world. The 998th Buddha of that couple was Vipashayin Buddha. His name means victorious. Contemplation, every kind of contemplation, victorious. Few or every kind of few. If you just remember, Vipassa in Buddha, that will do for general purposes. Shikin Buddha. Shikin is translated as fire. Vishvapu Buddha was the last Buddha of the Adorian. Chapter X Final Instructions. 407. We are now living in the worthy Ian, Vajrakopa, so cold because many worthy sages will appear during it. Of the thousand Buddhas of this Ian, Krakhachanda Buddha was the first. His name means worthy of offerings because he should receive the offerings of humans and gods. His name also means adornment. The second Buddha was Kanakamuni, the third, Kashyapa, and the fourth, Shakyamuni. These are the most recent Buddhas. Sutra From Shakyamuni Buddha the transmission went to Arya Mahakushyapa, Arya Omanda, Arya Sanakudesa, Arya Upagata, Arya Drataka, Arya Mikhaikha, Arya Vashubhutra, Arya Buddhamandi, Arya Buddhamitra, Arya Parshva. Commentary Shakyamuni Buddha, in the midst of the millions of humans, 
and gods who were circumambulating him, picked up a flower. And Mahakushyaka, the first patriarch, had to smile. No one knew what was happening when Shaikyo Muni Buddha said, I have the right Dharma, I treasure the wonderful mind of Nirvana, the real mark, which is unmarked. This is the mind to mind transmission transmitted outside the teaching. I have already given it to Mahakushyaka in mind to mind. Transmission. The third patriarch, the venerable Sana Kuvesa, was born. Wearing clothes, and as he grew, his clothes grew along with him. After he left home under area Amanda, his clothes changed into a great sandy robe. Just before he died, he said this. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 408. Robe will not decay until shaped from Muni Buddha as Dharma is completely extinguished. The tenth patriarch, Arya Parshha, lived in his mother, S. Womb for more than 60 years. He was born with white hair and a white beard, just like Lao Tzu in China. Lao Tzu lived in his mother, S. Womb for 81 years and was born with white hair and a long white beard. They named him Lao Tzu, which means old child, but he was actually a reincarnation of Mahakushyaka. He was reborn in China because Shaikyo Muni Buddha had noticed that the Chinese had good karmic roots. Most of them did not believe in the Buddha. However, so Mahakushyaka was sent to China to found the religion of Taoism, which is the same as the Brahman religion of India and which cultivates purity of conduct. Arya Parshva, the tenth patriarch, was born with a liking for cultivation. When he met the ninth patriarch, Buddha Maitra, he left home and the Dharma door of the Buddha as might seal was transmitted to him. Sutra Area Pudya Rashas Mohasat Fadash Fadosha Area Khapi Mela Mohasat Pranegarjuna Area Kaunadeva Area Rahulata Area Sanganandi Area Gaishaka Commentary When the eleventh patriarch Pudyablashas met Parshva he asked him how can I realize Buddhahood? Parshva said you wish to realize Buddhahood? It is just your present now realization. Chapter X Final Instructions 409 Pudya Rasha said, you say that my present now realization is the Buddha, but how can I know that? Parshva replied, how can you know that your present now realization is not the Buddha? With that question and that answer, Pudya Rasha speaking enlightened and received the Dharma transmission.
Later on, he met the great master Ashvabosha, the 11th patriarch. Mahasattva Ashvabosha was extremely intelligent. Pudyabosha knew that Ashvabosha, as conditions were right, he was ready to become the 12th patriarch. When Pudyabosha went to teach him, Ashvabosha asked, How can I know the Buddha? Pudyabosha said, You wish to know the Buddha? He is just you're not knowing. Ashvabosha said, not knowing the Buddha, how can I know that my not knowing is the Buddha? Pudyabosha said, if you do not know the Buddha, how can you know that your not knowing is not the Buddha? Ashvabosha said, ah. So this is the meaning of sowing. You say this and I say that, and we have had the principle like sowing through a piece of wood. Pudyabhasha replied, ah, so that is the meaning of wood. But what is the meaning of sowing? Ashvabhasha said, it is just what you are. And what is the Meaning of wood. Pudyabhasha said, You have just been so open by me. You have just been liberated by me. Ashvabhasha was instantaneously enlightened. He left home, received the transmission, and became the twelfth patriarch. He was called Ashvabosha, horse cry, because when he spoke the Dharma all the horses cried out. He was a Mahasattva, that is, a great being, a great Bodhisattva. The Sixth Patriarch, as Dharma Juro Platform Sutra. 410. Nagarjuna Bodhisattva, the 14th Patriarch, is the one who went to the Dragon Palace and brought back the Apatensaka Sutra. He was very, very wise. Sankanandi, the 17th Patriarch, as Gaishata, the 18th Patriarch, how old are you? The child replied, I am 100 years old. But you, Ri so young, said the patriarch, how can you be a hundred years old? If I were a hundred years old and did not understand the Buddha Dharma, I would not be as good as a one day old baby. Who did? Hearing such an intelligent answer, the 17th Patriarch let the child live the whole life under him and later transmitted the Dharma to him. Sutra Arya Kumarata, Arya Jayata, Arya Vesa Benhu Arya Manar Ita, Arya Hakona, Arya Arya Simha, Arya Bajasita, Arya Pudyonitra, Arya Pujnantara, Arya Bodhidharma, Great Master Hueke, O Great Master Sen T.S. N, Great Master Tao H.S.I.N, Great Master Ha Jen and I went in, and the thirty third patriarch. Thus, the transmission has been handed down from patriarch to patriarch. In the future, transmitted.
accordingly from generation to generation. Do not allow it to become extinct. The assembly heard and faithfully accepted what the master had said, but, and withdrew. Chapter X Final Instructions 411 Commentary Ariasenha, the 24th Patriarch, was a native of Central India. In his practice of the Buddha Dharma, he traveled to Kashmir. The king of Kashmir did not believe in the Buddha, but instead followed two non-Buddhist leaders who were intent on destroying Buddhism. As pictures were not allowed within the country, the king demanded of Ariasimha, have you ended birth and death? Ariasimha wanted to convert the king. I have ended it, he answered. The Buddha, as teaching says that practicing the Bodhisattva way, you must give up your head, your eyes, your brains, and your blood. You must give up whatever someone happens to need. Now, I need your head. Give it to me. Since you have ended birth and death, you must give me your head. Can you do it? I don't he even have birth or death said Aries in Ha. What? Does it matter if I lose my head? It is yours. Take it. The king slice off Aries in Ha as had but instead of blood. And milky white fluid ran out of his neck. The king as arm fell to the ground. No one cut it off, it fell off by itself because he had murdered an archet. The king then put the two leaders of the non-Buddhist religion to death, but there was nothing special about their executions. They bled just like everyone else. The King prohibited their non-Buddhist religion and spread the Buddha Dharma widely. Sutra On the third day of the eighth month of the year K.I. Chapter O.U. The second year of the Shi N.T. in Ren. A.A. 713 After a meal in Kuo and Temple, the Master the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 412 Said, each of you take your seat, for I am going to say goodbye. Fahai said, what teaching Dharma will the high master leave behind so that confused people can be led to See the Buddha, nature. The master said, all of you please listen carefully. If those of future generations recognize living beings, they will have perceived the Buddha, nature. If they do not recognize living beings, they may seek the Buddha throughout many years, but he will be difficult to meet. I will now teach you how to recognize the living beings within your mind and how to see the Buddha nature there. If you wish to see the Buddha, simply 
recognize living beings, for it is living beings who are confused about the Buddha and not the Buddha who is confused about living beings. When enlightened to the self, nature, the living being, is a Buddha. If confused about the self, nature, the Buddha is a living being. When the self, nature is impartial, the living being is the Buddha. When the self, nature is biased, the Buddha is a living being. If your thoughts are devious and malicious, the Buddha dwells within the living being, but by means of one impartial thought, the living being becomes a Buddha. Our minds have their own Buddha in that. Buddha is the true Buddha. If the mind does not have its own Buddha, where can the true Buddha be sought? Your own minds are the Buddha, have no further doubts. Nothing can be established outside the mind, for the original mind produces the ten thousand dharmas. Therefore the sutras say, the mind produced all. Chapter X Final Instructions 413 Dharmas are produced, the mind extinguished, oh. Dharmas are extinguished. Commentary The great master instructed his disciples to take their seats. In Buddhism, everything has a fixed order. Those who take Precepts first stand or sit in front of those who take them later. If you have held precepts for even one day longer, you sit in front. Once again, Fahai, number one, heard that the sixth patriarch was going, and so he acted as spokesman. He was the oldest, so naturally he was higher than everyone else. What? Dharma will you leave with us, High Master, so that we can teach the deluded ones of future generations to understand the mind and see the nature? The Master said, if you want to find the Buddha, you must look among living beings. If you recognize living beings, you recognize the Buddha nature. Why does never slighting Bodhisattva bow before everyone he meets? Because he knows that everyone is a Buddha, he will accomplish Buddhahood himself. If he saw everyone as a demon, he would become a demon. See the Buddha within your own mind, don't deceive him. Outside. If you wish to see the Buddha, you must first respect living beings and recognize them all as the Buddha, then you feel understood the mind and see your nature. Confused living Beings do not recognize the Buddha, but the Buddha recognizes living beings. If you are biased and continually pick at other people as faults, even if you are a Buddha, you turn into a living being. Living beings and the Buddha are a fold apart. Buddha is mind, mind is Buddha. 
Right floats are the Buddha, deviant floats are the demon. Pure floats are the The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 414. Buddha, defiled floats are the demon. Take a look at your thoughts. If you can keep your mind clean, that is the real Buddha. Without a clear, pure, genuine Buddha mind, where can you go to find the Buddha? You will never find him. The Buddha is making your mind. Do not seek him outside. Nothing is separate from the self nature. Nothing is separate from your own mind. The ten thousand dharmas are all produced from your mind, not from outside. The Buddha spoke of dharmas for the minds of living beings. If there were no minds, what use would there must be? Sutra. Now, to say goodbye, I will leave you a verse called The Self Nature as True Buddha Verse. People of the future who understand its meaning will see their original mind and realize the Buddha way. The first round. The true suchness self nature is the true Buddha. Deviant views the three poisons are the demon key. Commentary. The most important part of the platform sutra is this last verse. It explains everything extremely well. The sixth patriarch left it not just for the people of his day, but for us now to cultivate according to its principles. He saw that you and I would be here listening. We all have a share and we should cultivate. Chapter X Final Instructions 415 According to this verse because we are all people of future generations, not animals. The animals of future generations will have to be reborn as people before they can have a share. The Six Patriarch spoke this verse for people, not animals. Animals who wish to become Buddhas must first be reborn as human beings. We should not lose this opportunity. The true suchness self nature is the true Buddha. The self. Nature is your mind. Your true suchness self nature is also called the real mark, the Tathagata store, the Buddha nature and your own nature. True suchness is just your own nature which is the true Buddha. Deviant views the three poisons are the demon king. If you know the true Buddha, you should also know the demon king. The demon king is just your deviant views, greed, hate, and delusion, the three poisons. Greed for riches, greed for sex, greed for anything at all is nothing but poison. If after you leave home, you are still greedy and self.
seeking, that too is poison. If you scheme to get more disciples, that is poison. So, you see, we have been here for a long time and not many have taken refuge and become disciples. Those who take refuge must do it on their own. No one advises them. If I told you to take refuge with me, you might wonder if I had the right to be your teacher and good knowing advisor. I don't know myself whether I am a good knowing advisor, and so I do not go about it in this way. Sutra At times of deviant confusion, the demon king is in the house. The sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 416. But when you have proper views, the Buddha is in the hole. Deviant views, the three poisons produced within the nature, are just the demon king come to dwell in the house. Proper views casting out three poisons of the mind. Transform the demon into Buddha. True, not false. Commentary. Deviant confusion is ignorance. Ignorance creates love and desire, and that is the demon king dwelling in your house. If you have proper views and not the wrong ones of greed, hate and delusion, then your mind is pure and the Buddha is in the home. The Buddha and the demon are both manifested from your own nature. When you hold deviant views, the three poisons arise and the demon comes to dwell in your house. What is your house? Your body. Proper views spontaneously expel the three poisons, and the demon immediately changes into Buddha. This principle is absolutely true, it cannot possibly be false. You need only hold proper views, and that is the Buddha. Improper views are the demon. Sutra. Dharma, body, reward, body. And transformation, body. Chapter X, Final Instructions. 417. Fundamentally the three bodies are one body. Seeing that for yourself, within your own nature, is the body cause for realizing Buddhahood. The pure nature is originally produced from the transformation body. The pure nature is ever present within the transformation body. 1. As nature leads the transformation body down the right road, and in the future the full perfection is truly without end. Commentary Although spoken of as three, the clear, pure Dharma body, the perfect, full reward, body and a hundred thousand myriads of transformation bodies are fundamentally one the three bodies are simply transformations of your one body this 
is called 3 in 1, 1 in 3. You're seeing for yourself the true Buddha within yourself. Nature is a cause for your future realization of Buddhahood. It is a seed of Buddhahood. Having planted the Bodhi seed, you will certainly reap the Bodhi fruit and become a Buddha. The clear, pure self nature originally arises from the transformation body. Your pure self nature, your pure Dharma body is within your transformation body. In the future, your body self nature will be perfected and the perfect full reward body will be truly inexhaustible. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 418 Sutra The root cause of purity is the lust nature. For one's rid of lust, the substance of the nature is pure. Each of you, within your natures, abandon the five desires. In an instant, see your nature. It is true. Commentary Everyone has sexual desire, but you do not need to be afraid of it. In the Shurangama Sutra we read about Akusma, the Fire, Hathedra, whose sexual desire was unbearably intense. When he first began to cultivate, but he was able to discipline and temper the fire of lust, transforming it into the fire of wisdom, and transforming himself into the fire, Hathedra. The root cause of purity is the lust nature. Proper thoughts are the cause of purity in the nature and deviant thoughts the cause of impurity. Therefore cut off the nature of sexual desire, which means transform it. This certainly is not telling you to Castrate yourself. That is not the answer. Just change your thoughts and make them pure in nature. You don't have to cut off sexual desire. Don't cut it off. Transform it instead. Transform lust into purity which is simply proper knowledge and proper views. The lust within the nature is simply deviant knowledge and deviant views. Once rid of lust, the substance of the nature is pure. To get rid of lust means to transform it. You don't have to throw it away. All you have to do is transform it. You don't have to throw. Chapter X Final Instructions 419 It away. All you have to do is change your thoughts and direct them to the pure nature. That is the clear, pure substance of the self, nature, the dharma, body. The five desires are for wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep. They may also be explained as forms, sounds, smells, tastes, tangible objects, and objects of the mind. 
in general, stay far away from them, do not have deviant thoughts within yourself. Nature Cultivate proper knowledge and proper views, and Abandon the five desires. Once you leave the five desires, you can see the nature in an instant and obtain your own truth. Such is wonderful nature. Sutra If in this life you encounter the door of the sudden teaching, you will be suddenly enlightened to yourself, nature, and see the owner of the world. If you wish to cultivate and aspire to Buddhahood, you want to know where the truth is to be sought. Unless you can see the truth within your own mind, this truth which is the cause of realizing Buddhahood, not to see yourself, nature, but to seek the Buddha outside. If you think that way, you are the sixth patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra. 420. Deluded indeed. I now leave behind the Dharma, door of the Southern teaching, to liberate worldly people who must cultivate themselves. I announce to you and to future students of the way, if you do not hold these views, you will only waste your time Commentary. Having encountered the sudden teaching of the Tayana school, you may become instantly enlightened and understand your original mind and see your original nature. At that moment, you will personally be the world honored ones, the Buddhas. Of the ten directions, you can see them all. Unless you apply effort in the self, nature instead of looking outside, you will never find the genuine Buddha. Understand? Your mind and see your nature, that is the way to realize. Buddhahood. If you do not turn the light around and seek within yourself, but run outside instead to look for the Buddha, you are being stupid, stupid, extremely stupid. You must cultivate the Dharma of sudden enlightenment on huh? your own. Do not fail to cultivate. If you do not hold the notions expressed in this verse, you are wasting your time. You will never obtain the smallest advantage. Chapter X Final Instructions 421 Sutra Having spoken the verse the Master continued, all of you should take care. After my extinction, do not act with worldly emotion. If you weep in sorrow, receive condolences or wear mourning clothes, you are not my disciples, for that is contrary to the proper dharma. Simply recognize your own original mind and see your own original nature which is neither moving nor still, neither produced nor extinguished, neither coming nor going, neither right nor wrong, neither dwelling nor departing.
commentary. The master said, unlike common, vulgar, worldly folk, do not make an emotional display of your feelings. Don't t behave like that. Don't t weep tears like rain to irrigate the fields. My disciples have to obey me. If you do such things, not only are you not my disciples, but you are also contradicting the Buddha Dharma. Do not strike up false thinking. Don't t fail to put it down. Don't t fail to break through it. You must see through it, smash it, and put it all down. Then you can be free. If we are not supposed to mourn, then what should we do? The disciples wondered. Recognize your original mind. What is it like? It does t move and it isn t still. It does t come or go. It is not right or wrong. Good or bad, black or white, long or short. It does t stay. And it does t live. It is neither here nor there. Work to see the self, nature, understand your mind. Then you will not have wasted your time. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 422 Sutra Because I am afraid that your confused minds will misunderstand my intention, I will instruct you again so that you may see your nature after my extinction. Continue to cultivate accordingly, as if I were still present. Should you disregard my teaching, then even if I were to remain in the world, you would obtain no benefit. He further spoke this verse. Firm, firm, do not cultivate the good. Hi, hi, do not do evil. Still, still, cut off sight and sound. Fast, fast, the mind unattached. Commentary. Firm, firm, means not moving, thus, thus unmoving. Clear, clear, and constantly bright. Do not cultivate the good does not mean that you should not cultivate good. It just means that you should not be attached when you cultivate the good. Don't t be like that greedy, minded ghost emperor Wu of Yan. Who thought, look at all my merit. Hi, hi, means happy and cheerful, independent and Content from morning to night. Do not do evil does not mean that. You can think, I am not attached to doing evil, so it has no problem. Attached or not attached, you should not do evil. What is evil? Killing, stealing, and sexual misconduct. Of the ten thousand evils, licentiousness is the worst. Do not walk down this road of death. Chapter X Final Instructions 423 Do not walk this road. Do not do evil. Still, still, 
cut off sight and sound. This state is peaceful, comfortable, and happy. Still, still, quiet, quiet, you cut off sight and sound by not producing deviant thoughts at the gates of the six sense organs. It is alright to have proper thoughts, but cut off the deviant ones. Cut off deviant sights and sounds. For example, if people are speaking improperly, don't to listen. Fast, fast, the mind unattached. This mind as capacity extends throughout the universe and fills up heaven and earth. It is high, great, broad, fast, limitless, and unbounded, and it is not attached anywhere. Sutra. After speaking this verse, the master said upright come to the third watch, when suddenly he said to his disciples, I am going. In an instant he changed, and anger. Fragrance filled the room. A white rainbow linked with the earth and the trees in the wood turned white. The birds and the beasts cried out in sorrow. Commentary The master sat meditating with his disciples until the middle of the night at twelve o'clock when he said, The time has come to go. See you all again. His energy was cut off and he no longer moved. He had entered nirvana. He changed means that he moved to a new house. Who moved? The flesh body. Bodhisattva. The forest turned white because the white rainbow light shone on it. You could also say that the trees knew the master was dead and so they expressed their grief by wearing the white clothes of mourning. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 424. All the animals on the mountain cry uncontrollably. Grass and trees seem to be without feelings, but they put on mourning. Clothes, birds and beasts ordinarily don't understand very much. But they showed forth a spiritual nature and wept. Sutra. In the eleventh month, a dispute arose among the officials, disciples, Sangha, and laity of the three countries of Kuangzhou, Shaozhou, and HSI and Zhou's, to who should receive the true body. As they could not agree, they led incense and prayed saying, the master will be returned to the place indicated by the incense smoke. The smoke went directly to T.S. Aoshi and so, on the 13th day of the 11th month, the reliquary and the transmitted robe and bow were returned there. In the following year, on the 25th day of the 7th month, the body was removed from the reliquary and disciples then can anointed it with incense paste, remembering the prophecy that his head would be taken 
the disciples left sheets of iron and lacquered cloth around his neck for protection and then placed his body in the pagoda. Just then a white light appeared. Within the pagoda, shot up into the sky, and did not fade. For three days, the magistrate of Shaozhou reported this to the emperor and received an imperial order to erect a stone tablet commemorating the master as conduct in the way. The master, as screams and opens were 76. The robe was transmitted to him when he was 20. For and when he was 39 his hair was cut. For 37 years he spoke Dharma to benefit living. Chapter X Final Instructions 425 Beings 43 men inherited his Dharma and Uncountable number awoke to the way and overstepped the common lot. The road of belief transmitted from Bodhidharma, the Emon and a road and precious bow. Conferred by Emperor Changsa, as well as the lifelike image sculpted by Than Pian and other articles of the way were entrusted to the attendant in charge of the stupa and were permanently retained at the Pauline Bodhi Mandala for the Bodhi Manda as protection. The Platform Sutra has been transmitted to set forth the principles of our school to glorify the Triple Jewel and to benefit all living beings. Commentary Those from Kuangzhou wanted to take the body to Fashi Temple. The sixth patriarch had his head shaved here. He should return here now to receive offerings. The HSI and Zhou people all said, the great master is a native of HSI Angel. He should return there, and those of Shaozhou insisted that since the patriarch had expounded his teaching there, he should not be returned to that place. While the patriarch was alive, they had never quarreled over him for he had been most independent. But now the master had completed the stillness and everyone felt as if they personally had the right to remove his body and make offerings to it. Was T the sixth patriarch originally from HSI Angel? And did the master himself say, falling leaves return to the root? But the sixth patriarch himself built Nan Hua Temple, said, Those of Shaozhou, he really should return there. The patriarch left home in Kuangzhou. He let his hair fall. There and his dharma should all fall back to us. The Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 426 The text says that they could not agree and that indicates that the situation was extremely grave. It was a crisis. Everyone was trying to take the body away by force. They argued and 
occupied until one intelligent person said stop. While he was alive, we obeyed the master as instructions. Now that he has died, we should still listen to him. Let us ask the master to decide. But he is already dead, they said. How can he tell us where he wants to go? The master has great spiritual powers, he said, and he knows all of our thoughts. It must displease him to see us here, fighting over the right to make offerings to his body. Let us light some incense, and in whatever direction the smoke drifts, that is, where the master wants to go. Then no one can argue about it. The smoke went straight to Nanhua Temple and there was nothing that the people from Kuangzhou and HSI and Zhou could say. The lectures are now complete and the sutra has been explained. You have undergone much suffering, but I don't know whether you realized it was suffering or not. If you felt it was suffering, you are just a common person, but if you did not feel that it was suffering, then you are just a rock or a piece of wood. Well, was it suffering? As to my explanation, I don't know whether I explained well or badly, and I also don't know if you listen well or badly. Good and bad get rid of them both. Explaining is just explaining, and listening is just listening. We have met because of a karmic affinity. We have heard the story of the sixth patriarch as life and of his cultivation of the way. You should not look for good or bad points, but look instead to see whether you believe advance down the right road and retreat from the wrong. Chapter X Final Instructions 427 You should cultivate according to the Dharma. Memorize the last verse of this sutra and recite it often, for if you reflect on it, meaning you will certainly realize Buddhahood and don't discriminate as to whether I explain the sutra well or not. Just look to see whether or not you cultivate. If you cultivate what is bad is good, but if you do not cultivate what is good is bad. Now I am going to ask you a question. The sixth patriarch was an illiterate, and illiterates cannot have much knowledge. How could someone who could even read speak a sutra? What does this mean? Student, I think the sutra shows that you don't need a lot of scholarly learning in order to become enlightened. The sudden teaching is just the mind, realizing the mind, and we should do it. Who else has a view? This is a democracy. Speak up. Student, in the sixth patriarch, 
as Dharma explanation. Where could a word arise? Student, the principles contained in the Sutra are so clear. And out in front, that, every time I try to say something about them, I get tied up in dualism and feel hopelessly overwhelmed. Does anyone else have an opinion? Student, Master, when the sixth patriarch was about to enter Nirvana, he said, see you later. Where is he now? He comes right from where you are speaking. Now, why was it that the master never learned to read? During the time of the sixth patriarch, schools were not available to all and to attend, you had to have money. The sixth patriarch as family was extremely poor because his father was an honest official who never took bribes. As a boy, even getting food to eat was a problem for the master, so of course he could t go to school. It was a question of environment then. He the Sixth Patriarch as Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra 428 Never learned to read because his family was poor and because schools were not available. But there is yet another reason. Why did the Sixth Patriarch choose to appear in a poor family? He did it to show us that even illiterates can realize Buddhahood and become patriarchs. Thus, he raised the hopes of those who could not read. Seeing the sixth patriarch, everyone thought he never went to school but he cultivated and obtained the fruit of the way. We can do it too. It is not the case that if you can t read, you can t cultivate. If you think only educated people can cultivate, you are holding a prejudice. The sixth patriarch appeared to cause us all to lay down such prejudices. As I see it, these are three reasons why the sixth patriarch never learned to read. There, as one more thing you should recognize clearly about the sixth patriarch. He was not lazy. He always practiced the Buddha Dharma. He became enlightened and after his enlightenment he spoke the Platform Sutra. Being able to read is just worldly knowledge. The sixth patriarch understood his mind, saw his nature, and opened up to his inherent wisdom. Because this sutra was spoken from the bright light of this wisdom, its value is incomparable. It is the same as sutras spoken by the Buddha, so do not take him lightly just because he could he read. The sutra is now complete, and after teaching it, I make that statement to all of you. 431 A. Adore the N 406 Affliction 85 98 124 129
Pen analogy 127。Pen 20。H Chinese 斜线 Western comparison 33。Alay Aviv Nana C A consciousness arms 45。America miss about 234。Analogy 90。123、124、125、126、129、Dharma Master Shen Kuang 12、14、20。Patriarch VK 021-23 Annihilation 305-306-361 C60 Two Wrong Views Aranya 46 Death 47 Arhav 77-169-288 Death 77. Five rebellious acts, killing of 112. Married 61. Arrogance 176, 192, 228, 239, 269. Repentance of 229. Assassination 402. Assassination Attempt by Shin Chapter N354 Attempts on Lampen LU78 Attachment 77, 88, 120, 130, 138, 150, 186, 192, 205, 207 213, 215, 218, 226, 239, 303, 344. Chi Chapter N342. Emperor Wu 180. Grasping and Rejecting 120. Shin Chapter N360. Non attachment 17, 39, 80, 130, 136. Obstruction 175. To body 76. To dharma 150, 207, 297, 352. To my 219. To purity 218-219. To rules 138. To sense objects 130. To smells 237. To stillness 400. To words 384. Alphaten Saka Sutra 4, 240. Dragon Palace 410 B Barbarian 58, 328 HSIN 294 Huenan 60, 72, 74, 77, 78, 102 103, 144, 355 Patriarch Bodhidharma 11, 14 
Sadan Er Su Shijil. Beheaded, Arya Simha Er Shi Er. Pig Shul, Death. Shi. Burns and Das Liu Shi Liu Shi Yi, Chi Shi Er Chi Shi San, Yi Bai Er Shi Wu. Liang Bai Wu Shi Chi, San Bai Ling Er San Bai Ling Si, San Bai Yi Shi Ba San Bai Yi Shi Jiu, San Bai Si Shi Yi, San Bai Si Shi San. 三百六十，三百九十二。General Index， General Index， 四百三十二。Affliction 一百二十四。Area Sinha 四百一十一。Attachment 八十八。Emotional Love 八十六。Ending 十一。三十八，一百六十七，三百一十九，三百七十四。Freedom of 十三。In Nirvana 二十四，一百二十七。Sun T S N 二十四。Shen Kuang 十一，十四十五。The Other Shore 一百二十四。Transcending 四十五。First 一百二十七，两百九十八，三百九十一。Blessings 两百三十四。And misfortune 两百一十二，两百一十三。And wisdom 两百三十六，两百三十九。Difference with merit and virtue 一百八十一。Field of 五十八，五十九。三百三十一，三百三十四，三百七十七。Getting rid of offenses 两百五十六。Seeking 六十一，一百七十四，一百七十五，两百五十五。First 两百四十五，两百五十三，两百六十九。Bliss 三百六十一。Of Nirvana 三百零三，三百零七，三百零八。Production and Extinction 三百三百零二。Transcendental 三百零三。First 两百九十九，三百零六。Body 九，七十五，七十六，七十九。九十三、九十四、一百二十六、两百二十六。An affliction 十、二十四、一百二十六、一百二十七。An prudence 一百一十六。Clear and pure 五十二。Head analogy 一百二十七。Supreme 六十九、七十一、七十四。Tree 六十七，七十二，七十四，一百一十二。Tree branch, Jaman the Pai Shai Jia 四十二。First 六十七，七十，七十二，七十五。Body man 的二十九，四十六，九十四，一百七十，两百六十四，三百九十五。四百二十五 ，Jewel Wood 四十七 ，Mine 两百零七 ，Pollen 四十八 ，Bodhisattva A to Master Top H S I N 九十五 ，Death 五 ，Golden Armor Page Rocking 二十八。Master Gunu Padra as prediction 四十一 ，Master Jaman Pai Shaya as prediction 四十二 ，Past lives 一百四十，为八十九十二四百一十一 ，Bodhisattva Shila Sutra 一百四十一两百二十 ，Bondage 两百零七。With dharmas 两百零六 ，with thoughts 两百一十 ，boing 两百六十九，两百七十。
Brahma that Sutra said. Brahma. Past life of Shaker Muni Buddha 299. 301. Religion of India 408. Buddha. Appearing in the world 273. Knowledge and vision 273, 276, 279. 280, 293. Buddha nature 10, 58, 59, 94, 137. 214, 250, 294, 295, 333, 358, 360, 367. First 247, 321, 362. Buddha speaks of Amitabha Sutra San. Buddha Wei 129, 131, 301. Buddha Dharma 166. Arises from difficulty 97, 101. Being straightforward 397. China 12. Great Fidical Mahayana 11. Now Dualistic 111. Origin of 369. Original Man 90. Protecting 79. Study and Practice 233. Understanding 158. First 157. Buddha, Mind 377, 414. General Index 433. Certification 316. C. Cause and Effect 247, 287. Transformation of Consciousness 287. Certification 34, 95. False 208. Of Shinsu 311. Chapter and Meditation 221, 296. Chapter and School 181, 199. 217, 220, 286. 314, 367. Misconception about 207, 218. Cheating 212, 213. Christian Heaven 201. Compassion 93, 165. 191, 192. Complete precepts 37, 39, 43, 358. Concentration 266, 268, 325. And wisdom 203, 215. Refuge 222, 223. Confusion 190, 191, 253, 235. And Prajna 123. And Recitation 278-279. And the Pure Mind 185. Deviant 146-148-416. In Beliefs 38. First 99. 148, 167, 277, 295, 345.
415 ，with marks 273 c o n s c i o u s n e s s only score 369。Criticism 163,200 Inspiration 246 Cultivation 36,126,186,185,205,205,258 And Certification 314,315 And money 两百三十六，两百三十七。At home 一百九十七，两百零一。Deviant 一百三十八，一百三十九。Mind and book 两百六十七，两百六十八。Of blessings 一百七十四，两百五十五，两百五十六。Of good 四百二十二。Of merit and virtue, 一百七十七，一百八十。Of no mark, 一百五十四，一百六十七，三百八十四。Of no movement, 两百一十八，两百一十九。Of patience, 三百九十二。Of prudence, 一百一十七，一百二十六。Of self nature, 一百九十 Of true and false, 三百九十 Proper knowledge and views, 四百一十九 Sudden and gradual, 两百零九，两百一十 D. Death, 二十一，二十四，二十六，两百四十九，两百五十七，三百零三 Of body dharma, 十九 Defilement, 一百九十三 Defilement, 一百二十九，一百三十一，一百三十五，一百三十六，一百四十，一百四十二，一百八十九，两百四十，三百一十五 Delusion, 一百八十六。两百一十八，两百三十一，两百四十五，两百四十六，两百四十八。Demon 一百六十四，四百一十三，四百一十五。And Buddha 四百一十六。Obstacles 三十六。Desire 一百二十六，一百二十七。一百四十一，一百四十二，一百五十九，一百六十二，一百六十七，两百四十。Sexual, see sexual desire. Thoughts of 一百四十二。Deviant. Dharma 三百五十七。Enlightenment 两百三十五。Knowledge and views, 一百三十八 See confusion. Thoughts, 一百四十七一百九十一百九十三两百三十四百二十三 Views, 一百二十一百三十五一百六十七两百一十二两百三十九两百四十五，两百四十六，两百七十六，三百零二，三百零三，三百六十。General index 四百三十四，四百一十五，四百一十六。Dharma body 两百二十二，三百零一。Bondage 一百五十一。Death, 五九 Doors, 一百六十 Ending age, 四十四一百六十四 Host, death, 四十二 Nature, 三百零二 Non, duo, 三百三十九三百七十七 Protectors, 五一百零四两百六十二。三百三十二 ，C 五 
Three classes of 379. Transcendental 166-167. Transmission 17. Without words 83. Dharma Itrasuri 331. Dharma Flower Sutra 272-281 Dharma Gap Tafalea 41 Diamond Sutra 34-54-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-56-
Four Serious Prohibitions, 一百一十一一百一十二 General Index, 四百三十五 Four Unlimited Votes, 一百九十二 Four Vehicles, 两百九十七 Four Virtues of Nirvana, 三百零三 Offshore Bunkers. Pratya Kapundas 三百六十一 ，Four All Encompassing Vows 两百三十两百三十三 ，Four Wisdoms 两百八十四两百八十六两百九十 ，Transforming the Consciousness into 两百八十八 ，G Ghost of Impermanence 十四。三百一十九。Good Knowing Advisor 三十四，一百四十二。Seeking One 一百四十五，一百四十八。Good Knowing Advisor。Imposter 三十四。Gradual Teaching 一百五十九，三百一十。Great Perfect Mirror Wisdom 两百八十七，两百八十九，三百八十一。Great Universal Buddha Flower Adorn Man Sutra C Alpatan Saka Sutra Great Vehicle 十，一百三十三，两百五十六，两百九十八，三百七十四。And Supreme Vehicle 三百四十四 Difference with Small Middle Vehicles 两百九十七 Doubting 一百三十四 In China 十一十九 Root Nature 十八 Great And How 一百九十三一百九十四 And love 两百七十五，两百七十六。C ten evils, C three poisons. H habits 二十七，一百三十五，一百五十，一百六十三，一百九十。Happiness and compassion 一百九十一。And sexual desire 一百六十。Of Nirvana 三百零四 ，Hatred and Hell 一百九十三一百九十四 ，C ten evils, C three poisons, Head Mouth 三九十一一百一十七一百二十一 ，C intellectual 三 ，Hell 一百。And evil thoughts, 两百四十八 Beings, C three evil paths. Greed, hatred, 一百九十三一百九十四 Humble mind, 两百三十二两百三十四 Humility, 一百七十六 And deceitful, 邪见 false beings, 两百三十一 Is married 一百七十五 ，hypocrisy 两百零七 ，I econtical 一百一十二一百三十七 ，ignorance 八十六一百一百二十二一百九十五 ，and afflictions 一百二十四 ，and attachment to marks 三百八十三。And bad karma 两百二十八 ，And birth and death 八十六 ，And Buddhahood 八十五 ，And offenses 一百九十六 ，And sexual desire 一百五十九 ，And the white man realm 二十二 ，C twelve condition causes。Impermanence 三百五十八三百六十一 ，C permanence。Intellectual 三两百零八两百五十二两百八十三三百七十三。Intelligence 
Americans 55 and Consciousness 287 and the Western Paradise 183 and Wisdom 243 General Index 436 J Jota Cocktails 299-301 Jealousy 177-229 K Karma 99 And Ignorance 228 And Offenses 100 And the Eight Consciousness 287 Body and Mind 142 C3 Obstacles Karma Dona 4041 Knowing and Seeing 293-295-296 L Len Kavadura Sutra 65-92-284 And Chapter and School 286 Living Home Reasons for 37739 Liberation and Pioneer Concentration 373 and No Thought 150151 and Original Mind 149 and Self Enlightenment 146 And self seeking 224. And sexual desire 213. Of knowledge and vision 349, 350. Life and death 304. And non attachment 136. And patriarchs 24. Freedom from 350. Living Dead Person 15 Lotus Sutra 271 And Fiction Night Sound Chapter IH 20 And Fatih A 270 271 380 And The Pure Sound 82 Doubts 279 281 Love And birth and death 86. And Buddhahood 165. And greed 275, 276. And hate 396. Of living 303. See twelve condition causes. Lost 418. See sexual desire. And Mahaprajna Pautamita 115-118-129 Mahaparimurvana Sutra 3-137 And Pikshuchi Chapter 1-358 And Pikshin Nai Luchin Sen 261-262 C Great Vehicle Moni 81 Master Huat Practicing Austerities in Manchuria 237 238 Meditation An Aching Labs 10 97 174 N 217 And Pioneer 157, 185, and the Wonderful Observing Wisdom, 288, Constraint to the Body, 341, Non Attachment to 373, Middle Vehicle, 298, Difference with Small Great Vehicles. 297 C Great Vehicle Middle Way 86 91 360 385 389 389
and extremes 一百五十二，两百九十七。And self nature 一百一十八 ，Ming Dynasty ，And filial song 王三百三十三 ，Amo and Amro 三百七十七，四百二十五 ，General Index 四百三十七 ，And Naga Concentration 两百八十八。National Master and of some mountain 三百一十二三百一十三 ，Shen Su 三百三十九 ，Nineteen pairs of opposites 三百八十二三百八十三 ，Nirvana 三八十六一百二十四一百二十五一百二十七一百三十七。As explained in the Diamond Sutra 226, entering Bodhidharma 20, entering Hong Zhen 29, 101, entering San Ts and 257, entering Tao Hsin 24, 27, entering the Buddha 272. Without residue, 一百六十，一百六十一。Nirvana Sutra 一百一十一。And picture tree top 两百九十九。See more happy Nirvana Sutra. Oh, one Buddha vehicle. And Empress Wu City 一三百七十二。And the white ox cart 两百七十八两百八十一 One important matter 两百七十三 One vehicle 两百八十一两百九十八三百七十一 C one Buddha vehicle Opposite 三百八十三百八十二 And the middle way 三百八十五 C five pairs of opposites. C nineteen pairs of opposites. C thirty six pairs of opposites. C twelve opposites. Other people as folds 一百六十四四百一十三 Outflows and concentration 两百零四 And the white land realm 二十二 C six spiritual powers C twelve opposites Patamita 一百一十六一百二十四 Patience 一百九十九两百 Of unproduced dharma 三百九十二 C six Patamita Patriarchate and when and 九十二九十六一百零九 and Shen Su 六十四七十八三百三十八 inheritance Hong Zhen 三十五 perfecting wisdom 两百八十五两百八十八两百八十九 Permanence 三百零二，三百零八，三百五十八，三百六十一。C four virtues of the Nirvana. C impermanence. C sixty two wrong views. Persecution of Buddhism by Emperor Wu 二十四。Thirty mind 一百九十八两百两百零一 Poisoning of body dharma 十八十九 Politeness 一百七十六 And the self nature 两百四十五 Praise is 两两百四十六 Prajna C Maha Prajna Patamita C three kinds of prajna. Wisdom 88, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140
一百二十九、一百三十四、一百三十五、一百三十九、一百六十、一百六十一、一百六十六、两百三十二、两百三十三。Precept Certifier 四十 ，Precept Spirit 四十一 ，Precept Transmitter 三十九 ，And Carbonona 四十四十一 ，Chi Kuo Shi Chin 三十七 ，Precepts 三一百七十二 ，Against Handling Money 两百三十六。Against killing 两百三十二 ，and concentration 两百零四 ，and dragons 两百八十九 ，general index 四百三十八 ，and the three poisons 一百九十九 ，keeping them 两百二十二 ，protecting 十六。See complete precepts. See precept transmitter. Prediction 四十三两百一十二 A division of sutra text 一百三十九 By Bodhi Dharma 三百九十四 By Jaman Paishana 四十二四十八 Of women, as have 四百零二、四百零三、四百二十四。Transmission of Mahayana to China 九。Production and extinction 一百二十四、一百二十五。三百零一、三百零四、三百六十五、三百七十七、三百八十二。And Chi Tao 两百九十九三百零四 ，And other religions 三百七十六 ，And Pathong Mita 一百二十四 ，And Shen Hui 三百六十四三百六十五 ，No thought, no mark, and no dwelling 两百一十三 ，First by a ghost 三百。See nineteen pairs of opposites. Q. Questions of Manjushri Sutra of the Si. R. Ren. And dragons 一百三十三 And sages 七十二 Rakshasa ghost 两百九十九三百 Reward body 两百四十二，两百五十一。Right Dharma I treasury 四百四百零一，四百零七。Rock of Refuge 两百六十二，两百六十五。S Samadhi of One Conduct 三百九十五，三百九十七。Samadhi of One Mark 三百九十五，三百九十七。Samadhi of Playfulness 三百四十九，三百五十一。Sandhi Road 三百三十一。And Sana Kufaisa 四百零七。Self Nature as True Buddha Verse 四百一十四。Seven Buddhas of Antiquity 四百零六 Seven Places on the Look for His Mind 十六 Seven Precious Things 九十 Seven Types of Sutra Titles 三四 Seven Consciousness 两百八十七 Sexual Desire 一百二十六一百四十二。一百五十九，一百六十，两百一十三，两百三十六，两百三十九，四百一十八。An Akusma 四百一十八。Shurima Mantra。An Hong Zhen 二十九。Shurima Sutra 四十。An Sexual Desire 四百一十八。And the seeing nature 三百二十六 
and your journal the fun 两百五十二 ，of true and false 两百三十五 ，of funny on masters 四十 ，see sure come on mantra。Single conduct samadhi 两百零六两百零七 ，six consciousnesses 两百五十 ，C A T rules six desire happens 一百九十五一百九十六 ，six 跑通 meters 两百二十五 ，six sense objects 两百五十三百二十五。三百八十一，三百八十二。C A T rules six sense organs 两百五十，三百八十一，四百二十三。C A T rules six spiritual penetrations. C six spiritual powers. Six spiritual powers 三百三十。三百三十三，三百五十一。Six sutra requirements 五十一，五十二。Six consciousness 两百八十七，两百八十八。Sixty two wrong views 三百零六，三百零七。Small vehicle 两百九十八。Difference with middle great vehicles。General index 四百三十九，两百九十七。Song of certifying to the way 三百二十，三百二十一。Southern school 三百三十八，三百三十九，三百六十八。Stop and look T in T A I contemplation 三百一十六。Store enveloping consciousness 三百八十一 stupidity C ten evils C three poisons sudden and gradual 两百零九三百三十七 sudden dharma 一百六十一百八十八 sudden teaching 一百三十五一百三十六。一百四十五，一百五十三，一百五十八，一百五十九，一百六十七，两百零四，两百一十，两百五十七，两百六十七，三百一十，三百六十八，三百九十，三百九十九，四百二十，四百二十七。And roots T in 三百七十二 ，Good roots 一百一十三 ，Shallow roots 一百三十四 ，Transmission of 九十一 ，TS A Ocean 三百六十七 ，Sun Dynasty 四十一，三百三十一 ，Supreme Vehicle 四十二，两百九十八。And deviant views 三百零二 ，And the six patriarch 三百三十八，三百四十四 ，As explained by the six patriarch 两百九十七 ，Sutra 六 ，Explaining correctly 七八 ，For additional meanings 六 ，Other meanings 七。See seven types of sutra titles. T T N Dynasty Recording 八十五八十六 Taoism 四百零八 The Tibetan Store 两百一十四四百一十五 Teaching of Southern Enlightenment 九十一 Teaching Transmitter 四十一 And Shen Su 六十二六十四 ，T Hun Yin 四十 ，Ten Dharma Realms 两百四十九 ，Ten Directions 十六 ，Ten Disciples of the Six Patriarch 三百七十九 
Ten evils, 一百八十三。Ten good practices, 一百九十四。Thirty six pairs of opposites, 三百七十九，三百八十二。Three bodies, 两百八十四。Three cards, 两百七十九，两百八十一。Three classes of dharma, doors, 三百七十九，三百八十一。Three disasters, 三百零七，三百零八。Three divisions of the tripitaka, 四十一。Three evil paths, 四六十九 and the western paradise, 一百八十五 Three evils, 两百五十三两百五十五 Three karmas, 两百二十七 Three obstructions, obstacles, 一百六十一 Three periods of time, 六 Three poisons, 一百三十，一百九十四。And precepts, 一百九十九。And the demon king, 四百一十四，四百一十六。Three kinds of prajna, 一百一十五。Three realms, 三十八，三十九。Three refuges, 五。Three thousand awesome departments. 三百一十八 ，Triple Jewel 一百六十五 ，Offerings to 一百七十一，一百七十三，一百八十 ，Protecting and supporting 一百七十 ，Taking refuge with 两百三十八，两百四十一，两百四十二。Triple Refuge 两百三十六，两百三十七。Triple Worm 四十，两百三十九，两百八十二。True False Motion Stillness Verse 三百九十。T.S. A.O.C. Dharma Assembly 三百零九，三百一十。Tungshan Dharma。Door 一百一十二，一百一十三。Twelve condition causes 两百二十五，三百九十六。Twelve divisions of sutras 一百三十九，一百四十。Twelve entrances 三百八十一。General index 四百四十。Twelve opposites regarding marks of dharmas, 三百八十二 Two boundaries, 三百零五三百零七 Two vehicles, 三百零五三百零六三百七十四 Fimalakirti Sutra, 两百零六两百一十四两百二十三百一十六三百一十七，三百七十四。Fenea Master 四十。Double，White Ox Card 两百七十七，两百八十。Wisdom of Equal Nature 两百八十五，两百八十九。C Seventh Consciousness。Wonderful Dharma Lotus Flower Sutra。四八 ，Wonderful observing wisdom， 两百八十七，两百八十八，三百二十。C six consciousness， worthy en， 四百零六，四百零七，四百四十一。A， Amitabha， 一百八十七。不等一百八十一，一百八十二，一百九十，一百九十二，一百九十三。Sutra 一百八十三。And of some M T N National Master 三百一十二。Among the 十六，一百五十四，四百零七。Arya Singha Patriarch 二十二。
四百一十、四百一十一。Ash Fiosha Mohasad Fa 四百零八、四百零九。Avala Kiteshvara Bodhisattva 一百三十、一百九十、一百九十一、两百二十七、三百五十一。Austin Voice King Buddha 三百一十六、三百一十七。B。Bay Sri Sita 四百一十 ，Bear Asir Mountain 十五十七 ，Body Dharma 十八五九十十一十二十三十四十五十六十七十八十九二十二十一二十三六十五九十四九十五。一百五十四，一百六十九，一百七十一，一百七十二，一百七十三，一百八十，两百三十一，两百四十七，两百五十七，两百八十六，三百一十五，三百一十八，三百三十一，三百三十二，三百三十三，三百九十三。三百九十四，三百九十九，四百一十，四百二十五。Both higher and size 十八，二十一，二十四，两百三十一，两百四十七。Buddha Mitra 四百零七，四百零八。Buddha Nandi 四百零七。Buddhist lecture hall 五十六。一百八十八，一百八十九，一百九十六，三百一十，三百五十。C. Chen Ching Man 四百零三。Chang Zhe Yun Official 七十三。Chen Ting 三百二十。See also Wu Xiao. Chen Huang Ren Period 二十五。三十一，曲周三百零九，三百五十二，曲 M 十三百五十四，曲 M 二十九，三百三十九，曲王三百二十二，三百二十三，三百二十四，三百二十五，三百二十六，三百二十七。曲枯龙三十七，三十九；曲涛两百九十九，三百零一，三百零二，三百零六，三百七十九，三百八十。曲第一二十九。曲州 Province 三百一十二。曲 T A P 四百零三。曲 L 三百六十七。Chin Nan 三百三十七，三百三十八。Chu Shen 三十二。Chang Song Emperor 三百七十一，三百七十二，四百二十五。D. Dragon 四百零七。Double Peak MTN 二十七，二十八。Eastern Crystal Azure World 三百五十二 ，F Fachen 三百七十九，三百八十 ，Fahai 一三十一，五十，两百六十六，两百六十七，两百七十，两百八十九，三百七十九，三百八十，三百八十六，三百八十七。三百九十三，四百一十二，四百一十三。People and places index. People and places index. 四百四十二。Fashing monastery 四百二十五。Fashing monastery 一百零九。Fashing monastery 一百一十。Fajul 二十九，一百零二
Fatih A 269, 270, 271, 272, 273, 277, 278, 279, 280, 281, 282, 379, 380. Feiyan District 53. 三篇三百三十、三百三十一、三百三十二、三百三十三、四百二十四、四百二十五。Fly Catcher 三百五十五、三百八十。See also she chapter N F O T O 十、十一、二十四。See also Yashi。G. Guy Shot 四百零八，四百一十。Good Padra 四十一。H. Hakona 四百一十。Han MTN 三百一十五。Ho Che 三百六十七，三百六十八。Ho Shou 三百二十二，三百二十七。Hope I 三百二十六，三百二十七。Hope Chang Magistrate 四十八。Shi Chang Chapter N N 三十七，三十九。Shi Shu 三百三十一。Shi Ong Yan 三百六十三。C G N 三百七十一，三百七十二，三百七十三。三百七十四，三百七十五，三百七十六，三百七十七。Shi En Song Che 三百六十七，三百六十八。H S I N 周五十三，五十七，五十九，两百九十二，两百九十四，三百八十六。四百，四百二十四，四百二十五，四百二十六。Shin Sun 三百零九，三百一十，三百一十一。See also how Chi H S U U first 八十二。Sun Chi 三百一十六，三百一十七，三百一十八，三百一十九，三百二十。YJ 三百一十二，三百一十三，三百一十四，三百一十五。Y District 九十五，九十六，两百六十二。Wang May 二十八，三十三，三十四，三十五，四十四，五十五，五十六，五十七，五十九。一百零六，一百一十，一百一十一，一百五十四，两百六十一，两百六十四，两百七十，三百二十八，三百三十六，三百五十三，三百五十五。Huang Mei Honorific 一百零六，一百零七。Huan Lan 五，二十九。三十、三十一、三十二、五十二、五十三、五十四、五十六、五十七、五十八、五十九、六十、七十二、七十三、七十四、七十五、七十九、八十、八十一、八十二、八十四、八十五、八十七、八十九。九十二、九十五、九十六、九十七、九十八、一百零一、一百零三、一百零四、一百零五、一百零六、一百零八、一百零九、一百一十、一百一十一、一百一十二、一百一十三。一百八十二，一百八十八，两百三十，三百三十五
People and Places Index 四百四十三，Kuangzhou一百零九，一百一十，两百二十一，两百九十九，四百二十四，四百二十五，四百二十六，Kuangshaomonastery四十二，一百一十。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。Kuangtiun十八，二十一。K
Number sliding Bodhisattva 413 O oh. One enlightened overnight 320 321 PNU 404 PEISU 404 P in now MTN 28 Pi Chang 404 Pi Fan MTN 292 Pao Ling 43 44 45 Mountain 52-221 Temple 262-337 Parsh Pa 407-408-409 Prujnatara 312-315-410 Punyomitra 410 Pure Lashas 408-409 Pure Land 186-187-206-395-397 Sea Land of Ultimate Bliss R. Rahulata 408 People and Places Index 444 Range of the Heavenly Kings 45 S. Sayer Parakhuta Bodhisattva 177 Sangna Kufesa 407 Sangha Nandi 408 410 Sen TSN 23 24 25 137 257 三百五十，四百一十，沙发两百九十九，三百零一，谁说你不懂？八十七，四十三，一百八十三，一百九十二，两百零七，两百一十，两百五十五，三百零三，四百零六，四百零八。Day of Living Home 39 Decay of Road 408 Former Incarnation 177-299-301 Fourth Buddha 407 Prediction by 9 Road and Bow 92 Rules 40 Spiritual Powers 65 Transformation Body 249 Transmission of Mind Seal 42 154 407 Shaozhou 48 51 52 261 262 266 284 331 377 424-425 Shaokwang 221-262 Suri Putra 206-207-280 Shansu 29 35-62-63-64-65-66 67-68-69 70, 71, 72, 78, 80, 84, 95, 96, 109, 144, 
Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumatraptor一二十六。Sumat
两百六十四、三百五十九。无需帮三百二十。See also Chen Tiao. Wu of Yuan Emperor 一百六十九、一百七十一、一百七十二。一百七十三、一百七十四、一百八十、两百二十三、两百五十五、四百二十二。Wu of the Northern Zhou Emperor 二十四、二十五、二十六、二十九、四十八。Wu of Wei Marquis 两百六十一。Wu Zetian 一九十五。三百七十二，五三 T 一三百七十一，五百，又增了的这两百五十二，有吗？听十四、十七、两百五十七，幺 K N 四百零三，幺十十十一二十四 ，C O S O F O T O。烟上三十六、三十七、三十九、四十三、一百零九、一百一十、一百一十一、一百一十二。U Chapter One Temple 三百四十、三百六十三。UN District 一百零六。UN I 二十七。UN Kun 十。U J 幺两百一十七、两百三十五、两百四十七、三百一十六、三百一十七